Hey everybody, how's it going? Hopefully you're having a good day, because it is time for a stream. A bonus stream at that too. We're finally getting to the bonus streams promised from Coliseum, and this is the very first one of them all. This is a Chaos Fortune Cookie Top 10 Games. There are two Chaos Fortune Cookie streams due. This is the first one. We're gonna be doing the top 10 games from the list, and if you don't remember that list, it's all right, it's been a bit. <clears throat> but tonight, you can expect us to start with Dino Crisis for the PS1, Vitamin Connection for the Switch, Rising Xan the Samurai Gunman for the PS1, and Cow apparently, Game Boy Player Disc Only, Egg, Elemental Gimmick Gear, Outer Wilds, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Netflix Instant Streaming Disc, The Aww. Fairly Odd Parents <laughs> Shadow Showdown, and Custom Robo. That's the list of tonight's games, and as always, I'm joined by the usual crew. Let's start off with Tom Fox. We welcome the lad, and thusly shall we call him Bizzard the Wizard. <laughs> a haiku by Tom Fox. Do 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 world premiere haiku Tom Fox. <laughs> hang, hang on. Oh crap. I didn't I didn't expect I was gonna need the party horn. Hang on. Give me a second. I got it here. Spin it backwards. <laughs> I didn't expect that either. We're good. Got it. We're good. We're... There it is. Re 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 mix. <laughs> it's like a like like you hear like all those like tech sounds. Zooms in on the screen. Suddenly you hear a deep voice. World premiere. I loved it. Steven's here Wait, as well. Did I go? I didn't go. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I Hi. don't have haiku. I am just Steven George man. And I hear say fun. Oh, God. <laughs> you were doing good. Yet it's, I was the doing verse good. seemed all right. Gonna, yeah, I was going to say funny. I but hear that say man. fun. I am Steven George man. <laughs> And uh, we I, also have Motion Dan. I am Motion Dan. Oh God, why did I do this? This was a mistake. That was good. That Actually, was wait, why, why am I clapping? Why am I clapping? <laughs> it's much better. It's much better. And Jared will be along with us later tonight. Yes, Jared will be here eventually, but we uh, we started early uh, on intents of trying to get to cut through this, get through this a little bit faster. Jerry will be joining us a uh, half hour-ish from now, so he's going to miss Dino Crisis and a bit of Vitamin Connection. Now, uh, if you did not see Chaos Fortune Cookie at all during Coliseum, uh, that's fair enough. But the way it works is that uh, people donated, and whatever game had raised the most money, we played for a half hour. So we're going to be going down through the list from the top to the 10th place one here, and Dino Crisis is the starting game at $5,779.69 race for charity. Yay. Yay. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Cow? I apologize to you guys because you're going to be hearing cow a lot tonight, something tells me. I love it. It's great. I love it. I love it. I oh. love it. It's great. Oh, that's why it's so loud because we were playing Oddworld. I forgot. There we go. That should be a bit better for... This game contains scenes of explicit violence and gore, but it's on the PlayStation 1, so it's okay. I mean, I think it happens in America, so maybe. Maybe. <coughs> it's an alternate hey. future where Al Gore becomes president and saves us from global warming. Okay, you know but how it brings like back the dinosaurs. <laughs> you know how yeah. they say that like last names are like. Oh, that's what your ancestors did, like Smith or like. <laughs> what did Al Gore's parents, grand, great grandparents do? It could be it, it. It could be like an Ellis Island name. Uh, it could be bullfighting like or bull training. True. Okay. Well, also like uh, when uh, people would arrive on Ellis Island, uh, Americans as uh, as uh, uh, cultural cult culturally robust as we are, decided we're not going to call you that. We're going to give you a name that sounds similar, but is not like. I have successfully infiltrated under the is not. Of the researchers yeah. Brand. They made that joke of the Simpsons where like, the, I think like they had to immigrate back to America because they got stuck in Italy or something like that. And um, when the guy in the boat was like, what's your last name? We're the Simpsons. Like, all right, you're going to be shortened to the Sips. 
The, the man is Dr. Kerr, yeah. the leading authority of I've never played Dino Crisis, but I bought Dr. it Kirk at a Salvation a Army many years ago for like $3. Three that's a that's steal. I think it's much more expensive now. That is my now. Dino Crisis story. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Dino Crisis is way more expensive now. Uh, price starting complete, $45. Yeah, oh, that's still cheaper than I thought. But yeah, no, it's good. If you like Resident Evil, it's just Resident Evil with dinosaurs. The necessary actions be taken immediately. What the heck is the dog doing? Okay, no, you're doing fine. <laughs> He's like, I, I hear him like, I hear him clattering around and like doing stuff. He's not in the office with me. He was just like getting himself a chew toy. And uh, it turned out that it was a chew toy that he has trouble carrying. So he was dropping it a lot. I actually don't remember any of this beginning part of this game, by the way. There's a lot of pros. What are the cons? When do you get to shoot a dinosaur? We're flying there now, don't worry. Are the dinosaurs on your team, or you shoot them? We're, we're shooting the dinosaurs. It is a you dino crisis, a not a dino team. You remember when, like, when... Call of Duty was all like zombies, and like every, for like a like five iterations after the first zombies game, they kept adding zombies back. I feel like they missed an opportunity to have it be dinosaurs instead. That son, hi bagel, wet bagel. Wet bagel. Yeah, it's raining here. Aw. Well, better than snowing. Uh, <laughs> that was last week. Gross. Well, I mean, like, I'm saying the weather's changing. <laughs> it's yeah. just now, wet Now we get snow. thunderstorms. Much better. Yay! Sorry I'm late. It's time. We had one of those Whoa, the, uh, the other day. It was around, like, 8 in the morning when suddenly uh, I heard a loud boom that happened? jolted me awake. Forget him. Guys. Rain is just wet snow. Wait, wait. Whoa. Well, and <laughs> cold, too. Snow is just um, rain, but... Hard, it's hard <laughs> rain. <laughs> soft, so it soft snow is rain. Freezes. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Ste steam is just breathable water. Oh. That's deep, man. And mist is lazy rain. <laughs> Have you seen Stephen King's Lazy Rain? <laughs> Fish would argue that water is breathable water. <laughs> <laughs> This, this game is like Jurassic Park, but if Jurassic Park could show us all the parts that we wish we could see. Yeah. Yes. Although it's very dark, so I don't know how much you can see. Wow. <laughs> okay. I can't believe, uh, like, I, I can't over. believe that they're just making, uh, I, I believe this joke. Never mind. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll forget in about five minutes so you can try it on me again. This has been a wild night of party for the guards. Basically, oh, I'm right. surprised they're combining the concept of dinosaurs and Jesus by making Dino Christmas. I forgot something very important about this game. Uh, a lot of the voice actors have well-known roles. I think Regina, the main character, she's like Sailor Venus or Sailor Jupiter in uh, one of the dubs. But another one of the characters is Donkey Kong from the Donkey Kong Country cartoon. <laughs> oh. What? The guy talking right Wild. now. Does he have retractable teeth? It's clear. No. Oh my Damn. god, that really is him! <clears throat> yeah, so we're we're playing as one of the Sailor Scouts. Let's I can't remember which. Here at Outback Stamp House, we are committed <laughs> to giving you the best meal of your life. 
with ingredients supplied by your local farmers and our beloved beef oru, we promise that you will enjoy every bite of your order. If you go for the deluxe options, our specialized team of doctors will make sure your comfort is at maximum for the duration of your visit. And with our new delivery service, we can bring the delicious food and pain you expect to the comfort of your own home. Try our special chicken fingers deal, 10 chickens for one finger. So come on down to Outback Stamp House. Satisfaction guaranteed, or 25% off your next visit. Satisfaction guaranteed. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you ever forget you have an alert on your stream? <laughs> 10 chickens for one finger. It's like my favorite joke in that alert. <laughs> That's such a good line. That was Daisy Foxtrot running the ad for Outback Stab House saying, It's my birthday. I get to choose where we eat. I want to go to the Stab House. <laughs> Seriously, though, I wanted to give a group of great streamers, uh, uh, wanted to give to a group of great streamers as his birthday tradition. Happy birthday, Daisy. <laughs> it's Happy been so birthday, long since I heard that alert, I actually forgot Happy I had it. Hat birth, uh, hat birth uh, for, for Jared and, uh, and a herf from me. I hope I hope your birthday is uh, filled with less stabbings than a, than a usual Outback Stab House. Well, tank. okay, yeah, so usual. so here's the thing: because it's your birthday when you go to the Outback Stab House, uh, they 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 waive half of the stabbings. Oh, it's oh, a discount? I thought it was discounted stabbings. I thought it was yes. Rick I thought it was you get to stab one of them. No, 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 no. Oh. It's like um uh. It's it's more it's kind of like Dick's Last Resort in a way. <laughs> Honest to God, Outback Stab House is Dick's Last Resort with knives. That <laughs> 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 we haven't made this connection this is sooner is actually bizarre. Mm. The brass is still warm. These guards were plane crashed here very recently. <laughs> <laughs> Find the black box. This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. You got the damn buddy. Whatever they were. Do they know they're fighting dinosaurs? No, not yet. Through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean. Kind of a. Still say you would have done this. I feel like it's a bit of a mismatch on the uh, on the part of the. We still need to figure out what happened. Like, a little bit of a disconnect between the player and the uh, and the characters in that in that regard. I mean, we'll find them pretty soon if memory serves. Let's get this. That's true. Rotating box first. Oh no, we can't. Usually, I like being on the same page as my character, so that way they don't know something that I don't know, and, or, or like, or they don't know something that I know and vice versa. Because if you know something that they don't, it's really frustrating to hear them talk. <laughs> you idiots, don't you know the name of the game you're in? <laughs> <laughs> He is checking the ground. <laughs> he is checking the ground. Back Think a dramatic the... irony is not your cup of tea. I mean, like, that's a thing? Like, really? It just seems like bad, uh... Like, bad storytelling. <laughs> well, I can't make the, the voices any louder, sadly. <laughs> just gonna have to hope with uh, hope with we hope we just end up hearing them a lot better. How do I get this? Does it? I mean, like one thing I think of as well is like I know it's a kids game, but like Detective Pikachu, when it's very obvious that it's that it, the the culprit is a Gengar, and everyone's like, "What the heck could be causing this?" And you're sitting there like, "It's Gengar, it's Gengar." It's Gengar. That doesn't really build tension, it builds annoyance. Well, you're not the target market, though. They're a psychic type. <laughs> See, Dan, meanwhile, is definitely. <laughs> <clears throat> That's true. And so, so, uh, uh, I was thinking, that makes, so Dragomation makes a good point. It's like getting pissed off at Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Cause, cause that is a kids game, yes. I mean, that's that's a narrative device in in storytelling and, and cinema, also. You know, like the idea of showing that something's about to happen to a 
protagonist before it happens, and it's to it's so you are already building that uh, anticipation because you know something's going to happen and they don't. It works better that way than thinking of it like, we'll need the map. <laughs> Where the <laughs> hell is the map? <laughs> Do you I'm see it? Where is it? Is it behind that rock? Visibly taking up half of the screen. <laughs> Honest to God, I think Dora the Explorer just like gaslit an entire generation of children. This woman really? looks like they're staring at the TV and they're like, "It's right there, isn't it? Is it not? Isn't it? Am I insane? Am I losing my mind? This this woman looks like Discount Joanna Dark. Yeah, she predates Joanna though. Part of your conversation. I think. By the way, I found a key. Does she? Hand Hang over. on. Let's head outside. Oh, same well, here. She looks, like, she, she looks like Perfect Dark Zero, Joanna, though. Which? Oh, well then, yeah, no, definitely. Definitely past that one. Yeah. Dora the Gaslighter. <laughs> Goldman, do you know what you're doing? Mm, 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 mm. I don't. No. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I feel what? bad for those that are coming here and be like, man, John's alerts are so weird. And why are they going off so often? And meanwhile, this is they're not normally going off this often. It's just an average day at a John stream. Here's the corpse. That's disgusting. <laughs> this guy's been eviscerated. Something tarred. Yeah! Yeah, pretty much. Those tooth marks? Like this, uh. <laughs> some sort of animal. That's like just so. Th so this this <laughs> woman is clearly like uh, uh like see, like all these people have seen this kind of action before, right? Yeah. Okay, they're not like newbies. Well, stealing his med kit. <laughs> He's at me. He won't eat it anymore. Can't take oh. it with you. Probably wasn't gonna help with the situation, anyways. If we're being real. The state of the blood. Well, okay. I mean, like, if the top half was still alive, maybe you could, like, gauze together the bottom half. I'll stand guard here. You go inside and take a look around. <laughs> That's disgusting. So is Donald Crisis just Resident Evil with dinosaurs? Yes. 100%. Well, except, you know, there's not a zombie dinosaur virus. It's just... You have to deal with dinosaurs. <laughs> oh my god. I would love that if there was a game that was about humans turning into dinosaurs because of a virus. I'm sure it exists somewhere. And it's like based on their genealogy is what turns them into different dinosaurs. Why are we Hollywood producers? <laughs> probably for the, probably for the reason I just gave. <laughs> Oh, that, that just makes me think of the Far Side uh, comic about how, uh, what was it? The. Uh, God, the coining of the term for what the club on a, uh, on a, um, Stegosaurus's tail is. What is that called? Well, I don't want to say it out loud because it could be very easily misheard. Ah. Uh. People are saying it in chat. I'm trying to think of how that would be misheard. Uh, the Neff? Ah, okay. Yep. Also, just to um, reiterate how similar these games are, they are, they're both directed by uh, Shinji Mikami. And that would do it, too. But that's Both Resident funny. Evil and Dino Crisis are directed by the same person. So, so. so, so is just Goof Troop. <laughs> he was throwing horror games at the wall to see what stuck, and zombies stuck. Yep. Because, like, Resident Evil was 96. Dino Crisis didn't release till 99. Okay. So he took the dinosaurs? Yeah, this, this is after Resident Evil 2, I'm pretty sure. That would explain why all the environments are 3D and not, um, uh, not, uh, sprites. Yeah. 
Resident Evil 2, 98, so yes. So Resident Evil 1, 2, then Dino Crisis. Yeah! I'm over here, just a dinosaur! <laughs> it's me, the raptor! <laughs> Hello! Hi, Joanna! It's me, Gail! <laughs> like how you still manage to sound like Elvis somehow. <laughs> For those who don't know, in Perfect Dark, uh, Joanna's partner for most of the game is a gray alien named Elvis. Named Elvis, yep. Oh my god. When did that game come out? Like, I, I could have been more than like... It was 2000, okay. The, uh... Uh, the the Skeeter aliens uh, scared the hell out of me, but like I'm I know to what S K E D A R Skedar. Oh, okay. Oh, they're called Skedar. 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 Okay. Skedar. okay. Uh, they scared the hell out of me when I was a kid, but I never got a good look at them. It was like the it was, the mystery of them was that scared me. Well, bye. They ever say that out loud in the game? What those aliens are called? They do. Okay. Got the control system back online. What's the situation over there? It's Gale. I lost him. <laughs> so what's the bad news? Did you run into some guards? You're not gonna believe this. He was attacked by some kind of dinosaur. <laughs> now that's a good one. So, who was it? This isn't a joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big ass lizard. For real. What Banana slammer! <laughs> Head over to the control room and we'll sort out this whole situation. Okay. I know. But what's I an ass lizard? <laughs> <laughs> and on your and on your way back, don't forget to guard the crystal coconut. Well, Cranky's Crank gonna be mad. <laughs> A big ass lizard. Oh man, the only thing I'm sad about is we're never gonna we're not gonna get to that scene in the office, I don't think, because I'm pretty sure that's like an hour into the game. You mean the one where Jim looks at the camera? Yeah, there is definitely a look at the camera scene. <laughs> I'll tell you oh. that much. <laughs> and like Steve Carell's like, No, that's what she said. Yep. That's what the dinosaur said. There's a ventilation opening. I believe that I can reach it by climbing. <laughs> My stream froze for a second on the <laughs> eye. <laughs> well, good thing this rope appeared. No, that's a, that's a, a barnacle from Half Life. She's dead. Ah, okay. Next place, like the a mouse clip. Bizzard the wizard and the big ass lizard. <laughs> <laughs> my brother Rex Racer? Isn't that an album by the Dead Milkman? <laughs> Definitely sounds like it should be an album if it isn't already. There's a psychedelia band from Australia called King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Oh, there's an album by Dead Milkman called Big Lizard in My Backyard, which is similar <laughs> but not quite the same. <laughs> oh, right, there's a dinosaur in there. Well, bye. Wait, come back! It's me, Yoshi! But it's the movie, Yoshi! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh shoot, did I miss the save room? Uh oh. Well, let's just roll with it, I guess. Please tell me we can actually get to the scene I'm looking for really early, because that would be hilarious. A box! I'm gonna grab it. I'll take the an aid. An aid. One whole aid. An Aneurysm aid. aid. I think it's for um, anus. I think it's antiseptic. <laughs> oh, that makes way more sense. <laughs> that is, uh, you know, I heard when they when they were uh, coming up with names for Gatorade, uh, anus aid was one of the rejected ones. I can't imagine why. Increases the potency of items with uh, anesthetic properties. 
Oh, well, so you're mixing. Mm. So I can make knockout darts. They try uh, Gatorade had a competitor, a competitor for a cro uh, for a while called Crocade Dial, but it didn't it didn't sell as well. Oh boy, you don't see me, don't mind me. I don't know. That hissing seems like very very seen. Nah, nah. I'm just going into the lounge. Oh, maybe maybe the lounge was not a good idea. Nope, nope, yep, nope. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> he took it literally, literal lounging. <laughs> I think that guy was breakdancing. <laughs> How did... <laughs> I know you as the player couldn't see it. How did she not see it? <laughs> well, here's the tutorial for how to mix things. Cool. All right. Well, don't mind... Oh! Don't mind Whoa. me. I'm just going to call 911 on this pad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, zero. No. Seems like you have unlimited time to- Oh, there's two of them! Oh, oh, there's two no. of them! Oh, good. Oh, and they are both blocking the way. There we go. Get out of there. Okay, like the scene in the kitchen. This came out far, after, far enough after Jurassic Park where the lizards can open the doors, right? Yeah, because that's why this one wasn't here, because it actually uh. opened the door. Everybody walked the, the dinosaur. By the dick. By the DDK! We gotta go back to uh to the other guy in our party. I gotta find Donkey Kong. Man, where's my health even at right now? I'm still oh still blue, okay. Is is your name your health on the pause screen? Uh the color usually. Oh. It should change to yellow and red if I'm in trouble, I believe. If we're following normal Resident Evil anyways. How many games have I missed? Uh, two thirds of one. Yeah, this is the first game. I take that back. Three quarters of one. More files. Sure to check the weapon storage locker in the lounge. You can lock it with a combination 8159. Recently, inexperienced guards have been assigned here, and a common problem is that they do not know how to use the DDK. Here's a poison man. Be not clear in the manual. Make sure that your staff becomes familiar with the supporting information. You'll need to derive the code by using the basic elimination rule. I can't That's believe this document got leaked. Eliminate the key letters to reveal the correct code. Be sure to try this out by setting an actual DDK to the door locking device. For example, code... O X P Y E Z N key is X Y Z. Above case, the correct password would be open. <laughs> wow, what a cipher! I know. That's like Zodiac Killer levels of code of coding right there. Very cinematic swooping. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the, they... Can you, go, can you go back so we can see it again? Hang on. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty smooth for PS1, yeah. It, yeah. That's the one thing I'll give, like, Capcom's games from this era. Like, they, they worked with the limitations shockingly well. Oh, shit, he learned how to open the door again! <laughs> oh, well, bye. I'm leaving. Let's see you open this tiny door. <laughs> Let's see you open the door to the outside. 8159 was the code, right? I believe so. 8159. What is my turnaround? Do I have a quick step? Please tell me I have a turnaround. There it is. Okay. Turn the beat around. Taking down the dino. He's going to be standing right in front of the door. I'm calling it now. Yep. So yeah, about Dino Jesus. <laughs> Would you like to learn? God damn it! It's a, it's a Dinova's witness. Well, it's dead now. Don't worry. And I'm I'm only bleeding, you know, externally. <laughs> Actually, how do I? That that's the kind of bleeding doesn't even matter. <laughs> how do I check my health in this game? If the blood, yeah, wouldn't internal bleeding be better? The blood is still inside the body. Eh, I mean, it's still pooling, though. 
I'd rather have the external, because if you have external bleeding, you know. If you have internal bleeding, you may not know, and that part, that's scary. That's fair. Alright, is the other one- Careful, there was- Oh, nope, they're not sleeping again. anymore! Yeah, no, that was just their door-to-door, -door, guys. This is the Velocipaster. Alright, this was 8159, you said? 8159. Yes. You got the handgun slides! You can oh, remodel good. your handgun into a Glock 35 by using this. I missed the part where you said gun, and I was just like, Oh yeah, you can, you can mod your hand into, into a Glock 35. Become Samus Aran on the spot. There you go. Turn into a ball. <laughs> I can't wait for that ability. <laughs> Make sure you're properly trained, otherwise you'll break all your bones. Oh, wasn't there something over here? Yeah, there is. Where you take resuscitation? Yeah, I might need it here in a minute. <laughs> yep, might need that. <sighs> Hi, Jared. Hello. Hello. Jared. And at that point, you're just like, oh, damn it, I can't use that on myself if I'm already dead. It just knows. I'm trying to check the device ah. next to the door. The symbol H is inscribed. BDK. Donkey, Donkey Kung. To release a launch, it's necessary donkey, to set donkey both Kung. the code and input. Devices. Oh, do I need two items to open that then, I guess? Donk, Donk Kong. Guess I can't do that yet. The DDK. God, I haven't played Dino Crisis in, like, probably two decades. I never actually ended up playing through this in full, which is a shame, because it seems pretty good. It's It's basically, like... A light-hearted Resident Evil with dinosaurs. <laughs> but with a better camera. Marginally better camera. Marginally. We were actually just talking about the camera before you showed up, because they're doing some pretty cool little cinematic swoops, which was something I don't recall seeing in Resident Evil 1. <laughs> there was no camera movement in Resident Evil 1 like yeah. at all. Resident Evil 1 was like... Like, you peel back the backgrounds and it's pretty much a green screen. <laughs> you're just you're just playing with the like the security cameras like that are just there. And that's all you get to see. I've always wondered if like the devs put in like messages and stuff at the angles that you can't see at, you know, like I'm I'm sure that people have like broken boundaries in it to look and see. But it's always it's always a funny thing to me. It wouldn't shock me if they've done something like that. <laughs> Boundary break, Dino Crisis. <laughs> There's a yeah, uh, Boundary Break's a great channel. Or Sequence Break was it a Sequence Break or Bra it's, Boundary it's Break? Boundary Break was break. break. Okay. I think is that, today uh, is like their six year anniversary or something like that. Oh, oh nice. that's cool. <laughs> Topical, perfect. Time to steal stuff. Got a shotgun. Gonna go steal a shotgun. Gonna go steal a <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now I can open that door. Give it ba do ba Yeah, if I could fit like, like any seven yeah. syllables, I feel like I could fit into that Yoshi Overworld map song. Gonna go eat a corn dog. Yep. <laughs> Gonna go get a donut. Gonna go get a donut. Gonna go hey, shave my armpits. <laughs> it usually ends up with gonna die. That guy's dead. Well, I guess I'll pick up this slice of cheese he left. <laughs> oh, craft! Excellent! <laughs> oh my god, you have no idea. I've been looking for craft singles all over the place. I want to make a grilled cheese before I die to dinosaurs. That guy's not gonna get up. The guy's not gonna get up. <laughs> Come here, Blue. Let me give you He's been gouged in the torso. <laughs> yeah. He's been gouged in the torso. He's been gouged in the torso. <laughs> He's not going to live anymore. Oh, that man's dead. Oh, actually, All of timing. his blood is on the floor. <laughs> perfect timing for a save. I'm sad we didn't get to the office area because that made me laugh my ass off when, I, when we got to that when we played it on stream years ago. But uh, that'll do it for this one. 
at the bright side, you got your craft single. That's true. Finally, <laughs> we can make a grilled cheese. We're all living for cheese in one way or another. For some reason, the way you said that reminded me of, uh... What was it? It reminded me of, uh, Archer. Or like, Are you my brother, Red he's been Red like, Red like, Red dr Red like drugged or mind controlled to, uh, to, to kill his mother. And he walks into a room with a, with like a cleaver and goes, grilled cheese. What? Grill me a cheese. <laughs> that, that freaking gif in the top right. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Do not I love even remember that. where I found it. I just I think someone boop, gave boop, it to boop, me and boop. I put it in the pile. <laughs> oh, God bless you, Source Engine. Your your ability to create so many different copyright infringing uh, fan things is astounding. Next up, vitamin connection. It's how I met you guys, honestly. So that's was, true. Was source source filmmaker. filmmaker, yeah. yeah. For a minute, I thought that you meant vitamin connection, and I was like, hmm, <laughs> I don't remember this. You know, but we all met you. at the GMC, and we... <laughs> <laughs> we all experienced truly a vitamin connection. Look, it's that game that Steven humbly requested. It's true. It was a very humble request. <laughs> it is also possible to play in handheld mode. Steven, have you and Mal played this at all for anything? Nope. No, it's actually a pretty good co-op game. I had never heard of this game until you played you it. You humbly like requested it. The last whatever. <laughs> the last cookie. Cookie. Nice. I want a cookie. Wait, was this at, was this played during Coliseum? Not during Coliseum, yeah. no. What? It was played during something. It was the previous year, I'm pretty sure, but it did not come up this year. Oh, well, you know, all Coliseums are one Coliseum. That's, that's true. They blend together. It's like one big timeline. Yeah, because let me just look at the stats. Blade Vitamin blade. Connection brought in $5,426.69. Sexy. Nice. How do they, like, half of these are 69 <laughs> Yeah, the top five all brought in ended at $0.69, cents, and then two in, like, the middle also. Yeah, the, the two that start the next bonus stream also brought in with $0.69. Cents. That was impressive. Funny. Someone was just very deliberate. All right, story three. Chocolate oh, yeah. is not for dogs. Oh, no. But vanilla, they can Getting make all Getting WarioWare vibes from these cutscenes. Choco. Oh, you know what I love? A Choco Taco. Just get in your time machine. Oh no! You can still find them at like gas stations, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do it! Me looking at anything edible. I mean, if if that was manatee, God, my God, if that was manatee, my finger would be down his throat immediately. Like, get that out of him. What the hell? Oh, I hate this! This is very depressing. <laughs> Man, if you're gonna eat it, eat it all, but, like, don't eat it? <laughs> Here, drugs will help. It. <laughs> what's wrong? There's chocolate all over your face, but I can't figure out what's wrong. All right, now you're oh, God, I hate that. Don't worry, we're here to save the dog. Stop There's not a game over screen, right? Because that would be evil. Oh, oh my like god. Psycho. Burbly psycho. It's the hottest dog on duo in the house. DJ Dog Bone and Young One. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Perfect. But what, the the up, air wait, horn? Wait a minute. Yeah. Looks like we got an audience. Vitamin C? I dig it. Me and Young Juan here were just in the middle of warm-ups. Today, we're booked to broadcast live from inside of a puppy. Folks from all over <laughs> tune in to hear us. Diehards even show up in person. Like you two. You've been turning up in a beat-up ride like that? What happened to that thing? 
That's whack. Anyhow, excuse me, it's a switch controller. On the but it's a beat up switch controller. Good boy's got an upset tummy. You kidding? That ain't gonna stop us. We never miss a show. We're hitting up the venue now. And for all y'all at home, tune in because we're transmitting across every signal. It's time for a listening okay, rehearsal. Let's get on the air and show them how it's done. Vitamin C, try to keep up. Young Juan, hit it. Well, bye. I don't know why, but young, young Juan reminds me of freaking uh, Isabel. <laughs> Just the way their hair is. Yo, dog. All right, so the way this works is we are a vitamin pill that goes through bodies and try to get rid of uh, all the bad things in there. Usually like a bunch of bugs and monsters and such. But uh, we beat them through minigames and our vitamin beam. But unfortunately the vitamin beam is pretty limited so we gotta be careful. So this is normally two player where one person controls the movement, the other controls the shooting. But you can do it single player as well and do both. There's more uh, scaffolding in this dog than in most dogs. Yeah. <laughs> You haven't been checking out many dogs, clearly. <laughs> I don't know where the frick your dogs have been, but I mean, I don't know. They've, they've seen. Yeah, no, things. my uh, <laughs> my dog's architecture is sort of based on Imperial China. I no scaffold, no metal scaffolding anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Isn't scaffolding just bones? You know what? Touche. <laughs> this dog's got an adamantium skeleton. <laughs> Literally freaking Wolverine. Uh, okay, so here's the map of the dog. So this part of the body is the ear. We were we in, went in through the in mouth. The yeah, somehow we're at the ear though. We took a left turn at Albuquerque. This freaking song. <laughs> the music is great. The music's great. It's very at least in the other stages. It's very like bubblegum pop. So it's just weird that they just went full-blown rap on this one, especially for the dog of all characters. Because like the other two stages so far, I think we're just kids. Because I think we're basically we have to go through like the entire family, make sure the whole thing's healthy, and there's like a conspiracy or something for why they keep getting sick. Well, other than the dog being an idiot and just eating chocolate. Yo, dog, listen to my rap. Please listen to my mixtape. <laughs> Please listen to my <laughs> mixtape. <laughs> Please listen to my mixtape. Everyone says it's fire, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's collectibles in all the bodies, too, and they unlock extra chapters. I don't like collectibles in all the bodies. <laughs> it's a phrase. <laughs> you sure you don't have collectibles inside your body, Dan? Like, is it, like... I mean, like, my liver. Is that a collectible? I don't know if we should be collecting your liver. <laughs> that's, what I'm, that's what I'm wondering about this. Like, uh, I'm wondering if the, if the collectibles are, like, foreign bodies, if they're, like, part of the body, or if they're, like, vital parts of the body. <laughs> I was wondering where my amiibo collection went. Even with a busted ride, you two really know how to move. Well, you're just in time. This is the segment where Young Juan and I read fan mail. <laughs> this one looks good. Dear DJ Dogbone, what makes you tick? Yours truly, Kombu. Well, Kombu, my role is uh, to get ticks. sales wagon all over the world. That gets me ticking like a ship spinning 360. Hey, yo, speaking of which, the path up ahead, prepare to get twisty. Let's roll. Oh boy. Why isn't he wearing his hater shades? Hater Because shades. he's not hating. He's not ready to hate no. yet. You gotta get warmed up before you hate. Oh, small intestine. I mean, we're still, we're not even near the stomach. The, well, the stomach is very, very, very low. I guess we're not even near the tongue, apparently. This dog's got a weird-ass <laughs> digestive system. He sure does. <laughs> I'm 
This dog is dying in their reading fan mail. <laughs> oh, just don't think. Just don't think about that part of it. <laughs> I mean, they don't know that. They're they're inside. They know he's got a tummy ache. This is like the the Rick and Morty episode with the with the the theme park built inside of a guy. <laughs> yeah, kinda. Speaking Welcome of, uh... to Anatomy Park. Yeah, speaking of Jurassic Park from before. Dino crisis <laughs> in your liver. Liver crisis. <laughs> That's what happens whenever you eat too many like dinosaur chicken nuggets. I <laughs> Dino crisis. Like, uh... I knew they were really dinosaurs all along. <laughs> hey, I have a question. If dino nuggies were made with dino meat, would you eat them? Technically, they are, since dinosaurs apparently evolved, or like birds evolved from dinosaurs, and they're chicken. I mean, we eat alligators, so like, what's the difference? Yeah, that's true. Wow. I've never I actually had alligator. Yeah, I never had either, but I want to try it. It, 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 had, it, like it does actually taste like chicken. <laughs> Flat Frick Friday. <laughs> I love that meme. Dude, it's so good. Just the really like fat alligators just chilling. John, I assume you're not controlling the auto scrolling. No. Okay. Yeah, freak you germs. I'm like, boy, you're really. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going ham. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! It's that Rick Friday. Over here. Wait, no, over here. Oh, chat. Y'all are weird. Bro, I just had me some, like, some fried chicken legs, mac and cheese, french fries, dude. Oh, I, I'm, I'm in, like, I'm in a mini coma right now. But it's a good coma. <laughs> Sounds like a tasty one, yeah. Bruh. Tasty, tasty coma. I got Burger, <laughs> I, I got a, I got burger King yesterday. And like... The burger was fine, but the bun... The, the bun was like a, like a stale piece of cornbread. Oh, did you, did you have it your, did you have it your way? <laughs> I did not have it in a way, no. Have it in a way. <laughs> Sure, that just wasn't what they assumed was the way you wanted it at. Maybe. This burger it also, it also took, a, took uh, an hour and a half to get to me because the person who was supposed to pick it up left Burger King without the food and then went somewhere else. And I was and like they were still like tasked for like picking it up so I could see where they were going the entire time. Oh frick! So okay, so whenever you said I didn't get my food for an hour and thirty minutes, I was like. You were in line for an hour and 30 minutes. No, I got through Uber Eats. No, no, I know, I know that now, but I was just like, good God. This is really dedicated, dude. <laughs> the man wants a freaking Burger King. Ugh. Now we found the tongue. Another fan That's name. a peach. Okay, okay. It's one for my boy, Young Wong. <laughs> hey, Young Wong. Aren't you the DJ? Shouldn't it be MC Dogbone? Sincerely, Rupert the Cat. Oh, oh, oh right, frick! Well, young Juan ain't much for words if it's not a rap, so I'll feel this one. Hey, Rupert the Cat, mind your business. Name <laughs> <Yes. laughs> him. Shut up! Dr drag him! Let's just cut to something else. Um, hey, vitamin C, y'all look ready to step up to the mic. We got some fat Dang, things going man. on here. Freaking Show us what you got. <laughs> the shade, man. Ah, oh, it. damn it! It's time for it's dancing again. Ugh. So I have to pay attention to both sides here and tilt accordingly. Oh God! Oh shit! What's clap? Here we go. Yeah. So I have to pay attention to both the left and the right, and they are, as you can see, not matching. And we have a health meter. We have to be careful. We do this correctly. All right, let's do it. Oh, 
Yeah, that's first dance done. Now they add in new moves. And this is just... This is what we have to do to clean up the tongue. Yeah! Hygiene, man. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's uh not easy in single player, especially when you haven't played in a while. Well, we did, did you win? Oh, we survived. That was the important thing. Woof. That was legit. <laughs> woof. <laughs> he did not, the woof did not sound like he was giving you a compliment. No, it really, really didn't. Ain't nobody going to be able to follow that act. I say that was the dopest performance I've seen up in here. Take a bow wow and let's get on with the show. English localization team had a freaking field day with this game. Well, this is <laughs> this is an English game. This is done by. Oh Wave really? Forward. Yeah. Wait for oh, it. Oh, oh, it is. Okay. The, my my point still stands. Break the dog strings. <laughs> no strings for you, dog. I don't know what it is you're breaking. Dog didn't need strings. Don't don't think about it. <laughs> I, I think it's too late for that. <laughs> But they're in the way, and that's that means I have to get rid of them. <laughs> oh god! Like you get out of the dog, he's like, I feel fine. Like all the chocolate's gone, but I feel like my strings are broken. <laughs> no, not all my strings. <laughs> just collapses. Don't worry, there are, <laughs> there there are, are no there strings. There are no strings on me. Well, in me, there's a ton. <laughs> I got no strings to hold me down. They're all inside. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm bleeding. Jesus out. Christ. <laughs> Get them out. Please help me. <laughs> I got strings on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> this never ends. I'm going to keep bringing that up. I'm sorry ahead of time. God, that reminds me of the episode of Future on more Fragets the Worms. Dude, that's like the main episode that I remember, and I don't, I don't know remember why. That one at all. It's a good episode. Like Fry eats a e eats a gas station egg salad sandwich, and he gets worms that like supercharge his body. Yeah, oh. they're like actually good worms. But that's like God. That's like the freaking main episode. That one entails of interest. Yes. <laughs> you watched it. You can't unwatch it. <laughs> More tales of interest. Woo! God, one of my favorite lines from that is uh, Fry's eating the egg salad sandwich, and he and uh, he pulls out something from the sandwich, and Bender goes, "What's that black cracker?" Fry eats it. He goes, "A tomato." Yeah! Someone in chat reminded me. Look, this is gonna be one hell of a bowel movement. He'll be lucky if he has any bones left. Yeah. <laughs> Man. I just, a few weeks ago, did colonoscopy prep. And I... Don't have any bones left. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it fun? I only isn't have half as many bones as when I had started. It's just a fun time. Let me tell you what. Oh my god. Rave Claw! <laughs> I gotta do something. He ain't letting me do much else at the moment. I feel like this, like the, 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 the vitamin buddies here are doing more than just like taking care of the chocolate. Like they're gonna leave this dog and the dog's gonna be like, wow, not only is uh, not only is the chocolate gone, but I also uh, like my cold is cured. I don't have allergies anymore, and I'm over my athlete's foot. Well, that's actually the the whole thing is like this is a super vitamin. 
So, like, we, you take it and, like, whatever's ailing you basically goes away because we're using the vitamin beam to destroy things. Oh, like acai or kombucha. Oh, <laughs> all these, all these other health things. I had sensed your arrival. This is a Bomberman character. This was, uh, he was in the second character that we helped. Uh, yes. My I remember him. Yeah, they talking a lot of crap about your ship. Oh, well, they, he damaged it. <laughs> oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure the canine was feeling okay. What of it? Now to business. You see, normally this puppy pal is an obedient best boy. But as of late, he seemed unruly. This behavior is not happenstance. I suspect there is some cosmic interference. Evil! <laughs> does he have, does he have, uh, does he have HPV? Like my dog does? <laughs> someone or he's or a dog. Is evil, 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 evil. Death race! <laughs> Sorry. Trust that I will find the answers. Next time, vitamins. So what is this thing? I actually can't remember the uh, name of the character, but it was another uh, thing in the body. That was trying to help, and they thought we is, were a foreign uh, antibody and tried to take us out. Oh, I, I, I thought it was like it was gonna be like the the Shadow the Hedgehog of uh, of the the game. I mean, he kind of like, is. He, he, he was bad, but now good. Oh, he was a, oh, probiotic. a, a probiotic. That's probiotic. what he is. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm glad he lost his amateur status. <laughs> Professional biotic. Yep. If K9s are so awesome, why haven't they come out with K10s yet? <laughs> oh, we're having K8s. <laughs> uh, seven. Damn it! Nope. Nine? Yeah, I was. Damn it! I was gonna make that oh. joke, but like it didn't work. It, it, like it just it, yeah, it, it wasn't gonna it. work. Oh crap! I'm doing the wrong button. <laughs> I hate Six, it. Oh god! Seven, you're eight. boned. Thank God they have health here. Oh. Did they, do a, did they do a vitamin connection spirit thing on uh, on Smash? I thought they did. I feel like they did. So it's it's move the right stick to actually like uh, m close the claw. So it, it always throws me off. John, do you know if it's easier or is it the same difficulty? Uh, regardless, if you're doing a co-op or I believe regardless it is the same difficulty, but I think it's supposed to be easier if you're doing uh, co-op. Co you know, because the the tasks are split. Oh, just like uh, just like uh, what is it? Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I forget which Pokemon game it is. Let's go, Pikachu and Eevee. I really enjoyed Let's Go. That was a like fun it, one. It was it was nice going back through the red and blue with like all the different um, with the like, new mechanics and moves yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. And like seeing Lorelei just freak up some Team Rocket members at one point, it just made me so happy. <laughs> I found a stick. Dog ate stick. Dog, Dog loves stick. stick. Boy, boy, I, you know I, I sure enjoy watch Steven and Mal play Pokemon <laughs> Go on Fridays at twitch.tv yeah. slash Steven plays. Or no, Steven George. George. Here, right. Steven, Steven George. George. Steven George. We're, still, we're still playing Pokemon. It's it's fun. Stephen Georg. I'm I'm very uh, I'm, I'm very grateful that you kept uh, playing with Glurp. I mean, yeah, I I wanted to use the psychic type, and I didn't want to use Alakazam because I used Alakazam last time. Mal and nobody wants to use Hypno. Like, yeah, Hypno. Hypnoly. I love Hypnoly. Hypno is canonically creepy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Okay, if you, if you have, if you're, if, okay. Good start, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, let's hear it, Dan. Your, your, your body is transferred into a Pokemon. Um, what Pokemon would you choose? You. And, it, and it's permanent. You. And it's permanent. <laughs> you have to spend the rest of your life not being able to communicate in English, but also having incredible power. And possibly you. evolving. You. <laughs> yeah, just, just ditto. You just cover all your bases. I mean, ditto's not a not a bad option at all, actually. You always that, have that, that look, though. You always have the freaking smile yeah. on your face. I found the stomach. Yeah, the, the BBIs are. Uh... 
gotta be as, as, my as much as I love Vaporeon, I don't know if I'd want to become one, honestly. But Mew, I can learn every attack ever and basically and transform. just be adorable. <laughs> yeah, and transform. So boom, uh, done. Uh, on top of that, like, apparently, like, Ditto could just transform into anything, not just other Pokemon, at least according to the anime, like, first season of the anime. So you could just, like, be Ditto and then transform back. Yeah. You just have that silly you, face, that's it. If if you were Ditto, you would live the most fascinating life. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bud. Dude, I feel like Rotom like, also has the same issue, but yeah. I'd have to take our first rain check after. What was it? Uh, freaking... Like, if you wanted to get into, a, like, a fancy Hollywood party, you would just transform into the Wait. next person that was going to walk in and then just walk right in. Why? Why is that... The thing that you. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Dude. That was my second you one. You know what my first one was? It's weirder. My first Robbing one was a bank? Like, no, my first one was like, what if you wanted to like go where the employees only section of Walmart is? You just could. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's weird. I'd say, I'd say this just like uh, bizarrely mundane. I know. So I had, I had to think of something better. So it, I came up with the Hollywood one. Dude, I tell you what. Um, Detective Pikachu, the fact that 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 the all, all the evil characters were that one ditto actually got me. Like I that was I was not expecting that in any way, shape, or form. And I was just like, oh my god, when that happened. So oh god, he had like spoilers. the guy the guy's assistant. Yeah. yeah I oh. flipped out. Oh. I was like, oh that, my yeah, god. Yeah, that was that was real creepy. Dude, it was it was an awesome little twist, man. Awesome twist. And I know I'm sorry I'm spoiling like a four year old movie, but eh, so be it. Sorry. Is it four years old? It might be four years. I don't know. Don't worry, you, you won't know who he is because he's using transform, so technically I didn't spoil anything. <laughs> yes. Damn you and your technicalities. Curses. Still haven't seen it. Go see it. I haven't seen Good. it either. Or go, watch it wherever you can. I guess. <laughs> you can't go see it in theaters anymore. I haven't seen it, but I I assume that it has something to do with a Pikachu who is a detective. You would be right. All right. That, I feel like I've seen it. Played by Ryan Reynolds. Statute of limitations is oh, five years, snap. IMO. Listen, you really did I'm not going to jail for spoiling. For <laughs> we can arrest <laughs> you if you really want us to. I mean, go yeah, for it. Uh, yeah, why not? Okay. I, I need a... I need a fun change of pace. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, arresting. A fun change of pace. Whoa, whoa, yeah. Oh, I no longer have that jurisdiction in this state. Was. Or your state. <laughs> that ain't no subwoofer. Here comes the police. Nobody has dead. jurisdiction in this my state of denial. Fun, fun fact, Dan was legally allowed to arrest people <laughs> when he lived uh -huh. in South Carolina, I guess. Vitamin I'm C sorry, what? Wait, why? Whoa, soon, whoa, yeah? whoa. Uh, uh, Steven, have you reminded Dan to not overthrow the government? Well, Dan is a bounty hunter. A yeah, you didn't know that? that? That's that's something that Dan does on the side. Like Han Solo. But I, I need a dog that I can talk to. Oh, and it'll just go back to you? Yeah. See, I don't, I don't know if you're being realistic or not. Or like actually, <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell if you're freaking. Ah, that seems pretty one reasonable day, to me. One day, like I like, can see Dan being a freaking bounty hunter for yeah. sure. Well, one is. day, like a it's bunch of us are gonna get a message from you Dan. Mean, he is. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm telling you, he is. It's easy to get your bounty hunting license in the Carolinas. Wait, why did I say Han Solo? He's a smuggler. Yeah, I don't know. I just <laughs> I, you, you would be Boba Fett. Yeah, I'd be Boba Fett. I'm Boba Fett. Oh, we're about the 200 bit cheer this. Yeah, frick you, viruses. Uh, yeah. Am I make it Give me out back in time my. Before we hit the 30 minute mark? I don't know. We're going to be cutting this close. Give me back my 2020. <laughs> this song is awesome. <laughs> Yeah, the soundtrack is, like, super varied and crazy. <laughs> yep, return the blockage. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> you Listen, don't need you opened, that blood fix. You opened that dog's third chakra. You had to close it again. <laughs> <laughs> Too powerful. Too powerful. 
You can't let him become enlightened. We're all tricked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we also find its third eye. <laughs> oh, <laughs> missed the string. Oh, I actually love this. Faster! Hi. Hi. I just door dashed some uh, enchiladas, and I am so excited. Bro. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Hell yeah! Make sure you uh, don't eat the ones, the bad ones, like the dog ate the chocolate. <laughs> don't hot in the cold food out of hot eat the food. <laughs> <laughs> eat the food. Yeah. Why? Why do they call it oven? Why do you oven the? <laughs> oh god. God, I think the first time I heard that phrase was in a, was in a uh, broken picture phone episode. And the first thing Steven said when he saw it was, I hate this. <laughs> uh, in fairness, I do hate it. <laughs> I was oh, actually... Look at that good boy. I He's was, better uh, now. I it on cast. It was really, really funny to me. Oh, he's good. I, I like it. her hair. And now they go for this a is, walk I, I'm just realizing, though, this is like a combination between WarioWare cutscenes and Katamari cutscenes. Yeah. Katamari. Firmly grip the controller to scan the love within. How much love do I have for myself? Firmly grasp you are fluent in the language hand. of love. To myself, hey. I guess. Also, no one learned anything. <laughs> you think anybody's the... ever broken up or gotten a divorce over this game? Oh, over this game? Probably not. I would say an actual love tester? Absolutely. Well, specifically specifically this love tester. An actual love so tester? Sorry, Absolutely. We... No, no, this this one in particular. <laughs> this one in particular, the, the one here. Yeah. I think the concept of of a love tester is too old for modern audiences. Like kids playing this game have no idea what a love tester is. I All mean, right. I, th I think that, that like they've seen it at like a um, <laughs> like a bar, what? like a CD bar. I yeah, mean, or like a um, a love tester is a type of thing that you saw in the foyer of a Shoney's in 1993. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> or Reese's. Or Reese. What is it? Reese's, believe it or not. What is it? Ripley's. 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 Reese's. <laughs> Reese's. I can't believe, believe it. They peanut butter. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Reese's, nah, Reese's, Reese's puffs. Dude. Reese's puffs. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> Holy frick. Um. <laughs> uh. God, man. Right, we're going back to the PS1 because we're playing Rising Zan, the Samurai Gun Man, up next. Oh, I, what I what game? What game are y'all like, the most excited about on this list? Uh, it could be it could be for this bonus stream or the next one. Um, I would say Sonic Mania, but all John does is play with blue balls. So. <laughs> Shush! Stop talking about <laughs> blue balls. Listen. Listen, we played that and for 30, like for, for an hour or 30 minutes or so, that's all you were doing was blue spears. <laughs> you all made a tactical I'm... error with that one. Yeah, you're right. I like, I like Game Boy Player. Well, you're lucky because uh... we're going to take a break after this game, but then we'll be coming right back to that. Otherwise known as... I am, uh, <laughs> I'm excited. Going. I'm excited for more egg. Egg. I... I also am excited for Egg just I because we keep I... playing it every year, and I, I just yeah. want you to beat it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to take a while. It's, I think it's an RPG <laughs> length game. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, we played this, we're playing this game. Yeah, no, no, it's going to be longer than that. We're playing this a half hour at a time. We're playing a JRPG a half hour at a time once yeah. a year. Uh, How Long to Beat doesn't Boy, have a perfect number, but it says it could be anywhere from 14 to 23 hours. Heck yeah. So it's gonna be Boy. like at least 28 years before we finish this on uh, this track. Boy, oh, you know, you know you're that part. Intro, by the way. Master to the Far East, where he learned the secrets of the sword and came back. Remember in Jack the when like the they're like, and the sword uh, the what do you want to be when you grow up? And he's like, I want to be alive. You know, I want to be alive when you beat Egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh heck yeah. <laughs> God. I'm sorry. This is giving me God Hand vibes. Kinda. It's it's weird like God Hand is. Oh, this game seems like it's gonna be incredible. A cowboy who becomes a samurai? Oh, I'm invested 100%. Last 10. 
best. And my <laughs> Incredible! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, in this ah! and <laughs> This is so good! Red Dead Redemption 3 looks different. <laughs> <laughs> Shanghai, Arthur! Shanghai! This is the best! Tokyo! Tokyo, Arthur! I am losing my goddamn mind over this! This is awesome! Dude, you need to do like a full playthrough of this, Tom. Oh, probably not! This probably- the game probably controls like crap! <laughs> <laughs> I'm invested! But not that invested. <laughs> oh, I would definitely watch a Let's Play of this. I would never play it myself. <laughs> well, prepare, we're about to, that's what we're about to do. That was fucking awesome! Yo, uh, Tom, if you ever do a charity stream, like this should be one of your incentives. That's gonna be that's gonna be the incentive. Yeah. <laughs> like the like it, it it might be like play this for like one stream and then like the stretch goal is like do an entire let's play of it. Oh god. I had to do a serial tier list because of my last charity stream. So. <laughs> that was fun. I just want to point out that um the amount raised for this one was 4020. 69. Oh yeah, 40, 20, and 69 cents. Nice. 40, 20, 69. The year is 40, 20. 69% of the way through. Johnny became a samurai gunman. God, this sounds like my uncle. Wow, that was a... Woo, that below. There was nothing to be found. Then, just as he was turning to go home... His horse suddenly fell out from under him. Johnny jumped off his horse and drew his gun. Come out, I'll kill you all. He fired off several rounds from the gun given to him by his late father. <laughs> Very the only specific. thing running through his mind was to kill these unknown assassins and achieve his lifelong dream to become a hero. What a However, very vague none of the dream. He fired <laughs> on their mark. And suddenly, with a flash of light, Johnny fell to the floor unconscious, with blood flowing from his face. The oh, floor no, with the bottom of the X ravine. Does he have a sick X-shaped so scar? His oh, father's heck yeah. long friend from Zipangu saved him. Johnny spoke of the incident at the ravine with... Okay, that clearly Zipango. said Zipang, and he said Zipangu. Zipangu's legendary <laughs> fighting technique. Yep, absolutely. Suzuki. A master of this ancient fighting art agreed to teach Johnny, knowing that Johnny's life would be forfeit otherwise. A few days later, Suzuki and Johnny departed to Zipangu. Many years have passed. Johnny is now a master of both his own traditional fighting method and Zipangu's. He wields his gun and the blade of the samurai with equal skill. He commits himself to his new name, Zan and returns to his hometown. This is incredible. I... We haven't even got my favorite part of the intro yet. I think it's coming up here in a minute. Where are you going on vacation? I'm thinking about flying over to Zipangu. I'm thinking of going to Suka Town. This definitely seems like a movie that like MST3K would like would watch. Yep. Well, I'm not gonna let you get away with it anymore. Is that horse really small or is that guy really big? That guy's really big. That's uh, that's that's um, uh, that's Maranemia. Huh? You. You look like a dead man. Johnny Long Torso. Hang on, hang on. I think is is it right here? The bartender, huh? Hard to recognize you with all those bandages. And by the way, my name isn't right Johnny. Right here. It's the super ultra sexy hero, Zach. Incredible. What the hell? Lens flare. I love it. <laughs> J.J. Abrams would be proud. It's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. They came here for the gold. We tried to fight back, but I don't know. These people were different. Most of the townspeople were killed. 
And if someone doesn't step in soon and do something, they'll take over the town in no time. The Jackal. Well, they aren't gonna get away with this. They took my town. They better get ready for a surprise. This part. Zoom! Wait! <laughs> you can't beat them alone! Listen, if somebody in a video game of this caliper introduced themselves as the ultra sexy hero, uh, and they just go running off faster than your horse can go, I think they're fine. Yep. Here comes Zan. <laughs> right, I just gotta remember how to play this game now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that the original dialogue or is that a localization? <laughs> I have no fucking clue, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's a Pokemon! <laughs> <laughs> Pika, Pikachu! Oh, dog, dog, dog. That's how I'm talking with y'all for the rest of the stream, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, oh my god. So, I play, um, I'll play on Among Us with a, <laughs> with like a specific mod pack that like adds a bunch of different roles, but it also adds like new skins. And uh, one of them is just the Plum Bob oh. from The Sims. So whenever oh, nice. I put that on, I just start talking like a sim whenever we're doing discussions. I get voted out immediately every time that happens. <laughs> Zaboga Gungaboga. On the internet, nobody ever will ever know you're a sim. <laughs> you know what's funny? Whenever I played Sims for the first time, I thought there was something wrong with my game. Because <laughs> they, were they weren't speaking English. Simish. Yeah, they were they were speaking the freaking like sim language. I was like, what the frick is wrong with this game? Skimbofa Griba. Bofa Disna. Zababa de Waba. Yeah, no, I, every time I bring that one up, like it, there's always like the, the very clear Bofa. Yep. Bofa Twitch Prime. What? Bofa peanut butter. <laughs> Is press L1 once quickly just trying to tell you to tap L1? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no! Way to write speed, that. Other God, they're crucifying Speedwagon. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That poor man. You think you're a man enough to take me on? <laughs> gua, gua, gua. Quickly, fire the straw man cannon! Nice attack during the cutscene. This guy must really like Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> like he's crucifying somebody and he's shooting crosses. Okay. Fans of Jesus love to crucify people. <laughs> from the from the far off land of Zapangu, the fans of Jesus. Not bad, kid! Have you thought about converting? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, chat reminded me of something from way back. Crumply Gurn, Cheeky Fabby! Oh god, Gern, not Crumply Gurn. Cheeky Gern. Fabby, Gurn. I have no idea what you're talking about. In The Sims 3, and probably in a bunch of other Sims games, they took licensed music and had the original artists redub them in Simlish. Oh my, really? Yes, yeah, so that, that song was Girl. Country Girl. Oh, frick. Rebranded Re to Crumply Gurn. Man, I would love if all artists <laughs> did covers of their music in Simlish. <laughs> I'm a country. Oh, bing dong, stick a bone, can't get burned. Go, she ain't fall, stick a dog, call to fur. Shamo, shamo, shamo. She can mar fall, save, she can mar me. And it just keeps going like that. It really does. Oh, I forgot about the helicopter. Oh, he's Yoshimitsu. Yep. Jared, are you allowed to do drum covers of Sim? Hey, it's still there, the same music. Those, the music yeah, still there's the same. Yeah, those are still copyrighted songs. Okay. Yeah, if if I have the uh, any of the stuff in the background, that's why I don't play a lot of the uh, the the 
the funny rips that I used to anymore because like they have like the the original tracks and stuff. Oh. Yeah. I, I don't want to take that risk, even though you know it's it's weird. <laughs> I want to continue doing this for a very long time. So. Dude, you should just make a TikTok and then do it that way. <laughs> so, I, uh, funny enough, I did, and I got shadow banned for playing copyrighted music. Are you serious? Oh my god! <laughs> weird. Yep. Uh huh. Yeah, they uh, they but shadow banned my account because of that. I guess like I, I guess what I, what I have to wonder about that is that like were you editing the videos yourself or were you using like the in-app like thing to like bring the music up? Both. Okay. Huh. Yeah. That's I, weird. Yeah, I did them both, and um, they yeah. Uh, like, what's funny is like, I haven't used TikTok since last year. I got rid of the app. I stopped uploading because I was doing TikTok for a little bit. TikTok stressed me out so much it gave me a panic attack. So oh, that oh was God. the that was the point where I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just stick with Twitch and YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If, if it's. Because, like, so the story goes, it, uh, I was in Canada with Erica, um, and the trip was really crazy. Like, it, we had, like, a flat tower, ta uh, flat tower, flat, flat tire in our car. Freaking, we That's got, called like, the no, house. Yeah, we got, like, no sleep um, for different reasons. Like, we just had a lot of stuff go on on that trip. And, and I was working on trying to figure out a plan for TikTok. So on the last day, at about 4 o'clock in the morning, two hours before I needed to get up and get on a plane... I am sitting up after taking a shower, and I'm just like, holy frick, TikTok is stressing me out so bad I can't sleep. <laughs> so I just I just kind of gave up on TikTok. Like, maybe one day I'll return to it or get somebody to do uh, edits for me or whatever, but nah, it's just, it's not worth my time. Sure. But I post like gameplay yeah. clips on there and then just ignore it. <laughs> and, and also videos of manatee. <laughs> I mean, that, that should work just fine. I just found it really funny that they shadow banned my account for stuff that everybody else was doing, you know? Like, I was using the in-app the in system and everything like that, and they freaking, like... I went from gaining, like... I gained, like, 15,000 followers on TikTok in the first week, and then I didn't gain another one. Period. <laughs> because they didn't push my stuff. Um, so, it's just really weird. Like, TikTok is super strange. I kind of know how Twitch works, and I kind of know how YouTube works, so I'm going to stick with them. <laughs> oh my god! All button. Oh, right. <laughs> do you just, do you, wait, do you just mash all them, or do you have to do them a specific I can't order? remember if it was mash or press them all, but I think I made the same Apparently mistake last lives. time, too. I definitely failed it. Oh, shit. No, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Oh yeah, Cole. I remember. Oh, my giant sword. Oh. I definitely remember Cole, but I just I decided. See a fortune to teller it. now? Hey, are we in a Shonies? It's like a it's like a coin operated fortune teller. <laughs> Gondola power on. Where's Tom Hanks? Is this like the world from um? <laughs> this, this this seems like it's the world from uh from Mister the North Star. Go, 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 go. Oh, Jesus. I've been wasting all my <laughs> super fit meter. Hang on. Let's activate the hero mode again. <laughs> I like how. Is he just saying gun over and over again? I think. <laughs> gun, 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 gun. Uh oh. <laughs> song is oh, literally the, just saying, oh, it was the bad guy saying that, not you. Oh, right, What's he's invincible the during this shit. Stick in the center. That was what my super meter. Ah, uh, because you're a cowboy. Oh, cowboy, baby. I have like no health left. I gotta be careful. Nah, seventy-seven. I mean, that, that's I mean, that's an amazing battle cry. Every time you shoot a gun, you just say the word gun. I like how just like spinning with the club creates an Im impenetrable shield. Aim for his knees, jackass. That was to the character, not you. 
<laughs> just wanted to make sure. It was, it was very, it was very abrasive. So I, I, I... go over the knees. You dumb ass. I'm charging up my meter. To finish. I'm in. <laughs> what? Kage Mochi no Jutsu! I got 70 murder points. Sorry, 65. Finish level 6. What a wild game. Weak. <laughs> Weak. Oh. Oh, and it plays the theme whenever you beat yeah, a boss? That's freaking sick. My rating was chicken. But I got 3,600 3, sexy points. Good man. That's some freaking it's like the end good of the, stuff. It's like the end of the JoJo Part 1 theme. JoJo! <laughs> Alright, we've saved the citizens. That moment when you can't remember the name of your series, so you have to end it with... <laughs> 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 Like, one of the ladies just, like, falls You're... apart in three pieces. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, what? My name is Sam. I don't know anybody named Johnny. What are you talking about? We say about? Princess Zelda. Val, your neighbor. Don't tell me you've forgotten. What the hell are you wearing? Why are they all dressed this way? You did Wait, why it. are some of them... Okay. What? They're here for our goal. Different times we're living yeah, in. Yeah, one of them look like Zelda. <laughs> My dad. I worry Mom. about that sheriff badge. <laughs> Can't you just kill it's, it's, it's glue. It's just glue. It's fine. Uh, oh, no, okay, well, uh, yeah, un unbeknownst to, to everybody, she actually has a nipple piercing. Why is Zelda there? <laughs> I don't have much information. They kidnapped her. This but is I how it happened. There is some sort of castle in the next town. Is it Ganon? Hmm. Next town, huh? Wait a minute, y'all. John, Wait, are you about late. to go fight Calamity Ganon? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. What in tarnation? Yeah. Wild in the street. <laughs> I can't remember if I have three hearts or two. Now you may be asking yourself, did I fire six shots or seven? Do you feel lucky? What? Why do I, all of the, why do all the bad to... guys sound like... I, I, I have to find an original, like, like the original Japanese in this game to see if they still sound like that. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me if they did, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I hope they did! Because if they localized it to that, I would I would be concerned! Yep. Watch out for the Darumaka! They're kicking my ass! Is that a strong bad head? What is that? <laughs> the Darumakas. Yeah. It a, it's a really strange crossover. Or Darumas, sorry. <laughs> Darumakas <laughs> a Pokemon. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, see the, uh, the, um, what, what, who you call them? Uh, the people who developed this game just really liked the, uh, the original children's book for Homestar Runner. Because that's probably when this game came out. Shit. Ah, damn it! Who's blocking me on this one? Uh, the, the fire, uh, the fire breather. I can't. Oh, I'm on the ground. That's why. Oh, there's two of them. That's why. Oh. Uh, I, I, thank you, Xan Rising, in, in the the chat. This game isn't localized. This is the one and only dub. Their goal was for the minor villains to sound like Power Rangers minions. Oh. Ah, okay. Oh fuck! I'm almost dead. Oh, oh, brutal! I've seen a lot of similarities. I think that guy was a Goron. I think this is Zelda. <laughs> Big sword time! 
You remember in Ocarina of Time when Link cut off the head of all the Gorons? Careful, that thing spins! Ah. It's almost broken! Ah! Oh, I'm almost broken too. Uh oh. Yep, I'm gonna die. Uh, I only have 20 seconds. Something drop a burger! D rockets, that works too! Hey, John, I have a question. Yeah? What, um. Why can't I lock game, onto him? How, how does a game uh, enter the, the game clearing list? Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, the moon crashed into the world. Game over! Oh, is this Clock Town? Smash it, smash, smash it, it, smash it, it, smash it, smash it, smash it. Uh, it has the game it. enter game clearing? I just pick what it, like, so there's, it depends on the month. Because each month has a different theme. Subs can suggest some games, and that's usually what I pull from. But, uh, sometimes I'm just, if I'm in the mood for a game, I'll throw it in there. Or if it matches a also theme I'm trying to do. Like, the current theme, uh, for the upcoming <laughs> month is we ran a contest back in February. We ran a March Madness bracket to figure out what game we were going to play in March. And I let people do predictions of all the matchups. Whoever won the matchup, or did the best prediction, got to pick the game we played in the upcoming month. Okay. But, but otherwise, so, yeah, my the subs get to suggest a game, mods get to suggest some games, and then I'll just pull from whatever I'm in the mood for as well. Yeah, because I know that you also play games like from your childhood that you never got to beat sometimes. Yeah, that was, that was actually January's theme was specifically games like... I think I call yeah. it Revenge or something like that. It's just games I played yeah. as a kid I never finished. Yeah. Camera, I really need you to lock on to the thing I'm actually trying to hit. Um, ah, shit. Okay. Hold, hold on. I'm, try, I'm, trying to get the I'm trying to get the timing of this down because I can could, I could do a thing here. Smash it! 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 Nice. And now he is in orbit. Yep, I blew up the clock tower. When is Tom gonna come down? <laughs> <laughs> Rocket Man! <laughs> this is Major Tom to ground control! All different songs. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I didn't know. Uh, well, I knew Rocket Man, but like. To be fair, that wasn't also Rocket Man he was quoting. That was Goodbye Yellow Brick Roads, is what. <laughs> no, I was, I was talking about what Jared said. Yeah. Or was that what he said? Was it Goodbye nope. Yellow Brick Road? Jared said Rocket Man. Steven was singing Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Okay. Oh my god, these flamethrower guys! Fair, that line totally feels like it belongs in Rocket Man. Truth. Oh, I do think it's gonna be a long, long time until Touchdown brings you out again to find. All we were doing was just trying to make a dual mix live. Sword time! Oh my god, the knockdown on this fire! What's he got in that, that barrel in the back? Is Probably that where he keeps his flame, flame um, fire fuel. Chips? I unfortunately, there's so. Like, I have. There's special moves I can input too, but I don't know how to do them. So I keep getting stuck because it's. I think we're gonna fail again. Now you got this. I got 20 seconds, and I'm stuck by another shield. No, don't lock onto them! Don't lock onto them! Big sword! No, we're gonna lose. Damn it! At the buzzer. Oh, well, you get to blow up with the clock tower. Great, much better. I gotta look over the rest of these buttons because I'm doing something wrong here. Uh, da, 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 da. See, this is why I should have done the training because this would have made it a lot easier, but we only have 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, L1 button long press move camera behind Zam. L1 button tap lock on target right uh, uh, side of nearest enemy. R1 defend sidestep with L2 or R2. 
And does the manual also say special move inputs? Because something tells me we should be using these. No. So the only one I figured out is these. Oh, there they are. I have slice, hurricane, spin, and rush. And charge. All right, let's try. Let's try these, I guess. Double tap forward and and sword for charge. Right, right, and and sword or left, left or sword for a slice. Hurricane is left, right, slice. Spin is down, up, slice. Rush is up, up, gun. All right, let's see if any of these work. Can I skip this? I can. So what do the boxes do? The boxes? Yeah, the death boxes. Is that like... Oh, that's not the spin I thought I was going to do. Okay. Does that use part of your meter to use the special moves? Yeah, it uses the blue meter, yeah. Oh, the blue meter, okay. So many meters. Because you got your HP, your MP, and your, your sexy hero points. Yep. Nice. Doing, huh? I'm doing way better now that I'm actually using my moves. <laughs> Who could have seen that coming? <laughs> yeah, but now I have to kill this guy here. I was going to say, can you hit him to the barrier like that? No. Oh my god, how many hits do you take? Why do you take so many hits? Oh, good. The other one showed up. Great. Now I'm almost out of health, so I need to actually break some shit. Did you actually grab the Coca-Cola, or...? Yeah. Okay. C-O-L-A. Coke. Oh my god, but the knockdown is take making this take forever! Oh my god! Seems like it's gonna have to be like a touch up a little bit and, and get out of there kind of thing. Alright, well, I probably should have sidestepped more. Oh my god, really? Get out of here! I'm not interested! Oh my god! Dude. You're so close. I know, this, and I don't think I'm gonna make it in time. I legit don't. I mean, you have a good bit of time compared to how much health it has. You might still be able to pull it off. As long as you don't get killed. Well, here's the problem. The, I won't lock onto it. It's locked onto everything else around it. You got it. You got it. One more hit. Zan? Oh, Zan? What if it still blew up? Like, it's just, even though, like, like it just blows up as part of the thing. <laughs> ora, 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 ora! Still again, finish level six. Weak. God, that they don't need that many there shields. There was a guy in there? Well, I had to move <laughs> somehow. I thought it was a robot. Everything has blood when you are still, a samurai. Still chicken ranks. Our time was good, though, because that's green. Weirdly enough, because that, that's the time limit. It's the stage. <laughs> I feel like you don't get a choice oh. for your time being good yeah. here. Secret Ultra Chicken? No. Mega Ultra Chicken. Ultra chicken. <laughs> I haven't seen the new Aqua Team that's come out yet. I've only seen oh, the Oh, new ones come out? They're doing like the short ones on YouTube. Oh. It's focusing on, each one focuses on a different villain from the series. All right, after this cutscene, we're going to break proper. Beautiful cutscene. <laughs> wow. Great.
Oriental Dark Power. Chat, if you can make um, this one of the game playing games, that'd be great. <laughs> This game is weird, man. I am... I'm loving this. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba, I like the it. Alrighty then. So we're gonna take a little bit of a break so I can stretch my legs and grab another drink. If you guys feel you want to do the same, feel free to. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Get a oh. snack. I am wishing that I had room on this memory card to save a file for this, because we actually got farther than we did last time we played it. Oh well. Uh, let me drop eggs as well. Bubba, I don't know if you were doing that tonight or not. Skim otherwise. Are we doing art block? No, we're not doing art block during the stream. Uh, if we do it, it's gonna be at the very end once all the games are done. And at that point, I'm sure the the others are gonna be bounced out. I know Jared has to leave early too. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to head out right after the disc only segment. Sadly, that's what I figured. Yeah, I got a big old ride ahead of me, and it's already like <laughs> ten ten o'clock. Right. Maybe I've been like going to sleep at like four. It's so stupid. Yeah, right. I mean, I'm, that's where I'm at too. I usually go to bed at four o'clock uh. now too. I'll have been trying to fix it for a while. Uh, anonymous, give to the sub to Steven. Anonymous, give this up to Tom. Anonymous, also give this up to Bizzard the Wizard. Heavy base is at 98 months. Silmar Wentz is at 95. Carbonier is at 93. Amphis Mako is at 90. Our Luna's at 93. Back. Night MC3 is at 69. Nice. Scamming through. Scamming through all the eggs. Horizon Star gifted a sub to Aldo512. Aaron the Baron's at 85 months. Just skimming. Just skimming, skimming through the list, trying to see what else is here. Templar Eris is a brand new sub. Welcome to the stream. Um, I hopefully you're enjoying tonight and Rising Xan. The next set of games is going to be interesting. That Gamer in the Shades is at 90 as well. History Master is also at 69. Nice. Nice. And Space... <laughs> Spaceman Quiff! 755, I assume it is Quiff and nothing else. Uh, subbed as well. Welcome to the stream as well. Thank you all for subbing and hanging out as long as y'all have. Sorry, I can't read the full list. But your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. I don't know if there's any eggs in the carton, and I don't expect there to be per se. Nope. So let's see what the shuffler's got for us. I actually threw a couple new ones in. Let's see what happens. Spaceman Quiff sounds like a play on Spaceman Spiff from Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, it probably is that. All right. We're gonna go to break. When we come back, the next three games we're doing are gonna be Game Boy Player Disc only, Egg so Elemental we're Gimmick Gear, and The Outer Wilds. See you guys in a bit. I need to go get a drink as well. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna order me some food and wait another hour and a half for Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> if only you were that lucky. Bubker Kirk, have it in a way. Bob Gokherg. Chat, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, I chat. You doing good, chat? <laughs> I'm sleepy, dude. <laughs> Marco run no dun dun. <laughs> Spubby. Every time I see Dun Dun, the first thing that comes to mind is Xenoblade. Dun Dun. Because that's what that's what he calls a uh, Dun Ban. Bro, eating gyoza? Lucky Lundia, what the frick? Ooh, Ricky, leave this one for Dun Dun! <laughs> Good luck with Hades, Dusk. Uh... Here, Ricky, go! <laughs> the only thing... The only thing that I remember... 
from freaking Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is spinning cutter and steady shield. Yep. Is spinning it. cutter! God. Steady shield! I actually had to get Erica to turn on the Japanese voices. <laughs> Because in our old house um, that we were we were renting, my office was right across like the hallway from the uh, den. So all I heard was freaking that <laughs> while I was like doing stuff. Hi, Blue. We can't How take any more spitting cutter. Or steady drill. Come here, buddy. Oh, steady oh, drill. That's a good boy. Oh, he purring chat. Oh, frick yeah. He parring, he parring like a boy, like a good boy. Blue, say hello to everybody. Everybody remembers you from Coliseum and the only bumper I did. <laughs> because I, I did not have time to do more. Plus, I think you were the best bumper in that right, buddy. Oh, God, yes, you sweet frick. Oh. <laughs> you sweet frick. <laughs> you sweet frick. Screw you, I love you. God. Oh, my goodness. Chad, I love this cat. Oh, ah, thank you for... Oh, ugh, oh, God, he farted right in my face. <laughs> you stank, Frick. What are you doing? Manatee, Manatee will sleep ugh. on my bed, and ugh. there's always one point in the night before I fall asleep <laughs> where he just plants his butt right next to my face, and I'm like, nope, you gotta move, <laughs> bud. <laughs> it was a gift. <laughs> Can I return it? <laughs> Uh, I still love you, even though you're a sneaky frick. You're just like daddy. You're just like daddy. A sneaky frick. No, stink, stinky frick. Stinky frick. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, Easy. we we know, we, like, we know that you use your phone in the shower, so you can't be that stinky. <laughs> Listen, I've had people ask me questions about that. I'm like, what? I just, I don't put it under the water. It's that easy. <laughs> I've, I've, I've like, I've done meetings, like full on, like mod meetings in a shower. <laughs> Listen, I know, like, I know that they're probably audio, but the first thing I thought of was like a, was like a zoom call. Oh God, no. <laughs> I need to make sure that there's no video option, but yeah, I've, I've done like, I've done meetings in a shower before, like legit. It's funny. It's just like a dry erase marker. It has to be dry erase because because if it's wet erase, then uh then uh it's gonna run in the shower. No, I'm, not, I'm not talking about doing like a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> I'm talking, like... you, uh, no, it's not a PowerPoint presentation. Your <laughs> the interior of your shower is a whiteboard. <laughs> oh god, that's the first rule of VTubing. Uh, never stream, <laughs> never stream naked because you might press the wrong button. I still believe that is the most unhinged thing that you do. Unhinged? What? It's not really that really? unhinged. Yeah. yeah. You don't know me very well, Sandwich. I guess it also depends on the shape of your shower, because, like, like, how is your shower shaped for you to consistently, like, is it one of those, like, standing showers with the, with the door? Is it, like, a shower curtain? Like, how does it work? Uh, long shower curtain. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what shower I'm in. I can do it. I'm just, I'm just that good. So how, so if you were in one where it was basically just, like, like a glass, like, square. Yeah. With like the water coming down on you, like how how like how like, a, like, a, like a waterfall way? shower? No, not Sorry, a waterfall what? shower. So like just, just like um, man, what like, in God's uh, name are we talking about? Just, Listen, just, like, a, just like a shower stall, like 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 a shower stall, no curtain. It's like there's like a door behind you for it. All right. So what you do is you just keep one arm out of the water. It's perfectly fine. And like I'm just chilling. I'm not like washing or nothing. I'm just freaking chilling in there, you know, enjoying the warmth. <laughs> Enjoying the warmth of the shower, so. I get okay, so I guess like in that case that you're looking for the feeling of the water like pouring down on you. Then, yeah, right? yeah, it's relaxing. Okay, because that was because my second my next question was gonna be like why not a bath then? But if you're looking for that specific sensation of the water being poured <laughs> on you, you want to know something really funny? <laughs> yeah, I don't use my phone in the bath because I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> <laughs> so I will use. <laughs> I'll use my phone in the shower, <laughs> but not in a bath. <laughs> I'm a very strange Wait. individual. Yeah, uh, Jared, I remember you 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 mentioning this before that like you sometimes like watch stuff on your yeah. phone. Uh huh. I I'll hold I'll hold my phone in the shower and freaking like go on Twitter, <laughs> watch stuff on YouTube. 
Wait, yeah, I'm sorry. I, 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 what, I won't what, use what it in the bathroom. Phone, what kind of phone do you have? I mean, isn't it water iPhone, resistant? Yeah, oh, iPhone 11. I don't... Okay, I don't know how many... I don't know how to explain this. I don't let the phone get wet. I just... If, if you're using, like, like if it's, like, a, like a, um, a shower that's, like, part of a tub with, like, the curtain and everything like that, you, you know what I'm talking about? Is that what yeah, your shower yeah. is? Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, no. I could perfectly understand how you wouldn't be able to get the phone wet in there. Well, yeah. I mean, all you have to do is just dodge the water. It's that easy. Like, with one hand. Water resistant, no waterproof. Don't worry, I'm not drowning my phone, chat. I, I like how you guys didn't even wait for the podcast where we're going to be discussing probably the exact <laughs> same thing anyways. Somebody brought it up. I did. <laughs> yeah. Because like, because you were talking about how uh, how you were oh just like your cat you are no just like you your cat is a stinky boy. <laughs> yeah. But, but then John blue far blue farted directly in my face while I was <laughs> petting him a minute ago. <laughs> uh, and now he's just relaxing. He's proud of what he's done. And of course he is. That's what cats do. He's a good boy. All right. Let me quickly read alerts. Like I said, we're not doing art block, and if we do do it tonight, it'll be at the very end of everything. So, uh, quickly skimming alerts here. Ryan Bo6 says, "Give all the chaos." Ryan also says, "Have a cow." Uh, Kiranai Hideyoshi says, "Fairly Odd Parent Shadow Showdown is a childhood favorite of mine." Oh, and by the way, if you like Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective, and Half Life, you'll probably enjoy Geist for GameCube. Yeah, I've heard uh, decent things about that. Middling to decent. Uh, is this Gherkin off? Because if so, that's an amazing name. Uh, with it Animu is, Cow. G E R K I N H O F. He's a regular on my stream. Yeah, he's a I've good always, dude. I've always called him Gherkin Hoff. I was. I figured it was Gherkin off because it's a play off of Jerkin off. So that's what I figured it was. That's a great name. This is uh This is the part where uh, he shows up in chat right now and just goes, "Well." <laughs> <laughs> Tom pronounces Tom it pronounces right, it like right. the pickle, yeah. not what you do with it. <laughs> 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 You know what? Fair. Fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. Incredible. So it was Gherkenhoff. I'm gonna get a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Tridale, Tridale says, fun fact, when this far side came out, there was no name for the spikes on the dinosaur's tail, so the scientists went ahead and took the name. It is literally called a uh, T-H-A-G-O-M-I-Z-E-R, even in science textbooks. So it's taken from far side? From, Amazing. Yep, yep, from far side. Yep, far side came up, uh, coined that term, and then it was just, uh, like, adopted into that. Amazing. Afro Blade Master says, Bizzard the Wizard and the Big Ass Lizard. <laughs> Xander the Goose says, Bizzard the Wizard and the Dinovus Witnesses. Rio9 says, Am I the only one who keeps confusing Shinji Mikami, the creator of Dino Crisis and Resident Evil, with Shinji Ikari, the main character or, or one of them from Evangelion? Whenever I hear the first <laughs> name, I might immediately automatically defaults to the second guy. Someone else <laughs> Yo, in chat Shinji, mentioned it, so Shinji I don't think you Mikami, are alone. Mikami, get in the robot. <laughs> okay, but it has to be a horror-themed robot first. I think one of my favorite things to cut, like, uh, it was, um, it was a meme that came out recently. Or not really, it, it was the, uh, the bit from, uh, from Smiling Friends, where, uh, Charlie's like, uh, Pib, can I talk to you for a second? But, but instead, instead of being in the room with Desmond, they're in the room with Shinji, sitting in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> Phase on Farmer says, Bizzard the Wizard and the Lizard Gizzard. Xander the Goose says, Just got tickets for me and my girlfriend to go see Weird Al tomorrow. Ooh, enjoy. Working Fun. on that, uh, working on that, uh, that Bizzard the Wizard alert, by the way. Nice. Bella Bunny says, You saved the doggo! And then I see Gherkenhoff says, Education and beef. You <laughs> learned. Cook. How do I look, yellow man? God. All right, do we uh, have everyone back for disc only, or are we waiting on Steve? We might so. be missing a Georg. I think we are missing he Georg. He is muted right now, but the, the Georg could unmute at any moment. Nobody Probably went to go get Georg. a snack. I think we talked about this once before, about, like, um, automated phone messages, uh, and how they would pronounce, like, names wrong. 
Uh, because whenever I would get calls from Blockbuster, it would be, uh, they'd be looking for, uh, the Ogrity family. And I believe Steven had one where his, uh, his name was pronounced so, so egregiously incorrectly. I only just got back, but I'm assuming you're talking about, uh, Georgi? Georgi, yep. Yeah. I got Georg all the time, but Georgi was a one-time thing where I was like, come on. Really? Automated, uh, automated telephone messages would call me Mr. Ogrity. I still, uh, at my graduation from university, they said my name is Jonathan Weller, and I was so confused by the way they said it, I legit thought it wasn't me, despite the fact that we were going in a queue order. <laughs> so I hesitated for a second. My sister was watching the live stream, and she even texted me like, well, congrats on the new name. Because we were just like, what's that? I thought you were, were going to look at your diploma and they misprinted your name on there. Oh, I did that too. I did do look at that. <laughs> For some reason, I thought they did do a mistake, but no, they got it right. It's like, did I just take Sorry, someone else's? Did, I, did I not graduate? Day. Like, do I not have my degree? <laughs> all right. Uh, are we all ready to hop into disc only mode? Yeah, I mean we're kind of, yeah. we, we we've been there for a while, man. Yeah, that's what I figured. I feel like we should have just hopped over anyway. So let me let me get all that jazz running here. Do, do we do the do we do the formal intro? Ah, screw it. Let's do the formal intro. Hey, everybody, welcome to the disc only podcast. Except we're probably not going to use this as a podcast, but we're doing it anyways. But we're not doing the podcast, so we can break all the rules, which means speaking during no! the intro. I go God How first. could God you speak it. during the intro of all things? It is a sanctimonious part of this segment. Now, I'm not introducing I myself, say, then. I say uh, no, I'm producer. <laughs> I just won't introduce myself. <laughs> no, all. no one's introducing themselves at this but, point. But Stephen, <laughs> we're breaking all the rules, which means you have to go before me. Wait, Am I still last? Wait, don't I normally go before you? I'm running Woo! the intro again. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun. <laughs> wait, I normally go before Tom, though, right? No, I go after. Wait, do I go before or after? <laughs> Nobody tell him! Oh, Steven, I know we've been doing last. this for a year and a half now, if not longer. Is it I'm before? amazed. It's something with Tom. It's You do it half? at the same time. My God, how could you forget? Steven, have you ever noticed like the order in which our faces appear on the podcast screen? <laughs> oh, that's convenient. I've never given that any thought. <laughs> not one. Wow. That's why I did this! <laughs> Really? <laughs> you did that for me? Well, Thank no, you, actually, it wasn't done by me at all, but I kept it that way when I moved everything in for, like, the popping heads. Specifically for Woo! Steven. Like <laughs> Man. Good God. <laughs> oh, I like the Dan. The Dan's nice. Dude, it's so good. Oh, the Dan. That was a heck of an intro. Indeed, it we haven't was. even we haven't even. It's so good, we should do it again. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> oh my god! I just like seeing myself as a bunny rabbit, honestly. Hey everybody, and welcome to Disc Only, <laughs> where the points don't matter. I'm <laughs> your Dan host. gets all the words. He's Dan. I'm Dan. And I'm here for some reason. Dan only podcast. <laughs> Dan Dan is allowed to talk the most in this episode. Is what we're doing here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Every, all you of us get one word. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like in the uh, the intro screen how like everybody gets like uh everyone gets like like Latin under their banner and mine is just ah. <laughs> I am just I am just still reeling from the fact that we are in order. Oh my God. Like actually, like so. Here's the thing: I I didn't even put them originally in order. That was uh, when the logo originally got made. They did that. All the heads were originally made, and then wait, when wait. I put in the bouncing heads, I was like, oh, well, I'll just keep them in that order because that's the order we do the podcast in. Wait, but when did we start doing the order, like in the show? I'm pretty sure we started doing that like from the first actual episode. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
So yeah, like Prism did uh, all of our heads like this, and put them in this incredible. order. So we just, I just stuck with it. Absolutely incredible. Because the intro that Paper Pennies did, like, we're not in the same order. Like here, let, let's show the intro. <laughs> the uh, like, yeah, if, yeah, if we're going off goes... this, it's go. It should be Stephen, me, Jared, Tom. Or if you're, if we're going in like a circle, in a circle or anything, it should be me, Tom, Jared, Stephen. So, if we're going like an actual clock. No, okay, I'm, I'm gonna confused. have to do my best to not look at this. <laughs> 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 I just remember, you know, so how I do it is I just remember something about Tom, and then Tom speaks just before me, and then when he's done speaking, that's when my brain's like, okay, Tom, it's something with Tom, so it must, must be your turn. Something with Tom, something with Tom, something with Tom. My turn! Mm -hmm. <laughs> just need the, Tom uh... to do literally anything, and then I'm set. Come on, come on, come on, you motherfucker, just say something! Next time, you just got to be really quiet for the rest of the time. <laughs> and, and, and then, oh, and then Steven, a... Steven's just going to be like, oh, God. <laughs> It'd be a disaster. <laughs> Wait, do I go before? No, no, we established this. Like, I, I, I'm already picturing exactly how it would go. I will, there's, there's no chance I'll remember between now and the next show. Next when week? is the next is... show? Are we doing so uh, next week? I well, I mean, I was gonna ask you guys. Like, I, I assumed we were doing a regular show next week because otherwise, we're gonna have to cut up this and the Netflix disc, instant streaming oh disc, into into a full cast. Okay, but, okay. But Jared's just, not even gonna be here for the Netflix disc, so. Sadly, yeah. Yeah, just we, we'll do a normal. We can do a normal show, right? Is that yeah, May third? It, bro. Okay, so I could I could technically. If I'm still driving, I could technically be on for voice. I don't know. If you're driving, though, you're going to be distracted. I don't know if, I, if I'm vibing with that. I mean, that's fair. I Well, I mean, I trust in my ability to do so because I used to do it for work all the time, but I can understand that. <laughs> I'm just we'll saying, we, we tend also, to make... we're having a, a special guest. Also. Remember? Yeah. Oh, I had actually <laughs> forgotten. Oops. <laughs> Wait, what? Remember? Oh, yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah I had actually forgotten about that. Oh, Thanks for the reminder, Dan. <laughs> do, they remember? Go, do they go before Tom or do they go after Jared or me? Do you They'll remember how, you. <laughs> how I freaking was like, hey, do you want to be on it in the wrong freaking Discord? <laughs> <laughs> and everybody was like, oh, yeah, he should totally be on I'm like, ah, oh, god dang it. That was, in, that was definitely in the wrong chat. <laughs> I want to, uh, I, I, I'll, be, I'll be right back. I just want to check something real quick. It does exactly what I thought it does. It does get rid of the head when you leave the call. Yep. So, uh, uh -huh. Oh, are you using, um, what is the name of that, uh, that website? Oh, frick. I mean, I'm using OBS. It Oh, okay. Coolhead.net. <laughs> but, but yeah, no. so you can, so originally, and I actually only fixed this last episode, I actually had the heads behind everyone so that if someone disconnected, it would still be there. But I realized because everyone's head jumps up when they talk, you see the shadow of, you see the outline of the other head. So it's just, <laughs> you see two heads there. I'm like, eh, maybe we should fix that. Shadow <laughs> of the man's head. Because uh, there's a, uh, a program that I've been using for whenever I have, like whenever I had Massey on, um, for uh, the power washer, she gave me a little icon, and there's a website that you can use to have whenever she talks it light up, and yeah. it's like super easy to set up. I freaking love that crap. Yeah, that's what this is. It's just changed slightly. Yeah, okay. So it's just yours is built into OBS then. Well, well, it's Wait, using John. that site as well. So okay, cool, cool. Hey, John, what happens if I leave? Uh, it will well, still the disc display disc only podcast. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Disc only still remains. So I guess yours is just like um like transparent when you're not talking, and then it overlays with Dan when you do. Okay. Yeah. So yours actually adds like is actually still the word disc only, but I added white over all the letters to cover them up. Oh. Mm. But everyone else's is like the when they're not talking, it's the grayed out version of the head, and then when they're talking, it jumps up and uh, turns to the lighted version. My favorites with those, uh, with those, are that you can have like a, uh, you can include uh, gifs in them as well. I think. Uh huh. So like when they're not talking, you just have it be one frame of the gif, and then when they are talking, it just plays the gif. Jared, is that the site you use? Streamkit. 
Uh, no, actually. Um, uh, I need to this look into this one... though, because this one looks really, really good. <laughs> well, this, this is, is the one this is that the one... we use currently. So yeah. So this is the one that I use, but I've had an issue with it where I've tried to have it um, set where it only shows uh, people who are speaking, but for some reason that just doesn't work. I mean, oh, that I had to like I use settings that PNG tubers were using to enable this. So that's what okay. I did for this. So you can just modify it to do that. Yep. Like, th like you specifically, is... you can specifically set each instance up based off of your Discord code number. Like every account has a code number. You just type the number yeah. in, and then it will react specifically just to that account talking. Oh. Yep. Uh, I'm, going, uh, uh, I'm probably going to end up using that one because it it seems a little bit more robust than uh, the one I'm currently using. Bah, but bah, it bah, works. Bah, 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 bah. It's story time by Dan. <laughs> Dan, tell doop, us doop, a story. Doop, doop. All right, we're doing segments now on this show. Um, oh, shoot, hang on. I got. We got to play a jingle. Uh, do I have a jingle on uh, here? Let's see. Oh. Okay. Apparently, I had that as a jingle. All right, that works. Oh my god. Perfect. All right. So, um, this just literally happened right before the podcast. Uh, I ordered some food because I was um, a hungry boy and I did DoorDash and so I got a notification that like, oh, it's it's almost here. I get a call from a random person. I look up at the webpage and it's like, oh, that's the person who's giving it to me. So I answer it. They're like, hey, where, what house, you know, because it's dark. And so like I tell them and they're like, okay. And so I was like, I'll just meet y'all outside. I walk out and like, they, they see me, they see the house, they, like, start driving <laughs> to me, like, who's, like, a few feet away from the house, and I see the window go down, the bag of food extend from the window, and they just start driving, and they don't look like they're gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> And I had to run to the car, which was, like, a couple of feet away from the house. Like, about to run into the house if I hadn't run to the car. I don't know if they <laughs> were... Was... This man... I hope this man was having an okay day. Uh, it, it was a lady and another lady in the car, and I, I was like, uh, thank you. Were they practicing uh, like, for a oh, drive-by? Oh, like, what was going on? Oh, I don't uh, yeah, know. I'm like, hoping this wasn't like a, like an American psycho. Like the guy snaps, but he still has a very pleasant demeanor. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like it, uh, it, they like like they they had turned, you know, to cause cause like you know, it's Hit parallel the house to the road. For, like, the insurance but, like, money. Yeah, they like. They were probably gonna hit the house, and uh, yeah, that was fun. So, <laughs> Chaz, the I'm dash glad. part is not supposed to be literal. I'm glad that they didn't hit the house. Door dash, more like door crash. Hey! Got him! Got him! Oh, hang on. Hey. Hang on. I was about to do the noise you by my mouth, but I have crash. this on my phone. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I like that. <laughs> Whose turn is it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose segment Jared, is next? Jared, tell me a story, Jared. Jared, hang on. Jared I got to run a jingle for you first. <laughs> oh no! Just the, just the intro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got a story. <laughs> uh, the other day, it's a very short story. The other day, I was having trouble with one of my mini split remotes for my AC units uh, over here at this house. Not at my, not at the drum place because Wait, the drum place is AC is just. Yeah, we have uh, mini splits throughout the house. Cause we have like I have one in my office. Uh, Erica has one in her office. Then we have like them in the bedrooms, um, because they're only they're only like for one one room. They're they're like half a mini split. They're really uh, cool. Anyway, um, so <laughs> I freaking we we call up the people because we think there's something wrong with the remote because it's not connecting. And they're like the guy comes over and he's like, "Oh, your batteries are dead." I'm like, "Oh, well, frick, okay." He goes, "That'll be eighty dollars." <laughs> Ooh. And I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, $50 for us coming out, $30 for me to put the batteries in the remotes. And I'm sitting there like, you could have told me this before you put the batteries in the remote. Like, really? <laughs> but, 
you know, that's that's fair. I apparently I didn't read the freaking like I thought he was joking whenever he said it. I thought he was joking, like legit. But no, I spent eighty dollars for a man to come and replace AAA batteries in my freaking <laughs> remote. And this is this is the part where like he breaks into song and dance and goes, "This is a highway robbery." <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, that that crap made me made me slightly upset. <laughs> I can't slightly. imagine why. Oh man, because like I used to do like IT work, man, and if I had to do something little like that, I'd be like, ah, oh, don't worry, it's on the house. And then they like you know give me a tip or something because that's just you know how I do things. But man, I have never and I never will charge somebody eighty dollars <laughs> to replace batteries in a remote control. <laughs> Oh, those were the most expensive triplets I've ever bought in my entire life. Capitalism. It's Woo! capitalism. Ugh. Charging okay, 30 Tom, bucks. it's your turn. Charging 30 bucks for 50 cents worth of batteries. Uh, that, that, was, that was my only story I got right now. Stories, huh? All right, hang on. I got to I gotta play a jingle or something for uh, for Tom. What do I got? What do I got? <laughs> I'd do it for $60. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's a horror story. It is a it it well. God. Uh, could I just rehash the the story where I waited an hour and a half to have Burger King delivered to me? <laughs> <laughs> it links up to dance. Oh yeah. boy! Uh, come back to me. I'll have a story by the time we're done with Stephen. Okay. Well, what what you do what you do right is sometimes it's hard to think of a story. So you you have to have another person give you like a keyword that triggers a story in your head and be like, <laughs> a, wait, oh. a core memory, if you will. Yeah. Like you have to unlock a core memory. So like, Oh, Steven, you had a colonoscopy. I did. That can be mine. That, that unlocked a core memory of something that just occurred. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I had a colonoscopy and if you've never had a colonoscopy, you have to do prep where you, you basically consume a lot of laxative. How many servings uh, did they give you? Uh, servings okay, of so, laxative. Yeah. So I had to drink one full bottle of Miralax, one uh -huh. full bottle of uh, magnesium citrate, and I I had to take a bunch of uh, whatever the other one was. There was pills I had to take too. And everyone told me, they were like, man, that magnesium citrate is the nastiest stuff that I've ever drank. And I was like, okay, okay. So I went to Walmart and I picked up all this stuff, which, by the way, seems to be a, a divergent path here in, in determining, like, how your doctor is going to prescribe this to you because they're either going to, like, give you a mix that you go pick up from a pharmacy or they're just going to give you a shopping list and be like, go get this stuff. So my particular doctor was like, go get this stuff. So yep. I picked it all up and I went home and I had to start, like, there was really specific directions for how to do this. And uh, as a side note, I've never actually taken laxative. Um, I don't have that problem. Uh, my stool is nice and loosey-goosey on its own. So I've never really needed it. Um, but I, I, I crack open the magnesium citrate, and I've been told by all these people, like, oh, man, this is not going to be good. And I smell it, and I'm like, man, that kind of smells like Sprite. So I, <laughs> I take a sip. And I'm like, I oh, don't know, that tastes a lot like Sprite. So I downed the whole thing, and it was actually delicious. Fair. And I, talk, I, I told this uh, story to Emil, and Emil was like, isn't it delicious? And I was like, it was delicious. Why is it so good? And apparently that is not a common thought. Nope. Um, it's what? a lot of people. <laughs> and apparently really they gross. replaced my magnesium citrate with Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that uh that that all turned out okay and i had to drink uh like 70 ounces of miralax gatorade and it was fine because i didn't taste any sort of miralax so actually all the prep stuff went well except for um like the 30 to 40 times that i pooped that was less good because that's a lot of poop yeah, i imagine it turned to that one scene from dumb and dumber <laughs> where he, where he like where he pours like the entire bottle of a uh, laxative into the guy's tea or coffee or whatever. I, the, honestly, it was mostly an inconvenience because I I really wanted to get work done, but like I would sit on the toilet 
and I would poop, and I'd be like, okay, body, I'm going to go to the computer now. And my body's like, uh-huh, you done. And I was like, okay, here I go. And I would walk the 10 steps out of the bathroom toward the computer, and my body would be like, you have to poop. <laughs> like, please don't. And it's like, you have to poop. Poop again. Poop. Poop. Go back and poop. And then, you know, I didn't really have a choice. I had to go poop. And that happened for an entire day. Did you at least have your switch? No, because I didn't want to. Okay, so here's here's the here's the thing, right? Like, okay. you sit on the toilet for a long time, you get hemorrhoids, and I already have a problem sitting on the toilet too long. So going to the bathroom thirty plus times in a day is going to be bad. So I'm trying to like, I don't want I don't want anything to distract me. I just want to do my business and get out. So I did not have my switch. I was I, I, I was wondering about that where it's just like at one point you just you're just like throw your hands up in defeat and just bring your MacBook in there to do your work on the toilet. <laughs> no, I, I I will say one thing that I did and I probably business. wouldn't I wouldn't advise other people to do this <sighs> is that after uh, after a while I just got frustrated because I'm like I really need to get something done. So like I would I would get out of the bathroom and my body would be like you have to poop again, haha, <laughs> and I'd be like no. And I would hold it. <laughs> I would just, I would just really like scrunch up my butt and go to the the chair and actually just work for a while and just try to get like ten or fifteen minutes worth of stuff done before finally I was like, all right, I'll go back and go back to the bathroom. Release you the demons. Well, I was thinking you hold it for too long and your body is like, Haha, now you have to poop more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you definitely run the risk of like pooping yourself but I, I very fortunately did not poop myself I was worried about that I was like certainly you poop this many times like just lady luck is gonna run out you're just gonna poop <laughs> yourself at some point but I didn't I was proud of myself uh, I'm proud yeah, of you too, at, that, at that point like when, when your body's kind of got like that 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 those gurglies especially after taking a laxative uh, that's not the time when you gamble yeah so just just so we're clear, so people understand what the goal of the colonoscopy is, like for the prep, your poop should look like urine. That is what you have to achieve. So when you are done pooping 30 plus times, you should be able to look in the toilet and be like, yep, that's, that's, that's urine. <laughs> There's nothing in there. Oh, what a fun day. <laughs> My, Fantastic. Uh, whenever I had like, to... Did you have to drink a lot of water with that too, just so you wouldn't dehydrate? Um, well, the Gatorade is like hydrating, I guess. Okay. Um, the the my issue was calories, because uh, the only calories I was really getting, because you can't have any food, so you <laughs> you're drinking the Gatorade and you're getting some calories from the Gatorade, but like you can't eat anything. So I was just like my meals were apple juice. I was like, oh boy. Apple juice for lunch. Apple juice for dinner. Dinner. Yum. Delicious. I mean, it's fi it's fine. You just gotta put a steak in a blender, and then you're good. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> that you can do that. Actually, <laughs> kind of I think the they purpose. would be a little upset. I'd be impressed, though, honestly. Now. Tom, did that unlock any core memories for you? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> But I guess I could talk about how I baked cookies. That's Yum. a good segue. My butthole <laughs> to your baking. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you didn't phrase it like that. Oh my god, I want it. I want that erased from my memory, please. It Control Z like that out of my brain. Nope, it is now a core memory. <laughs> Great, Lock. cool. Yeah, stuck in there. <laughs> uh, like ten years from now, I was just gonna be like, this is gonna be like the time that. Steven equated his anus to my cooking. If only I had some of that an aid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Either way. Uh, yeah. Just because I bought a stand mixer and I wanted to use it at some point. And uh, I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm having company over. I'm going to make cookies. So found uh, like the just like the, the Toll House cookie recipe. Uh, it's just like chocolate chips and uh, and uh, and nuts. They don't specify what kind of nut, by the way. You just gotta like fill in that blank yourself. I went with pecans, pecans, whatever you want to pronounce it as. Um, and that uh that that went well. 
all of my willpower not to just eat, not just to like mix the cookie dough together and then take the bowl into another room with a spoon. Um, but the, you know, they came out, they came out really well. Um, and I, and I learned a few things as well. Uh, like for example, put like, you know, you got your, your cookie sheet there and like each batch I did was probably on like 12 cookies. I realized that if you don't put, if you don't fill up the tray with like cookie dough, then the bottom burns faster. Uh, so like there were like six cookies in there that were just like the leftover batter, and I I let them cook for the their bake for the same amount of time, and they were just like crisp on the bottom. Still tasted good though. Uh, gonna try it again. I really like. Had, there's nothing funny about this at all, and I've just been rambling on about cookies for the past like five minutes. No interjections, no nothing. Y'all just been sitting here listening to me talk about Toll House cookies. It was enrapturing. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I, it, I don't think stories it, have to be uh, funny. Did your did your cookies did your guests like your cookies? Oh yeah. They uh the 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 recipe um was supposed to make five dozen cookies. <laughs> and you made uh, one I, giant oh, one instead. I ended up well no, I ended up with a, a little bit over I think it was a little bit over forty, uh, because I made them bigger than they were supposed to like be. Because like because it's, 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 it says five dozen, but it's also like oh yeah, five dozen like like silver dollar size cookies. That that's a that's a normal Deb George amount of cookies. My mom has never made anything less than like five or six dozen. She's not sure how. The kind other of. thing I want to bake is a cake, but not just any cake. Uh, I have an idea for a very stupid cake, very gimmicky stupid cake that probably won't taste good that I want to try. Um, it is, um, it's like, it, it, think of it like a black and white cookie, but like to the extreme. So it'd be like devil's food cake as the bottom layer, angel food cake as the top layer, um, bisected horizontally, uh, like, you know, between the layers with, uh, chocolate and vanilla cream and then bisected the other way, frosting the entire cake with chocolate and vanilla cream. So that way each slice of the cake is a different, um, is a, is a, uh, you're getting something different, uh, for each slice of cake. That actually sounds pretty good. I don't know how you do it, though. Uh, it's, it's just a matter of being able to make the, it's, uh, it's, just, it's, it basically I'm just making a bunch of pieces of puzzles and putting them together. That's fair. The Millennium I mean, Cake. I'm generally <laughs> on board for cake as a concept, so no matter you, how it's pieced together, you like have, you have angel angel food cake takes a long ass time to make because once it's done baking, it has to sit upside down for three hours or else it'll collapse in on itself. Is it a biblically accurate angel food? <laughs> uh, I, I could put some googly eyes on it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> have y'all ever had pizza cake? No. Yeah, it's basically uh, just a lot of pizza. It's like a deep, 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 deep dish pizza. But like, so here's when you say pizzas. that. When you say that, here's here's the problem I have with pizza cake, um, and that is I'm immediately reminded of Super Punch Out. <laughs> what? Whenever, whenever Little Mac wins a fight, oh, piece of cake, pizza cake. Oh my god. Uh, well, with, with that, uh, John, do you have any stories? Yeah. Yeah. On. I gotta, wait, I gotta, yeah, I gotta what's your my... stinger? Oh yeah. I gotta run my jingle first. Hang on. Is this Italian Spider-Man? No, I wish so. <laughs> Bomber <laughs> right, cop turned himself into the authorities. He's currently support. I can't even do it. All right. I actually didn't have a story. I just really wanted to watch that clip. That was actually all I had. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm thinking about it. Like, everyone feels like... I feel like lately I've just had nothing interesting to talk about about myself. Like, the last week of what I did was I cleaned uh, video game boxes and cartridges so I could trade them in and, like, put them into the collection. And uh, Reese went away for a week. And so I'm like, okay, cool. I guess, well, I got the house myself. I guess I'll do a bunch of interesting stuff. And I just basically did like my taxes. It was just like the most boring possible week <laughs> I probably could have had. 
and you then didn't, like, like what? accidentally burn your house down or like oh no because well originally she was like a bit worried about that she's like i don't know she was joking with me she's like i don't know if i should trust you to cook or anything so i assume you're just gonna order out food all the time and i'm just like yeah i probably am going to you're right uh but like yeah no like i had like this whole like library of things to do she's like okay i need you to take care of all my my baby plants so i'm gonna need you to do survive? this uh, they did actually, uh, except for like three that she specifically said, yeah, these are probably going to die before I get home. She's just like, yeah, like try to keep these alive. But if they die, like, yeah, I expected it. Uh, other, but she's like, yeah, you, you're going to need to get up at like nine to, to deal with these. And I am at the time was currently getting up at 1230. So I'm just like, oh, I got to like roll my sleep schedule back like three three and a half hours so that's gonna be rough and then but then the cat made it easier because he's like it's nine o'clock mom's not here where are you give me my food let me out does he swat no um he he normally will just yell from the bit from the from downstairs he'll yell at the bottom of the steps then he'll come up he'll yell in the hallway then he'll come up he'll yell at the foot of the bed then he'll get on the bed and yell and then if none of that has worked, he'll get in front of your face and yell. And then I think in one case too, specifically, he actually like farted in Reese's face to wake her up. This really? is like years ago, but like he like he's got he's got like a whole tactics uh, list that he goes through basically. Can may I can I give a dramatization of what every morning with bagels like? Yeah. All right. It's it's gonna take a few seconds of setup, so give me one sec. Okay. Meanwhile, we have 20 sec- seconds left of the segment. Ah! So. <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> yeah, that, you know what? That seems pretty accurate. I used to keep my glasses on my nightstand, but then Kepler discovered that he could just push them onto the ground, and it... <laughs> would always wake me up and it would always make me go uh and deal with it so now i have to keep my glasses in my nightstand so he has to figure out new tactics tom i think you're screaming actually woke up the actual bagel because i just heard him cry (laughs) (laughs) speaking his language all right we're at time for the segment I, I do like the idea that Steven going Ugh, is a message to Kepler that's like, it's playtime with dad. He does pat me. Like, uh, I've seen that video. <laughs> I'm, well, really- the, that's the other thing is like, he just, he'll sit next to me and just tap me on the shoulder. But even like if I'm asleep, if I'm really, really, really ignoring him, like if I'm just not getting up at all, he will come and just start patting me on the face with his paw. Which is kind of cute. It's less cute when you're asleep, but it's still cute. <laughs> Manatee's good about sleeping through the whole night, but when he knows I'm awake, he'll start whining at me. I'm just like, smart like, like that. Animals are smart like that. He'll uh, like when when he knows I'm awake. Like he, he's got like a little bit of a uh, of a what do you call it routine that he does if I'm just not getting out of bed. Um, he'll shift a little bit and like lie down next to me, but then he'll get up and like sit at the foot of the bed. Then I'll sit at the foot of the bed and whine. Then I'll jump down and whine. Then I'll go drink some of his water, come back and whine. And then I'll stand right in my face and whine until I get up. I'm noticing a, a pattern. pattern. <laughs> yeah. A lot of whining. And like there there's there's a variety of like whines too. There's like the very like high pitched squeak, like the <laughs> There's a red whine, there's a white whine. <laughs> <laughs> but then eventually it'll get to like the annoyed whines where it's like <laughs> The grump. Like, come on, Dad. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> What's the rose wine? <laughs> it's just like it's... fancy. Yeah, first we start yeah, first we start with a Pinot, then uh we move on to a <laughs> move on to a Chardonnay. Oh, God. Then a rose. Then a Grigio. Then a Zinfandel. <sighs> Then a plum and do. Then a cab- <laughs> Cabernet Sauvignon. Man. So glad. We're back. We're back, baby. We're back with egg. Back to egg <laughs> from Hudson Soft and birthday. Uh. Leon in the laboratory. With the time. 
one hour clocked on this game so far. <laughs> and the God, Colonel it Mustard. It feels like forever. It feels like we've played this game for years. Because we have. <laughs> <laughs> well, gentlemen, I do believe I have to take my leave for now, for I have a car ride I must do. Good right luck. now or tomorrow? Right now. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm drive. I'm I'm doing a late night drive. Okay, well, be yeah. safe. Dri yeah, drive safe, dude. Good luck on your your drive. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I actually prefer driving at night because it's it feel, it's a lot safer because <laughs> there's a lot less people on the road. I have the opposite belief. Really? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm uh, in, that case, I'm, in, in that I'm, case, in that case. Wish me luck. <laughs> I, wish, I wish you luck, and may all of your uh, gas station stops be clean. Yeah. <laughs> may the force be with you. May, uh, may, may, uh, may every uh, gas station clerk be friendly and, uh, and, and cheerful. Oh, my God. I'll see y'all later. Bye, chat. Enjoy Bye. egg. Egg. <laughs> I'm Jerry's me, chat! <laughs> so convincing. Alright, so since it has been, uh... One week year, since you looked at me! God, have you been hit by that bot on Twitter? No. If you say it's it was... been on in any tweet, there's an account that will send you, like, five seconds of the Bare Naked Lady song one week, like, the part of the music video. It'll just be a random lyric. And you can just click on it. It'll be like a quote retweet to it. Oh my god. Do you know, Salen? She had a friend like you. It's not an easy thing to ask, but you can find that girl. Yeah, I, I actually do not remember what we did last, other than getting that fire crystal. That's the last thing I remember us doing, but I don't know where we're supposed to go now. So let me get back in my egg. Ladies and gentlemen, my chicken sandwich is here. I'll be right back. Congrats. Don't let them hit your house. <laughs> yeah, this looks familiar. And that's it. Nothing else. Legit, I don't remember. We finished the dungeon. I think we have to go to a new area here. This were the pirates at the Fog Tower. There's a reward of money for whoever catches the leader. There's no way anyone can catch him. Before that, someone will lose his life. It'll be me! I'll lose my life! Yay! I remember how to play this now. Punch the shrubs. Disrupt the shrubs. Disrupt them with my fist. There we go. Now, where do we go now? That's the real question. That's the problem when you when you only play a game once a year. Dude, <laughs> we I'm we're starting the Xenoblade Chronicles playthrough next week. And like I'm thinking like we're gonna touch it like twice a month, and it's just gonna be so rough being like, man, what did we do two weeks ago? <laughs> Yeah, I, I had that problem playing a game, like, every week. <laughs> <laughs> so a year is a long time. Yeah, I mean, I've got I've only got to beat it before next Coliseum, which I assume is April next year, April or May, so. I've got the time, it's just, will I get through it? Steven, you should do a voice. Wow, that was dangerous. Good voice. It's the best voice I got. Mine. Ah, Matt, is that the same person? Yes. You're my you're my savior. Slowly turning into Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me. Bowser, Bowser, <laughs> Paper it was Mario a Bowser. ordeal. Paper Mario Bowser. I was attacked by monsters and ran away here, but when I tried to get out, that happened. Can, Can you, you believe, believe it? it? When I passed the route, it was out only a little bit. 
that started to lengthen quickly in front of my eyes when I tried to head back. That's what she said. Ever since Fogna's breeding, weird things are happening. By the way, who are you? It's me, the egg. I've never seen you around. To thank you, I'd like to give you this. I got a wire arm. Cross the candy it's by latching it to the hook <laughs> on the other side. It's my arm, but it's <laughs> made of a wire. My egg is broken, so you can have it. Oh, congratulations. Oh, no. My eggs. I almost forgot to tell you something. I'm Sheba and work at Rot's Pub. Come by the store when you feel like it. Goodbye. When you want to get wasted as fuck. We'll never talk again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how do we use... How do I use this? How do oh, I use... Oh, there we go. <laughs> How do I use... Go, go, gadget punch. I just wish I could charge and move. It would make dealing with any of these things pretty easy. We can't have that. No, no, can't have things easy. Oh, is that her egg? I guess, yeah, looks like. All right, so I assume I just grapple this part over here. Nope, grab the wrong part. Hey! Dude, I just realized. Oh my god. Is that a Muppet? <laughs> I don't like the way that thing looks. You know what I just realized? Your egg, you, you look a lot like Mike Wazowski. Hey, the coloring, yeah, it kind of matches. I can see it. Kind of a pea coloring. Yeah. Like, uh, like, nice. it's, it's like a greenish yellow. Got a hue to it. I wish there was uh, sound effects for steps. Like just little ching, 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 the whole game. Yeah, that wouldn't get so annoying. I'm guessing they, they didn't like that in the, in the beta. They had it in the old version, but then they took it out. What is that weird sound I keep hearing? Oh, it's this thing. Cut it, you! If you got a problem, punch it. Can punch do. the problems until they go away. Check out my hook while I punch it in the face. Ice, ice, baby. Check out the mic while the DJ revolves it. God, I, I really Is hate that, a that, that thing. Dude, I legit cannot remember anything about the plot of this game. All I remember is I think we were an amnesiac that was in like a capsule that woke up. We got access to this egg and now... Oh. Time for we a flashback. Hello. I'm gonna flashback. Hi. These all look like the robots from Chrono Trigger. <laughs> they kind of do they look like Robo. Still believe a beta has been ruined that much. That's it. Take it. Oh, Good that boy. guy gets a friggin' portrait. I'm uneasy too, Omega. It worked on the simulator. Don't you even say that. We analyzed and experimented numerous times. It will work. It's been destroyed completely. The little remaining organisms are ruined. I think it's impossible to do anything about this. We came this far because we had confidence in success. Let's do it, Beta. That's my autobiography title. <laughs> confidence in success. Oh, I thought it was let's do it, Beta. Oh. Omega, you're no, no. I'm Beta. That's Omega. <laughs> oh, everyone's costumes are the same. <laughs> I'm not oh, wait, okay who am I? Hey guys, guess who I am? 
Like, why Tom? is he get? Why, why does he get the picture? Because he's an important character, I guess. Beta's name is like Beta's name is like John, like John Robot, and the we're like. That this is full name. I, I'm John Robot. Beta? That oh, because it's the oh, guy. It was the guy we're playing as. Omega? That's why he got a portrait, because you're Beta. Ah, uh, it's been so long I completely forgot this even You're had him! You're John Robot! I, I think I that's am the John. I think we just learned, I think that was the reveal. We're not Leon. I mean, we are, but we're also Beta. We're also yeah. John Robot. That was, that was definitely the reveal of that. Also, remember, horizontal uh, uh, masks on robot equal evil. Oh. I am Starman. <laughs> Dot net? It resembles. Oh, I implode. Your head has explode. Well, your head has explode. This dungeon is basically the same as the last one. That I means mean, visually. I, I, Man, like, the way these robots walk is like, oh, I gotta get to work, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. Tom, I mean, while you they, were gone, one... we got a grappling hook. Hell yeah, now it's a video game. There you go. Now we just need a helicopter. Ow, you punched me in my eye. I vaguely remember the last time that you played this, there was one room in the dungeon that was, like, ridiculously difficult. It required you to just continually try again and again, because you were just getting murdered. Yeah, um, I do too, but I can't for the life fair. remember what it was. There was some you enemy in there that was just You forgot to go in the door? You. No, I know, I'm, I was looking around first before I moved on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which worked, because we found a save point. Yay! The lava lamp of saving! Someone in chat makes a good point. If we're the gold one, does that make us Starman Super? Yeah. That's why we're stronger. Yeah. We have the Sword of Kings. There we go. Well, one one out of 128 of you do. <laughs> Correct. What's the fastest you've ever gotten the Sword of Kings? Uh, Usually not quickly. There was one Even time when I was doing a run of it on my PSP, uh, officially licensed Nintendo product PSP, and I got it really, really fast. But like every other time, not any, not, it, it always takes me forever. Steven, do you remember that extra life where y'all were playing it and like you're like, okay, we're gonna spend this, this amount of time. And if we don't get it, then we're gonna move on. And then yeah. like, yeah, we're we like, hit. okay, one more, and it was that one. Yeah, Mal was really set on trying to find it. I think my lowest amount of attempts was 19. The, the problem with the Sword of Kings is that a lot of people playing Earthbound for the first time, they want to get the gear, and that's fine, but you run into the risk of over-leveling your entire party and ruining the rest of the game. Mm. Because if you have to fight 10, cool. But if you have to fight 100, there is no challenge left in the rest of Earthbound. Like, you're just going to walk through it. Are they just... Do you get that much experience off of them? Yeah, because there's a trick that you can do where instead of... Because, you know, in Earthbound, if you are much more powerful than the enemy, yeah. and you touch them, you get the green swirl, and, like, you can just automatically beat them. Yeah. So you can do that in Earthbound because the stat that it uses is offense. So if you give the Casey Bat to Ness, it increases his offense to astronomical levels where if you touch a Starman Super, you, you beat it. So you can actually go through them really quick, and then you get through like a hundred of them and finally get the bat the the sword, and by that point your your entire party is so leveled up that you can just walk through the rest of the game. I mean, it rewards you for spending so much time. Well, I mean, that's what the grinding I mean, is, essentially. Yeah. Yeah, but like Earthbound is one of the weird games where it Earthbound's actually paced extremely well. There's a lot of uh, you know old school RPGs where you need to grind, and Earthbound's just not one of them. You can just more or less, if you're if you're not running from fights, you can walk through the entire game. 
and uh, it definitely ruins the pacing if you, you know, start going after the Sword of Kings and it takes you forever. So random luck can screw it up, basically. Yeah. If you want to avoid that, it's super easy on the Switch, right? Because you can just save state. So just save state and then fight one and then load state and do that. You know, like fight ten or something and then be like, eh. I don't remember what Mind Capsule does. I also don't remember how to bring up my inventory. Is it, isn't there some move that, like, damages your health? Yeah, that's the spin. I remember that. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's a mind level. That's what it is. So it auto-applies. Robo-monkey! Not Robo-monkey! There's something very appealing about, or satisfying about, sitting and spinning. When you're a, when you're an egg. Yeah. Or like you in an office chair. A little column A, a little column B, probably. Whoa, fuck! Okay, that surprised me. All right, I guess let's, uh... I got an attack capsule. I got thrown off the map. Well, did it look like there was anything else or was that it? Cause I saw it looked like grapple hook pegs. Crap. Why does Run have to take health? Yeah, that's a that, that's a hell of a design decision. <laughs> when you do the run, can you plow into enemies and like damage them? Is that part it of it? It is considered an attack, yeah. Okay, so maybe that's why. Ooh wee. Yeah, this was a mistake because they wanted me to just That was just the way back. Although it looks like I can hook over here. There we go. I'm gonna drop some health, I'd appreciate it. No, nope, money instead. I'm gonna put my food away. Go for it. Eat or put away or do what you wanna do. I ate my chicken sandwich. <clears throat> I also took that opportunity to go let Manatee have to go to the bathroom. He is a good boy. And uh, digests food like a normal being. <laughs> I was going to say, that does not sound like it. <laughs> that sounds like quite the opposite. A normal statement made by... Normal. A human. By a, a human. Normal person. How's the sea cow doing with the mouth? His, uh... It's... You know, there's, there was a really big one in there that's gotten smaller, and then there were a bunch of smaller ones in there that have gotten bigger, so... You know... It is what it is. Damn it. One of, the treat one of the treatments for them, and I swear I'm not making this up, is to squeeze them. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> what? Yo, what are we talking I about? I don't love that. I think just in general, there's not a lot of things in life you want to squeeze. You want to yeah. squeeze. There's a, there's a, <laughs> oh, speak for yourself. There's a few very specific things, and then I don't know. The list falls down, falls off very quickly. Oh yeah. <laughs> Does he get in the way? Yeah, he is. I am damaging him. I think. I hope. Yeah, I think you're doing damage. You'll know in about twelve more hits. <laughs> I swear to God, this actually other... is not damaging him. There we go. Ah, stop dropping magic. I need health. <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> like how you didn't even get the thing that time. 
it, just, it was just like, well, you know what? Eh, whatever. The right. level amp of saving. Yeah, but now we only have 25, 26 hit points off the save, which is a problem. Save lamp. I look into the lamp and I remember all the things I've done up to this point. And should I perish, my memory will will bring me back here. I just wanted to know if that would work. So hey, has anybody gotten a chance to play Tunic? Nope. No. I watched you play it. It's a good game. Keep hearing good things. I'll touch it eventually, but I gotta go through Kirby. I gotta finish Elden Ring. And I played uh, Peglin the other day, too. That was fun. Peglin? Yeah. Peglin is a roguelike pickle. Oh. I'm sorry. Did you say pickle? No. Peggle. So think, think Pachinko, but now it's an RPG. But a roguelike RPG. Oh. Like where you get like equipment and shit. Oh god. Why are there so many apes? They shriek! Apes strong together! Oh boy. Holy shit, why are there so many of them? Monkey. At least you got health. Ooh. The Big benefit to fighting so many apes. <laughs> Diamond! Oh my god. There should be blocking. This is a lot. <laughs> this is excessive. It does seem to be dropping the big health right when you need it most, but it's still a little insane. Oh, they are blocking, that's why. Okay. I think that more block is not much. That actually got me more. I'm in worse place now because of that. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh boy. I, I think they're infinitely spawning. I yeah, think you're right. I, yeah, I don't think they've ever stopped. And that's a game over. Which one of you is Andy Circus? The egg has become toast. Because he's monkey. <laughs> no, why did it unequip? You died, so you no longer have the fire ruby. That would really suck. Why are these infinitely spawning? And damn it, they drop health, so it's like I want to fight them. Oh, I thought this was the door I had to go into. Oh. It's a gauntlet generator. Like the game gauntlet, or? Yeah. I like that game. Hey, do they have a gauntlet that's just like randomly generated? That'd be neat. Roguelike gauntlet? Yeah. I'm sure Very something like that exists. Thing. Did you ever play the reboot of Gauntlet? They uh, they did it a couple years ago on Steam? I have not. I remember being really? alright. But I usually played as the Valkyrie, gonna... so, and she apparently was one of the better movesets. That'd, that'd be a fun one to do, Steven. Rise from your grave. That's Altered Beast. Gauntlet. Rise from oh, your grave. Oh, wait, Wizard needs food badly. That's Gauntlet. Yeah. Like Blue a, wizard what? needs food badly. Like a one-off at least. That'd be neat. So, the best gauntlet is Dark Legacy. The N64, yep. And we're dead. Nope, that's Legend. Wow! Wait, really? Yeah, Legends. However, Legends was N64. Dark, Le Dark Legacy is GameCube and Xbox oh. and PS2. But if you like Legacy, you will like Dark uh, Legacy. Or what did I say? If you like Legends, you like Dark Legends. <laughs> Very similar titles there. All right, we might, have a, we might have a slight problem the, with where we're at right now. Like, a lot of the levels from Legends are in Dark Legacy. Oh, because it keeps on equipped with the fucking crystal. This is the Amber same dead. problem. This is the same problem as, the, as last year's stream. Yeah. Everything hits way too fucking hard. I want you to know that I believe in you, John. Okay, well, I as well. Let's try Possibly something. to a greater degree than Stephen does. Ooh, that burn though, you're dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ! That was that was the good burn. Can you? you can I don't you think so. Him? I don't think Thomas ever saw a game over screen when he got the good burn. You missed the next room in the ice area, did I? 
Well, oh my blocking God, was also not a good idea. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Why even bother including a guard mechanic if it's terrible? I wonder if there was a way to upgrade the, the mech at some point. We found some. Everyone's saying spin. Uh, yeah, it uh, takes a bit to do that. <laughs> and it takes my health. Are you going to play Beyblade? I'll try Beyblading it, but I actually have to do... I have to start it the second I walk in the room. Otherwise, it will not happen. Let it rip. Well, we survived, wow. but we still lost a shit ton of health. Well, it looked like it was really your only option. Hey, they better not respawn if you leave and come back in. Oh, they do. They absolutely do. Well, that... I mean, that's just stupid. Well, now here's the question. How do I... How do I get to the glitch zone? <laughs> I, I want to go to the glitches! We're, We're all trying to get to the glitch zone. zone. Highway to the... I think it might be a switch somewhere else. Must be. My favorite uh, Sonic zone. Right next to the MRI zone. So now here's the problem though. The game remembers the health we had when we entered the room, which was 22. And apparently that is enough for these guys to one-shot me with a punch now. So we may have actually fucked ourselves over because of that. No, where there's a will, there's a way. And that will is probably oh, gonna be spinning. 40. Oh, did it actually put me back to 40? It put it, yeah, there must be a base. Oh, thank God for that then. Shame that these guys are still killing me in two hits. Yeah, you have to spin. It's like the only way. And then you have to pray that you have enough time to even do it. You know, I take that back. Glitch zone isn't my favorite Sonic area. Auto zone is. <laughs> yep, can't even block that. Steven, what's your favorite Sonic zone? Oh, man. Um... Hmm. Oh, can I say me. mine? Yeah, go for it. Oh, uh, bone zone. Fuck. That's a good one. They haven't used it in a long time, but Discovery Zone was a good, uh, a good Sonic level. Oh, Alligator says Cal Zone. That, I love that one. Mm, Cal yeah. Zone is a good answer. Uh, very, I'm getting very a little Italian. worried about this Glitch Zone that's going on here. Very, a very Italian-inspired uh, level. Yeah, I'm feeling that uh, the things that are occurring in your game are not um, normal. Normal. Oh, Adventure Zone. Adventure Zone's great. Well, I was going to load the save and then just continue back where we were, but uh, we have less than a minute. I don't even know if I'm even going to make it. Just uh, just go into Spinny, uh, use up all of your health to get back there, and then we'll be fine. True. All 26 health. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see if I can get there. That's it. Give me health. Which I will not be able to enjoy because we're not gonna be saving unless there's one right after this room. Alright, can, oh, right. can we go in that? Shrieking monkey zone. Act one. I swear I tried to go in this earlier. Yeah, I can't. Was there, was there a door to the right? No, that's where the enemies that, are coming out of. Someone said well, I was supposed bottom, to go in that pipe. Right. I can't. Can you leave the mech? Uh, not oh unless it's a designated God. leave the mech zone. Well, that's a good Sonic level as well. What signifies uh, leave the mech zone? Spin uh, into footprint. it? I'll try to spin into it, but I got it. Problem is, I've got these fuckers blocking me. Oh, there we go. Nice. You've got apes that have escaped. Ah, oh, they're... Yeah, they're actually physically knocking me out of my spin, though. There we go. Oh, my God. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought to do that, because, you know... Hey, the glitch zone is back. Walking in would have worked. They could have coded it where, like, if you tried to walk in... Oh, it... <laughs> wow. I love it. Well, glitch zone's getting worse. 
Also, uh, oh, there we go. Well, we're at time anyway, so it's not like we're really going to be doing anything else, but I guess that's we know where to go next time. <laughs> well, we're going to have to make a mental note of that because we're probably not going to play this for another year. Yeah. I mean, if the glitch thing keeps going on, you may not get much further. Nah, it's my brand, at least. I'm wondering why that's happening, though. Hmm, I hope that doesn't mean the disc is in trouble. You know what? I'm actually going to look at the disc now. Could just be an issue with my dream cast, or just could be how the game is. All right, everybody. Up next, we've got Outer Wild, so stick around while we. Well, I'll be Gabba Boo Body Ball. This ah. looks fine, so I have no idea what the hell the issue was. This Kimbo is Crazy Booba. Dan and the Boys. All right. So <laughs> crazy Dan. Dan. And the boys, 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 boys. All right. Thanks, Jigsaw. <laughs> All right, Tom, and uh, what does the weather look like for us today? Uh, well, sir. Okay, good, good report. And uh, <laughs> Sam, well, how's so we got quite a bit of weather <laughs> going on out there. Well, it's really looking very nice. Well, 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 sir, we got quite a bit of weather going on out there. That's it. It's multiple weather season. All right, great. And, uh, Steven, how does, uh, traffic look on the 905? Oh, well, there's a car. Push <laughs> some traffic with Steven! And, uh... I mean, there's, a few, there's two. There's two cars. It's two cars! Uh, I would stay home. Don't bother. All right, fan fantastic! Just and, uh, stay home! John, what do the sports look like out there? Well, there are balls flying around everywhere. However, we don't know why, because this is hockey season, folks. The playoffs are happening right now. Oh. Next. <laughs> we have a uh, we have a live update. There's uh, there's another car. <laughs> wow, riveting stuff, my boy. I love it when they refer to the other anchors as my boy live on air. <laughs> uh, new weather update. We've got a 30% chance of chasms. Oh, no! You gotta stop falling into those chasms, man. My job. Oh, your job is to fall oh, into back. chasms? Yeah, uh, it turns out that that chasm was like, it was like a wormhole. Spent like Long time in there. Time meant nothing to me. Um, eventually broke out, um, built a time machine, de-aged, and came back here and uh, forgot how to build the time machine and also the secrets of life in the universe. Oh, well, that's a bummer. Yeah. But A for effort, though. Okay, why it's is like... the game... There, there's the game. There we go. What the heck was the... There was, like, this really, like... I don't even want to say it's. The, uh... I don't even want to say crappy because it's a very avant-garde comic that's done in like MS Paint, where it's like Sonic the Hedgehog and like Bugs Bunny. And there's a bit where, <laughs> there's a bit where like Shadow's talking about like his time spent in quote unquote time jail, oh. and how like in order to pass the time, is that Tails gets trolled? Yeah. <laughs> In order to pass the time, he'd break his bones and then wait for them to heal back up because because he couldn't age in the in time jail. And then it got to a point where now every movement he does breaks his bones into a million pieces and immediately repairs them. Wow. I was game... I think I need to bump game volume. It seems really quiet. Let's try there. The um, I I love the that uh the intro game logos because it looks it reminded me of a uh, Men in Black. Text speed, uh, default settings. All right. It's also the comic work that use a coaster is from, right? It's like use a coaster. Come on, man. You, it's like it's like Bugs telling like Shadow to use a coaster or something like that. Is that what I'm thinking of? No idea. Oh, One person in chat said yes. 
I have paper skin and glass bones. Wake up. Grab us with a little makeup. Little makeup. Okay, so which, uh, this isn't the game where, uh, where it's capitalism in space, right? No, no that's, that's Outer, outer worlds. wilds. Okay. Is that uh, Outer Worlds? Worlds. And I'm ex so excited for the second one. I'm excited for Garfield to get done so I could work on Elder Scrolls 6. Garfield? Yeah. Garfield. You mean space? Uh, space Cowboy? What's that game that they're supposed to be working on? It's like space. Starfield. Ball, balls? Baseballs? Oh, one sec. Can you, are you going to eat? Okay, good. You, you don't, even if you burn, a, like, if you burn a marshmallow, you don't throw it away. Did you throw it away? Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, can you throw it at him when I, it's on I, fire? That's actually the first thing I try to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he wants more. John, give him more. Burning Some stick. More what? Burning stick. <laughs> the, that's the torch oh, that you go into battle I waited too long with. and melted. I wish you could just bring a marshmallow on a stick with you the entire game. Ooh, it is. It's running a little crunchy. What do you mean crunchy? You were saying the frame rate's weird. I can't... It seems like it? Oh. Requires launch codes. You were saying choppy frame rate. It, it doesn't seem that bad. It doesn't on. look bad on our end either. Yeah, people are just saying it's choppy. I don't know. What's going on? Let's let's turn things down, I guess. Let's put down something like that. I love this down. There we go. I can move everything back to my usual spot. Uh, there we go. Slide that back into place. Everyone says it might be OBS. There has that do now. Any, do you have any trap frames? Nope. Oh, that's weird. Still choppy. The fuck? Sean, what kind of internets do you got? Speed. Uh, I don't remember off the top of my head. It's decent. Uh, okay. Just more really curious what kind of. Canadian internet. Internet Canadian is not as good usually. We usually get lower speeds, but we've got um, hundred up, I think. Oh wow! Okay. To tomorrow's confirming the CoCom feed is actually smooth, but Twitch specifically is choppy. Are you dropping Which, frames? No. On one of the geyser pools. Hang on, let me pause the timer too so we're not blasting through this. It's only choppy once you start moving around. Well, let me try something then. Um, hmm. Yeah, let me try some settings here then. Turn that off. Set this back to where we had it. Yeah, go go back to the defaults. I'm telling you to do defaults. It is not doing defaults. There we go. Now it is. Uh, let's see if this works. Okay, probably won't because it's just going to show my fucking HUD anyways. Uh, let's see if this oh. is smoother. 
Isn't that smoother at all? Smooth. Nope, nope, no, 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 nope. Still choppy. Great! Fantastic. Not a John stream without glitches. Have the y'all viewers tried refreshing? I don't know what to tell you. Uh, maybe it's a CPU issue, but again, Tomoyo says the Cocom feed is fine, so I don't know. I'm gonna look on. I've been watching the Cocom feed. It's just the. I've, in this, it's this game. I've seen it happen with other streamers too. OBS in the game do not play nice for some reason. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, uh, there's some games that are like that. Uh, what am I thinking of? God, what game was it? Uh, the wizard? No, one of them Tom Clancy games was like that with me. Yeah, the Cocom feed goes through OBS, though I don't fucking know what it is. Apparently running OBS in administration mode. What? Why? Oh, it's so dumb. I'd have to restart the entire stream to fix it, though. Am I running OBS in administ administration mode? No. There's also no guarantee that it'll work, just FYI. Yeah. Just based off the fact that there's been times I've had weird problems, and it's like, have you tried admin mode? And I do, and it doesn't fix it, so I'm like, I don't know. Your mileage may vary. All right. Sorry, guys. Ah, fuck. Hang on. I desynced my controller in the process. There we go. Oh, please don't tell me I have to restart the... Oh, there we go. Alright, well, then we'll just have to roll with it. Hopefully, at least the VOD is viewable. Because, again, it's like... The frame rate's not 100% smooth, but it's running fine on my side otherwise. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing it on... Uh... That's weird. Well, that thing's broken. Is this golf? But with a rocket ship? I'm trying to land so on a geyser, away? but I am... Uh, it, this is going faster than I expected, because I guess there's actual gravity. I moved even... my, my mic away from my mouth to breathe in. Oh, okay, Tay. I got... I have dinner. I did it! Wow, it's, it's really down there. So it's, it's coming back up. What are you supposed to do with this? Oh, this is practice. Oh. For whatever reason, I thought I knew what this game was, and I realize now that in my head I had, I had convinced myself that this game was The Long Dark, which is a very different game. Yeah. Prevent yourself from freezing to death. Is this the one where it like resets every 20 minutes? Uh, that's a spoiler, but yes. Oh. What? No, I'm, no, I'm thinking of something else. Can confirm it's chopping the VOD too. It won't be on the YouTube VOD at least, but that's this is weird. Is 
Yeah, I know. Oh, whoa. I know that too. I said that to Deef, who was the one who actually pretty much solo paid for this. And he was like, yeah, I hate that they said that in the direct because it, it is a story spoiler. I can't go in the door. I don't know. I told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Ooh. Yeah, the space program's certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires than your predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Oh, boy. Are you going to watch the launch? Of course. I'll be watching from a safe distance, obviously, and mostly to make sure nothing catches fire, but watching nonetheless. I'll have a, I'll have a fire extinguisher on standby. Mm -hmm. Do you really worry that the space program will burn the village down? Only constantly. You learn to live with it. I also learned to sleep with a bucket of water next to your bed, just in case. There we go. My final question is, when are you going to come down? <laughs> <laughs> this projector is linked to our sky shutter, shutter satellite, which is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. We just need, a, uh, we just need Jared back here to sing Rocket Man. That pretty. God, all of the the camera shutters makes me feel like the Duran Duran song is starting. <laughs> <laughs> what would be amazing if it's like these are like these are definitely these are live pictures, right? Or is this like previous photos of this thing? I think this is supposed to be live pictures because the longer I wait, okay. the more it jumps forward. What I would love is if you were jumping forward, and then at some point. You see yourself on there, and it gets lower and lower. <laughs> this is a small planet. Yet the gravity is still functional. I thought that was a tonberry for a second. Yeah, it's the right color for it. And even the right reflection. Doink. This pilot seat used by pioneering astronaut Feldspar is all that remains of our inaugural flight into space. Although it's been argued that such a distinction requires a breathtakingly liberal definition of flight, that day will nevertheless always be remembered as a landmark achievement in, in Hearthian history. So this is like Earth, but with an H. Yep. Now it's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it, and the platform those ships launched from is getting old. Isn't it about time we built a new, less flammable one? Big tree in the village would be the perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping out the space program. Just say the word. Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. What? No, I just think it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. Uh, you think this has to do with that time I fell out of it and broke my arm? That that was when we were hatchlings. Why would we hold a grudge that long? Who would hold a grudge that long? That tree's got it coming. If you swing by the moon, say hi to Esker for me. Marl's a uh, Marl known tree hater. Uh, known lumberjack, be, vowed to be a logger ever since that incident with the tree. Um, unfortunately, uh, the planet was too small to really get into logging, so uh, she became a lumberjack with the with the sole purpose of uh, seeking revenge on on that specific tree. Uh, but nobody wanted to to um, nobody wanted her to chop it down. You were dead. <laughs> Wow, you didn't even make it off the planet. Nope, sure didn't. I don't know. Wait, I thought I, like... I thought I could swim. <laughs> I win. There's the credits. Hooray! And then you come back in, and it's like, oh hey, Greg too. Welcome, welcome to uh, to life. You're a clone of the guy who drowned himself. Don't worry, John. I did basically the same thing. I mean, I thought it was gonna. I want to get launched up into the sky. That's what I was trying to do. Elk Choir? I've heard it will make sense later. Steve, is that you, like, tapping, yeah. like, a fork on a plate? You got one of the <laughs> genuine game clears. Congrats. Amazing. Wow, the speed run for this game has got to be short. It's got to be hella short, yeah. Oh, uh, rip big red button. Sure, I'm putting food in my mouth. Yeah. 
What kind of food? Pop tart. Uh, Mal, Mal made a uh, a quiche Lorraine. It's it's some sort, <laughs> it's like a it's like a it's like a a bowl of stuff. I guess I guess I could be <laughs> more descriptive. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Is it like porridge? Like what are, what what are we? No eating no here? no. It's uh it's rice. Ready? Rice, chicken, peppers, onions, cilantro, cheese, uh, black beans, refried bean, beans, salsa. Refried beans? And that's it. It's like a little, like, Mexican bowl thing. Oh, my was... God. Sorry, cut you off. Someone says, true any percent for this game is literally just waking up and walking into the fire and dying immediately. I almost did that. I thought, nah, <laughs> there's no way this game would let you do that and walked around it. Son of a bitch. I should have done it. You can do it now. Oh my god. Well, but he already got that ending. Uh, Steve, what I was hoping for with that was that you would just like describe one aspect of it and then we'd have to guess what it is. <laughs> oh, I missed I'm it. I'm sorry. Next time. That, that is a very interesting way to, to denote that you're on fire. Achievement unlocked. Gone in 60 seconds. <laughs> well, <laughs> you had a timer up. Let's retime it with the timer you had. See if we... Yeah. See if <laughs> the alert Let's was timed pretty good with it. Oh, I can't. There we go. Now I can't skip the credits. There we go. Uh, Outer Wilds, any percent. Uh Oh, hang on. Yeah, someone said it was actually like 22 minutes for the actual ending. Or 31 minutes, something like that. This is a different... Hold on, what's the... What? I wonder if there is, like, one... Oh, is this what it... Nope. Death percent? There we go. Uh, world record is seven, uh, seven seconds, uh, 670 milliseconds. <laughs> seven second world record. That, yeah, that was for, that's for death percent. Um... There is also a category for marshmallow percent. Uh, that one is uh, four minutes and thirty-four seconds for the was world that record. You eat so many marshmallows, you you get sick, or no idea. Somehow doing it, doing it shipless, takes more time on marshmallow percent. Is it like eating a marshmallow on like every planet or something like that? Or I wonder what what that what that requires. Like there's probably more to marshmallow percent that I'm that I'm thinking of here. Buddy, can you calm down? Marshmallow percent is for eating a marshmallow on each planet. Okay. In real life, doing chubby bunny is what we call marshmallow percent. Yep. Chubby bunny. Choking hazard the game. Mm-hmm. It's like that uh that image of the spy from TF2 with like the hundred cigarettes in his mouth. Lung cancer, the moment. There's another category on here that has me very curious, and the world record is actually very short, so I'm really curious about how the hell you could do that so fast. What What is this thing that you just got, John? This is the signal scope. Shoot it. <laughs> Shoot it. I'm playing hide and seek with these kids. So I'm trying to find them now. Shoot it. Kaboot it. Uh. Mal said, yes, that is, that is the world record I was looking at. You found me. Get a load of this four eyes. There's another yeah, one what, 50 meters what's away. It like, what's it like making glasses for that species? I mean, you just make two pairs. They just have, don't they, what's their ears? They haven't, they, they have ears. They don't really have like a nose to, to sort of like bridge it on. No, they have a nose, but it's not really that far out. Yeah. You have like got the ears though. Why'd that sound like Elmo? Because that's how I voice the Koroks in all in my Breath of the Wild stuff. Oh, 
Oh. Except for Hess, too. Oh, shit. That's going to kill me, isn't it? No, oh, maybe not. Nope. No, the water at the core of the earth is notoriously toxic. Oh, I mean, really? I that. That big, do you mean the hearth? Yes. Are you sure it's not hearth? No, because it's supposed to be like, like earth. earth. Earth and hearth. Hearth sounds like someone uh, vomiting. I don't know if the planet's called hearth, though. Is that how you we're spell just, hearth? We're just assuming that. I mean, yeah. that is how you spell hearth. Hey, any... Uh, any QA testers in here know how to pronounce this? My favorite, uh, my favorite QA testing syntax. I would assume it's pronounced hearth. I would assume hearth. I mean, I like hearth, but <laughs> I, I don't. I like, I like hearth too. I guess I don't have a camera. Yeah, throw rocks at that ghost. Shoot him with a gun. Is that ghost poop? Come on, Lenny. I got you shuffling at two miles an hour. Her touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Trying to walk in any space. Uh, you know, okay, that sounds bad and painful. How's the temperature of space? Oh, you know, absolute zero. Come on, do you want to see my new chainsaw and hockey mask? Ah! Oh, sorry. What am I thinking? God, Cape Fear is such a good episode. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> Though I still can't get over the one line I heard recently from an old Simpsons episode. This is when Bart and Lisa are, are uh, or Marge's taking Bart and Lisa to go shoe shopping uh, for church shoes. And Bart goes, why do we need church shoes? Jesus wore sandals. And Homer goes, well, if he had better arch support, maybe they wouldn't have caught him. <laughs> Signal scope. 360 no scope. Someone's whistling on the moon. We're whistling on the moon. <laughs> We're whistling on the moon. But there weren't no air, so we died. <laughs> Tragic, really. Good old Futurama. All right, just taking my iPhone. Take a photo. I did it. I got a picture, sort of. With the with the new iPhone, you too can travel to space. With my giant iPhone. I think they call those iPads now. The second they just like decide, you know what? We're gonna insert phones in iPads. Then you could say that you're giant. You've got a giant iPhone. It's, they pretty much have all of it, except for, like, the ability to call phone numbers, like, natively. Yeah. It doesn't have the phone app. Yeah. Where... Where is the spaceship? Uh, it's back where we started, but I need the codes to actually do it. And the codes are up in the observatory, but uh, at least I thought do they were. Do you know who has I'm the doing the zero-g practice. Oh, good. I do have a flashlight. Okay. I was worried about that. Welcome to the sparkly cave. Yep. Uh, don't think... breathe any of that. I think this is just the glitch zone from Egg. I think you might be right. <laughs> Oh, neat. They... Because the... Wait. How does this work? 
<laughs> I guess it's low gravity, not zero gravity. Well, yeah, but like, where was where was the satellite why, I was supposed to fix? Why, why, why would, wouldn't wouldn't it be super gravity if you were at the core of the planet? I mean, uh, yeah. Cream, I've changed the game every time I've swapped it. It must be a Twitch glitch. I've definitely changed it. Jump now. I don't know, I guess like maybe the closer you get to the center. Oh no, there'd be more gravity acting upon you from more directions. Yeah. But like probably not from below until you got to the center. Alright, where is the satellite? I guess I gotta jump. Maybe it's the maybe it's the sparkle up. rocks. Maybe it's the sparkle rocks that, that are making gravity low. Okay, how are we going up? No, well. Do we no. have any? Do we have any physicists in the call in the chat? In, in the in the call. In the, in the call? call? No. I mean the. <laughs> so. I'm honored that you would think that any of us. I went to art school. Hey, me too. God, me too. I took one. <laughs> freaking math class. In one science class. You had a science class? Actually, I don't think I did. Oh, I guess I took astronomy. I guess oh, I astronomy can't see counts shit. as a. Shit. Running Ooh. into stuff. Oof! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Wait, God. Wait, can you do flips? Yes. Rolling is one of the options. Hang on. Don't Look at that yaw control! That's one repaired. Oh, good, tape. Yeah, John, you have a Bachelor's of Science, right? Yeah, computer science, but still. Oh. <laughs> not, not quite the same, you know. Oh, there we go, lock on. Yeah, if, if anybody uh, knows... Physics or whatever is—is is it? Would the center of a planet have no gravity or light gravity or all the gravity? A bunch of people well, in chat earlier were saying you would have lighter gravity because you're getting closer, less planet below you. But I don't know. I do not know. I feel like that goes against. That—that's a good point. God. I would assume that it would be way, way more because yeah. that is what, where, like, wh it's the mass and you're yeah. where all the mass is. Is that not mm -hmm. how it would work? Yeah, that's what I would think. Less gravity, more pressure, I'm seeing. Oh, well, that's true. There'd be more pressure down there. So if it's a planet this small, then you probably would have less gravity. I hear the sparks, but I can't bloody see them. On what the core is. Like, if you're just in the center, then you have a gravity pushed up on you from all sides. I've, I've, there has been every possible answer to this question <laughs> in the that, chat. So it's at this pointless for me to read any of it. Oh, hey, Steven, can you call Carly? <laughs> uh, no. Because it's oh. midnight. At midnight? <laughs> but could she answer this question? Absolutely. She Would she be pleased to do so? Absolutely not. She'd be like, why are you calling me? <laughs> be like, hey, um... Hey, we're it's, on It's for charity? Right oh. if, if, God, we're this is... playing a game! We're, we're playing a game, and there's like a planet. I just want to know if you are inside the planet. Would it, <laughs> would it be more gravity or less gravity? Why are you throwing up as you're you're asking her this? <laughs> because I would feel bad to call someone at midnight. It's like an invader. <laughs> felt like an. Oh, insane. that's like... bullshit! You called Brandon. Uh, that was Brandon. not an asinine question, Dan. This is an asinine question. Oh yeah, that's true. Never mind. <laughs> I try. I try to be very selective in who I call at 3 a.m. 
like calling me to do Super Mario Maker for you. Good morning, Mario. At 3 a.m. Yep. Did you? That was the time that I scuttled up the stairs. True. Did Steven, did you mention that story at all? Or should we? What, the dream? Like, yeah, that's been no, brought up in calling this morning. Brandon? Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, I thought he was talking about specifically the Morning Mario thing. Oh. Do a flip! <laughs> that's my flip. Oh, you can't. Oh, I thought you could just, like, I thought you were, like, you had free. I, I'm out of the zero that. G area, that's why. Oh. God, that. That Coliseum. We went to go get pizza the first night, and uh, when we got into Steven's car, uh, what popped on was uh, the hoedown song from Whose Line? <laughs> and, and Steven turns to me and goes, Tom, go! <laughs> Welcome to Mallory's Hell Daily. <laughs> no, that's bi weekly. No, I mean, no, it turns on every time he gets in the car, because it's the only song oh, on his oh, iPhone. Oh, yeah, so, like, about 80% of the time, it remembers to, like, open Spotify, but 20% of the time, it doesn't. So it opens the default music app, and I have one song on my phone, and it's that one. That was, they were talking about, like, the pizza and the fact that I was with, with my friends... And then that was going to end it off by going to the beach to eat some sand. It's good. It's a good song. Don't like sand. It's rough. Rough and coarse, it gets everywhere. This game reminds me of Mist. <laughs> someone, someone in the chat says, Oh, God. Unless someone calls you and then it's the He Man song. Yeah, that. That is still the same song. Even under that mask. Egg. I actually learned something the other day. So I keep my phone on um, silent at all times, like a normal person. And the other day I had it uh, unsilenced. And I realized that when it's connected to CarPlay, that the text sounds come through. And that was alarming. Because <laughs> I was driving and all this, and the, the, the text sound for my phone is the do an attack in earthbound sound so it's like <laughs> and it's it, it happened and i was like ah and i i hadn't uh silenced my phone after that and mal was in the passenger seat and she was having a conversation with my parents we have a little group chat and a lot of people were talking all at once so i'm driving and it just keeps going <laughs> and I was like, please please silence this all progress will be lost. How do I save? Am I supposed to get off the planet to save? Is the kind of game where you're supposed to do it all in one go? No, I don't think so on that. How, how many minutes have you been playing this session? This 30, 31. 31. Oh, this well, specific, no, oh, this specific session is probably more like 14. Now, do you get a gun? You're almost at the point where the game starts saving. That's a that's a bit of a stretch. <laughs> or every time someone gives me like a time frame for how close I am to something, I I'm always uh not oh my god. I'm always inclined to not believe them cuz one time I played Catherine and I was like We win. I was maybe like two thirds <laughs> of the way through the game, and I was like, "How much longer do we have?" And they're like, "Oh, maybe another hour," and we went on for another four hours. Wow. Yeah. All right, Catherine. That that's the one with the the staircases, right? Yeah, with the it's got the staircases <laughs> the and boy. um. It is and, a game about staircases. Yeah, staircases. Nolan North and uh, Catherine's with C, K, and Q. Uh, so I noticed I opened up Task Manager while we were playing that, and yeah, my CPU spiked to 100 while playing that. Yeesh. Yep. And that was with it in windowed at, uh, 720. Edge. 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 Shrimp. 
All right, we're gonna do another break <laughs> oh here now. This is your chance if you want to go refill your drink and all that jazz. And when we come back, we're doing the last four games of the night, which if I are ever played that... sorry, go ahead. Which are Xenoblade Chronicles Two, Netflix Instant Streaming Disc, The Fairly Odd Parent Shadow Showdown, and Custom Robo. <laughs> if I ever play, if I ever play Catherine again, specifically on PC. I'm gonna mod it so the edge sound effect is replaced with shrimp. Eight. Eight. <laughs> eight. 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 All right. Good job. Dark Red YTTV. Eight. Thanks for gifting us up to little baby bacon. Garthon six for seventeen. DC twenty will save for sixty. Gamer TJ plays for seven. That other Dan for fifty-seven. Stardust Pyro for eighty-four. T Stam one hundred one for eleven. Blazing Fry Pan for twenty-six. Grabobly for sixty-three. Uh, Reza001 for four, uh, Amarnith for 54, Skay Nork for 18, Garrett Arcane for three, Red Rose Brigade for six, and Space Vixen Music for 41. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people, because I think we actually do have one in the carton this time around. Yep, yeah, from Cool Owl, because Steven is here. <laughs> oh, hey. Look at your left. What? Well, friends, I look forward to meeting you people again. This is like if I got a haircut but with lasers. <laughs> I thought that was in the song for a second there. I got a haircut. Yes, I got a haircut. Hair was there before, but then I got a haircut. I had hair, yes, hair oh. on my head, but now it's long gone. It's haircut dead. I got a haircut. Yes, I got a haircut. Wrote the stupid song just because I got a haircut. Haikus are ancient and the song seemed cool too. Quickly sing the verses like a slightly here school. Okay, that was say haikus are ancient. I opened the stream with a haiku. Yeah, they're ancient. I mean, literally ancient, like the, the, the art form of haiku. Predates techno. Are you sure about that? I'm not. I'm talking out my ass. I'm sorry. I knew it. How dare you, Steven? I've never been so angry. Well, I got a haircut. Yes, I got a haircut. You've heard it all before, but how it's could another you, haircut. Steve? Another new style, because that's not me. Exact same hairdo is just how I want to be. I got a haircut. Yes, I got a haircut. Hair replacement there. That's essentially a haircut. If you don't like my haircut, keep your opinions to yourself. Also, I haven't heard this song in forever. I forgot that I did. So there you go. It's the haircut song mixed with initialize my theme. So nicely done, Al. This is this is like if me and John did the fusion dance. Yeah. And all we did you'd was get a haircut. Uh, you'd be uh, oh, well, all right. Well, what are, what are we going for the name then? Would that be would that be uh, Jofin or Stan? Ooh. I like Stan. I like the idea of doing the fusion dance just to save money on a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> all right, John. We got to do the fusion dance. We will get the haircut. Then we'll separate. One haircut, perfect. But the, you get the haircut, and like you still have all your hair, and John has none of it. <laughs> we'll figure it out. All right, we're gonna get a break when we come back. Xenoblade Chronicles Two. See you guys in a bit. All right, I got it. They will be Stan Warge. I gotta like. Get, I'll be back in a minute. I gotta. I gotta wash some dishes. All right, go wash dishes. That a euphemism? I'll be back. I'll be back. No, it's like when your dishes are dirty, because you have a lot of them. Well, it's just late. It's just very late at night to be washing your dishes. That's why I asked if it was a euphemism. Oh, it's definitely not. It's definitely not. Because we just ate the dinner, so the dishes are dirty. 
Hey, John, I've, I've, I've got a question. Hmm. Uh, we've saved Pyra. What else could we possibly do? Um... I don't think we have enough time to do anything, sadly, right now. Okay, wait, can we put her back? <laughs> Let's just restart the game. Oh, no. I, I, actually, now that I think about it... <laughs> pull up the clip from last year he played you to play two. Just play it backwards. <laughs> Now, now it's time to save Jerry. It's time to save Tora. I don't think we're getting even get close to Tora. Uh, well, we saved Pyra, oh. right? Yeah, we. That's that's the last um, thing we did was save Pyra. I depending on where we are, we might be able to save Tora. Tom, can I can I request a Tora and Seinfeld crossover? <laughs> What's the deal with airline food? <laughs> I'm back in a bit. Tora thinks that they need more tasty sausages on airline food. Gonna do like the what are we gonna do like the bet with Tora? <laughs> I don't know. Tora's out! <laughs> if any, yeah, that's very, very that, cold. You know what? Uh, someone said Tora is shifting into soup mode. Uh, yeah, Tora would definitely be George. Not now, Elaine. Tora shifting into soup mode. God. Tora works for the Yankees. No soup for you. Who's Newman to Torres Jerry? No, Torres, Torres, Torres George. Baby, the Mets hit a home run for Tora. Yeah. I can't think of any George quotes. Yes, Tora ate the eclair, but it was on top of the garbage. Tora didn't eat garbage. Pretzels are making Tora thirsty! Tora was in the pool! There was shrinkage! Tora was in the pool! Tora had shrinkage! Quotes come from Kramer in that show. I really can't think of anything for uh for, from George, just like off the top. Not upon reproduce somehow. Ricky's got like 18 kids, doesn't he? Um, I could like hear from my kitchen just a very muffled like. <laughs> <laughs> George's lines were a bit more subtle, yes. Tor has 11 kids. But at least one of them is adopted.
about TF2 scout lines? Hey, look! He shifted into a dead guy! Did Tora's I, um, running circles around you, chucklehead! What a na 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 na! Didn't didn't Jason Alexander's daughter like end up marrying an architect or something? No, I have no idea. Or like dating an architect. How about the spy? Seduce Tora! More scout lines? <laughs> oh, I don't want to do that one, Phantom. I've seen the video. I, I've se seen the video of Zach saying that, but it, I don't know. It, it just seems it seems so disrespectful. <laughs> Fly and brother Tora hurts people. I think the engineer would probably fit Tora the best. Uh, hey Tora, um, how are you doing? <laughs> I Hello, Kermit. Uh. What, what are you, what are you, what are hey, you look, doing? buddy, Tora's an engineer. That means Tora solves problems. Not problems like what is beauty, because that would fall within the purview of your conundrums of philosophy. Tora solves practical problems. Uh, okay. Well, um, me and Piggy were gonna go, uh, to the, to the market. Does, uh, Tora wanna come? <laughs> I like how you're still speaking in third person for Dora. Yeah. For, in for instance, how is Tora gonna stop some big mean Mother Hubbard from tearing Tora's superfluous, uh, structurally superfluous new behind? The answer, use a gun! And if that doesn't work, use more guns! Uh, okay, but, um, maybe we shouldn't, uh, Like this bring heavy guns. caliber tripod mounted little old number designed by Tora. Built by Tora. And you best hope, not pointed at you. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> probably don't bring a gun to the store. T Tora always, always brings a gun to the store. Look at Poppy. It costs oh. $400,000 to fire Poppy for 12 seconds. Oh. That, uh, that seems like a lot. Um... Tora. Yes, Kermit. Um. So are you gonna come with us, or um? No, T Tora's gonna stay here. Tora's working on gun. Oh, okay. Um, can I ask you about it some more? Sure. What? What? What's a gun? <laughs> Tora, show you. Oh! Bang! <laughs> oh god, my hand! What voice is this? <laughs> Tora's got a gun! Um. Hey! Kermit! Ah, fart shoes! <laughs> so, um, Tom, uh, yeah. what is what is your favorite uh, voice impression to do? 
Uh, I don't know. I I have trouble picking favorites of stuff. Oh. I I guess you don't like superlatives. That's fine. Hard to pick favorites. Hard to pick favorites. Okay. Um, Mr. Crocker is fun to do from Fairly Odd Parents. Woo! <laughs> and then I, Mr. Crocker, will expose his Fairy Godparents! Fairies! <laughs> That's good. And for you, Timmy Turner, I give you an F! <laughs> oh boy, I think MC's in the chat. Is he there? Hey, buddy. Hello. The two tapes. We get raided by him? We got raided by somebody, I think. People are. Oh. Spouting off the two tapes. Like from Tony Hawk? That was not Super MC, okay. Have you ever raided somebody who doesn't know you MC and they're like, Oh, Super, Super McGamer! Oh, I love my McDonald's! Yes! <laughs> Oh yeah, for Deltarune Chapter 2, I gave Birdly Crocker's voice. I love putting McDuggets <laughs> in my nose! Oh boy! Hmm, Tora thinks it was a mistake to install Windows 11 on Poppy! Oh no! Oh, G-rated, okay. Are you okay? I don't know who that is! I'm sorry, but I'm not in love with you! I'm in love with Susie! Oh! Who's Susie? It's, uh, from, from Deltarune. Oh! The hell did I come back to? <laughs> A lot of voice stuff. Apparently. Hi, John. He, people wanted me to do Seinfeld quotes as, uh, as, as Tora. I heard the start of that before I went upstairs. Did you hear the shrinkage one? <laughs> No. <laughs> Tora was in the pool! <laughs> oh, and G rated. Oh, well, in that oh case, that's Reese is in the chat! Reese's Puffs! Reese's Puffs! Eat him up, eat him up, eat him up. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs! Oh boy! Jeez, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Hopefully your stream was good, bud. 
Uh, you've joined us in time for the last four games of the night. We're about to start Xenoblade Chronicles 2 here in a minute. We're gonna put Pyra back. <laughs> Just gonna play it backwards. Uh, let's quickly read some alerts and then hop back to it. Uh... Guys, uh, I, saw, I saw that Mickey Mouse uh, stole my uh, microphone while I was gone. That was weird. He's yeah. dead now. It happens. Yeah, yeah. Tora, he, Tora he... also shot him with a gun. Yeah, I saw <laughs> he had bullet holes. Just in his hands, though. Tora only goes for the hands. Uh, so that way they can't shoot him back. That's true. Derpopotamus says, This has been completely hilarious so far. So glad I stayed up to listen to this live. Keep being awesome, all of you. Thanks, Derp. Appreciate it. Tora shot Mickey! Storm of Explodium with the mission accomplished when we when we won, quote unquote, the Outer Worlds. Uh, Outer Wilds. God damn it. I'm going to keep doing that every time. Purple Link with us dying, conveniently, right when we died in Outer Wilds. Just try to uh, just try to pronounce it as like um like mixing Wilds. Wild. <laughs> yeah, Wilds. so that way like no, no one can ever Wild. give you shit if you're pronouncing it wrong. Eagle McNamara or says can. Uh Eagle McNamara says, I didn't grow up with Shadow Showdown, but I did have its prequel break in the rules. It's actually a pretty solid platformer, despite having the absolute worst audio quality I've witnessed in a home console game. I can't even explain what went wrong there. Well, I'm curious to see how people are gonna feel about this, because it's the Game Boy Advance version of Shadow Showdown, because I'm pretty sure that's the only version I have. So, uh, we'll see if it's if it ends up being what people want. Oh, man. Next time, I'm on Fortune Cookie. I've never played it, but the the models in it are absolutely atrocious. Next time I'm on Cookie, I'm going to suggest the, uh, the Ed Ed Netty GameCube game. <laughs> oh, Miss Adventures or whatever? Yes. The models look so bad. I think we've played it before. Actually, the game itself seemed all right. I just had no... Nostalgia for the show, so it's just kind of eh on it. It's like being that one guy. It's like it's the Homer meme where he's at the bar, and like everyone else is doing the same thing. Like it's just everyone around me is talking about Ed, Ed and Eddie. I'm just like, I have, I don't know how I feel about this. All Wait right. a minute, this lesbian bar doesn't have a fire exit. Exactly. Paul BP7 says, "Happy 25th birthday, birthday, Star Fox 64." Holy shit! I Wait, really? I, I think that's actually right. Freaking love that game, dude. Dude, roll. Item Crafting Live says the Outer Wilds. It helps you cook an egg for breakfast on your CPU while it runs. I was like, I was wondering why my computer seemed like it was super loud, and that was why. And Garrett Arcane says, so having John stream playing while watching PBG has led to a strange remix between their respective musics. It's a vibe I am greatly enjoying. <laughs> nice. Now all we gotta do is go up the. What happened to the stairs? And Philip J. Fry says, Okay, it's Tuesday night. I have no appointment. A two-liter bottle of Shasta and my all-dream theater mixtape. Let's do it. Metro <laughs> Metro <laughs> Metropolis Part 1 intensifies. Jesus, that took too many tries. No God. one, uh, like, no one can take away that uh, version of that where the person put it over Blaze Blue. The Blaze Blue one's still a classic. Saturday night. I have no date. A two-liter bottle of Shasta... My all rush mixtape. Let's rock. Man, now I want to go listen to Dream Theater. Fuck. <laughs> Alright. Well, it's time. I did it. It's time. Well, you're just in time. Did you, wa did you wash all the spoons? I washed all the spoons. All the spoons. All the spoons. Mal, can we get confirmation? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Even yeah. you missed it. We had we had Mickey Mouse and uh, Tora in the stream. You know, I just realized when you said Mouse Tora, my first thought wasn't Xenoblade Two anymore. It was, it was the Jewish holy book. <laughs> I had a feeling that's where you were gonna go. <laughs> Tora read the Torah. That's what I was. That's what I, my, where my mind went. <laughs> and now, Torah reads the Torah. <laughs> Jesus. Genesis 3. Wait, That's that the was Bible. That's also the Bible. Well, no, Torah. I mean, the. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Is it, isn't the Torah just the. <laughs> Old Testament? Mal says soon we will have spoons I and bowls, which we were also I'm out of. I'm pretty sure the Torah is a different book entirely. 
dear life. Wise? Who wise now? You, you yeah, it's just the first five books. Why can't Popone not even die, bro? Oh, wow. What if they first five books of the Hebrew body? Bible, which I don't know if that's just the Old Testament or not. Die? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Oh, gotta have numbers in there, of course. Rex and Blade went. That's how you learn how to count. Titan and friends ran away. Numbers is such went an awful book. Went to south of Cyclas Sea. After that, Banner knew as much as Papoonin. Storm was very thick. Don't, don't so you love it when there's uh, Bible and yes, Torah but... trivia on and your screen? <laughs> run away like cowards. I mean, it's not yes, like I grew up in the but... church or anything. I like to imagine that this is a cathode ray thing that he's watched him through, and it's just like, it's just being blind, like, he's going blind. That's why he needs the magnifying glass monocles, because he's going blind from these communication devices. Even pricey insurance banner takeout on Maelstrom go to waste. Still, how interesting. Heading southward from Cyclas Sea, in current season, that likely take them to Gormont. You, go! Get Consul Dougal on the line, immediately! Yes, sir. One moment, please. Why, if it isn't Chairman Banner! What an unexpected pleasure! May I just say that I admire how you rebranded those broken core crystals? And selling them onto the Dunderheads back in Morar Den. Absolutely sublime. Banner did not call to hear pointless flattery. And blubbering about core crystals on unsecured line? Is Dougal some kind of idiot? What if Endor tap our communication? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. Man, forget it. Man. We got bigger fishes <laughs> to fry. Oh, man. What's going on? Listen up. Somewhere, Emil is, uh, smiling. Vibrating. He is vibrating. Yeah. yeah. Oh, not bad. Oh, hey, boobs. I wouldn't mind waking up to that every morning. Oh. Thank goodness. You aren't injured at all, are you? No, I'm fine, I guess. Game seems to what? enjoy fan service. Oh, yeah. I don't know when we give you that idea. You have no idea. I'm yeah. not certain. Xenoblade Xenoblade 1 wasn't nearly as bad. Up, this one, they just like titan. cranked it up to 11. A titan? Don't worry, we're on my stream. Boob's fine. <gasps> Where's Gramps? A Nia? Gotta find My them. Helmet. They can't be far. Okay. You know, I, he was panicking, but the second he looked into the eyes of his helmet, he was he was filled with determination. One, two things you learn for completing battle: two important types of points: whip and spoop. Whoop, stands for weapon points. You can think of these as a measure of the level of skill that Rex has with his weapon, and you'll need them to level up art. Same art will deal much higher damage to enemies at higher levels, so it's worth strengthening your arts at the earliest opportunity. You have to go by doing this. Spuh! Meanwhile, stands for skill points. These represent how well Rex is trained in his battle techniques, and they've used to unlock passive skills. Try giving Rex some new skills in Affinity Chart. Let me take this chance to bend your ear quickly about driver stats. Every driver has a few basic ones, namely HP, strength, ether, dexterity, agility, and luck. HP, driver's health, they'll fall if the drops to zero. Strength affects damage from physical arts. Ether affects damage and healing from ether arts. Dexterity affects attack accuracy. Agility affects chance to evade enemy attacks. And luck makes it easier to resist enemy debuffs and reactions. That's what luck does in this one? So he doll is like the yes. special of this world? Uh, on top of that, the tutorials in this game aren't good at all. So I've, you'd be I've lucky. Heard that. You'd be you'd be lucky if if uh, most of the what they say there are accurate. 
On top of that, once you're done with the tutorials, you can't read them again. I know, I do remember hearing complaints about that. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> also, um... Ooh, do you want to get, like, a bunch actually, of core crystals? So hang on, just... so hang on. So someone told me not to do this last time for some reason? I think I remember them saying that. Uh, oh, there's, yeah, that, uh, there's a lot of, like, DLC and spoilery stuff, uh, in there. Okay. Alright. Also, for those curious, Emil has a video where he explains the things that it's not, the game's not great at explaining. Yeah, a lot of people have told me Emil's to, uh, Let's Play and tutorials he does in it are probably the best tutorials out there for the game. Okay, don't have enough points to do any of that. What about my affinity chart? Uh, I do have enough for this. Increase strength by 20. Increase agility by 20. Allows the use of drive arts assigned to X at the start of battle. No, I don't have enough for that one. Increase that one, that one's a good one. I, I'd recommend saving up for that one. Uh, looks like I already... Oh, that's just default. I mean, I might as well take strength for now, right? Okay. Just because I want to get through fights a little easier. Yeah, yeah. Nice one! Thanks. And I assume I can't do that to, to Pyra because she's a blade. Right. It's only with the uh, it's only with the drivers you can do that. Uh, I don't think I have any. Oh no, you do already have accessories on. The way you actually, well, I wouldn't actually uh, go over to uh, Pyra just in. Have you used her in battle yet? <laughs> I actually don't know. Technically. Uh, I might as well check then. Uh, well, let's let's give him some lightly fried rice. Or I could do a massive mushroom pie. Yeah, 420. Uh, What's that marine stir fry? Minus 4% ether damage taken, plus 5% HP recovery, and plus 8% party gauge gain. That's a, that's a pretty good one. It lasts I mean, for an hour as well. Okay. A hour real time or hour in game? Hour real time. Hour real time as long as you're playing the game. Like oh, okay. That's, there, that, was my, that was my main question. Okay. Okay. Pirate gives me an E in trust. My thought cloud is pretty neutral. I got a little bit of truth. And compassion. That uh, that just increases the odds of you getting uh, blades of a specific element. Modify blades uh, weapon with cord ships. I don't think you she's, have any of those yet. She's got five crowns, though. That's a lot. Uh, you, oh my God! Okay, that's uh, so. Yeah, so you so you don't unlock these with points. You unlock them by doing different tasks, and the ones that are locked you can't uh, unlock until you unlock those things in the bottom left, which they should tell you what you need for those. So if you hit L to step outwards on that uh, on that step. Okay, I gotta use uh, a blade art to, to get this one, but I've got all these other ones. Yep, I've awoken new power within me. Head, uh, head all the way to the left and then hit L. So you just need to earn more trust in order to unlock level two, and that unlocks that. that they're, unlocks they're all, they're all trust. They're all trust. Right, but that uh, once you unlock the, those with the trust, then it, unlo it gives it you the potential that, to unlock the next thing. level. Yeah. yeah. Okay, makes sense. Oh, this looks like a pain. It's a JRPG, and a lot of me get passively. No battery. You're all mine. For a second, I thought the humming was coming from the game and not you. Sorry. It's all right. No, it's no big deal. I was just making sure. Huh. Anchor short. He's going to say, oh, hold on. I forgot to tell you something really important. How to develop your blade's capabilities. There are three main ways to develop a blade. Weapon modification, equipping aux cores, and the affinity chart. Weapon modification is exactly what it sounds like. A blade's weapon is tied to them from the moment they're awakened, so it can't just be replaced. Apply cord chips in that menu. If you come across a shop selling core chips during your adventure, it's always a good idea to invest in some new ones. Let's talk about affinity chart. This is a chart which shows a range of proficiencies available to a specific blade here you can, where you can acquire or enhance abilities like arts or field skills. This is going to be a great help in removing obstacles from your path. These abilities and power-ups can be had by fulfilling the conditions for the affinity rewards on the affinity chart. There's a whole host of goals for you to aim for. Yep, we already looked at that. Ox cores. They're like accessories specifically for blades to equip. Perhaps it's a little too soon to tell you about ox cores. They'll all save the details for when you've actually got a hold of one. Thank you, Mysterious Voice. Thank you, game, who apparently has a personality. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. 
I don't remember how to take out my weapon. Uh, you have to target it, but I can't remember what the button is to target. It's none of these. Oh, wait, no. R, the shoulder button, there you go. And then you just, and then you hit A, and that'll bring up the battle Let's menu. Let's show him a thing or three. I'm Throw your sword at him. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to reach him. Yeah, oh, I yeah. can now. Yeah! yeah! Gah! Take that, Spike the Crow. That's a bright flyer. That's a bug. Hey, a crow? Easy peasy. Because it says it on top. How can you tell it's not a crow? Oh, because I played this game. Yeah, that's a pretty good reason. Rock Crabble. Rock Crabble. Thanks for that. We were in Gormat. Everybody had matching blades. Somebody <laughs> fell under the land, and there they saw some sand. But it wasn't some sand. It was a rock crabble. Rock crabble. The non-radio non edit of that song is like 12 minutes long. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it's just him screaming for a while. It's ridiculous. That's like, that's like half the appeal of that group. Yeah. Ha. What, what is that song? I don't Let's even know. From the Rock Lobster by the B-52s. My thoughts exactly. The Love Shack people. Oh. Or the no. Flintstones like from the movie. Whale. Oh god, yeah, I forgot about that. Or the, the what song did they do for The Simpsons? Oh, Glove Slap. No, yeah. It was a parody of, it was it was a parody parody of yeah. fucking Love Shack. Yeah. Our emotions are in two or the Rocco's Modern Life theme. I like your attitude. Oh shit, that is them too, I forgot. Ah. Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life. Big as a whale okay. and a jerk to take you down. <laughs> Rex, let's go. And it's as big as a whale. Yeah. So does so remind me yeah. since it has been a year. Does it's okay. running away from Rex attacks Rex. actually do anything? Uh no. Okay. I like your uh, one thing I want to do is, uh, after you, like, like almost okay, immediately after you deal damage with a normal so hit, if you use one of your abilities, it does bonus damage. Okay. That means a lot to me, Rex. Let's show him a thing Oh, I guess we're fighting this thing instead. Oh, you're fight uh, well, if it, does, if it comes down, then maybe. Ha! There well, we if go. If I stab it, it will. Apparently did a yeah, version for VeggieTales called Rock this Monster. Is, uh, that was wonderful, Rex. But really? I'll try even harder for the next one. Just you wait. You're really gonna kill yeah. a giraffe? Yeah. They know what they did. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So there's yeah. no. I thought like backstab actually was a thing in this series, right? It is, but the the problem is because you only have one party member. Can't, can't uh, you're draw not gonna aggro. be able to get. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to get the attention off you. See this giraffe, and I'm gonna kick his ass! Why not? Go spinning and okay, go for it! Here we go! Oh shit, way too early. Nice one! I've got heat! I'm good shot! You don't stand a chance against us, man! Yeah, rush down! Sword bash! Ha! We were talking before. I think it was during one of the breaks. Uh, Jared was like, <laughs> Erica had to turn on Japanese voices for this game because I could just hear Tora screaming the entire time. Okay, bring it on. Spinning ah. Edge! Oh no, you don't. Ha. Thanks for Spinning Kata! Yeah. Let's keep this up and yeah. win for sure. I'm good There's shot. really no point in dodging attacks. Yes. Weird. Posi uh, positioning is only really gonna matter once um, for, for backstabs and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Let's show him a thing or three. Yeah. 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 Oh, when I killed the giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> Don's really out here trying to end a whole My series. Two, right? <laughs> That's how it is sometimes. You just, you just hate giraffes. 
I like the little half-hearted kick it gives. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> like the world's worst rocket. Oh, it's the outer ring you want, right? Not the inner one? Um, yes, yes. That's weird. But all right. Right, because I want... So, I, so spoilers, I guess. I watched Emil play the first, like, two or three chapters of this game. Like, he got the game early during a TRG trip. Thank you. So I specifically watched him play it, and that's actually what made me interested in the game in the first place. Uh, but he was doing the exact same thing, and we were like, wait, why is it the outer ring and not the inner ring? That doesn't make any sense. I think it's mainly because they don't want you to spend too much time waiting for the target to go down. I guess. Okay. Time to take a that's a small brog, by the way. Let's go. I can see why. Yeah. All of these creatures coexisting in harmony with each other as the Rex comes along. So, like suddenly, a salvager drops down from the heavens and decides, I'm gonna end a species today. Good day, mate. Time to kill you all. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to hell, you little bugger. Okay, time Kills the to entire take ecosystem. Rex, One of the things go. that I learned from uh, yeah. from Emil's Let's Play is that like each of the regions does correspond to like a different um, yeah. British accent. And there is uh, there is one that revolves around the Australian accent. Easy peasy, mate. I'm gonna chop off your head now, yeah. I mean, there's like not anything left. Like John decimated the whole thing. Like I said, they <laughs> I can't, had a, they I had a can't believe I killed the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I ate it all the giraffes. <laughs> Let's see what I can do with this. Do these activate and these only activate if I go in the menu, right? I have to keep checking the menu to make yes, sure these you do are not. You do have to check the menu to make sure those, those activate. All right. And look, John woke up and chose violence. We've got to respect it. <laughs> <laughs> John, you do know that grinding isn't necessary in Xenoblade, right? No, because I'm blind to this series. I don't know what part of that you might have missed. Listen, I was just going to let the man play the way he wanted to. Grums. These creatures didn't even have to die. Oh, neither did neither did a uh, Grandpa Dragon. Uninjured, Rex. But he's dying. It's tragic. Oh, spoiler. Hold on. I should have he could have been sleeping. See, so here's the thing: the trailers spoil what's about to happen, so it's it loses its impact already from that alone. Oh yeah. But weep not, my boy. But weed. This is my grandpa. Fate. Actually, if you have I those herbs, start lighting no them on fire underneath my nose. We will that sweet sticky icky. When the flow of the ether will set. I need the really skunky stuff, my boy. So oh, wait, that's this, some good kush. This kid's grandfather is a dragon. Well, he calls uh, him Grant. He calls him Gramps. Yes. Like he, he's lived grandpa. on his back for how long? I forget. Uh, I, I doesn't really a week. specify. A week. No, it's longer than that. Pretty like, much. He, Rex washed up on the shore of, of like of a of an island, uh, with both his parents dead. He was raised in an orphanage, and uh, that that titan that just faded into dust uh, lived there. Um, lived there with him. And then at some point, they're like, "Hey, we're gonna go on. We're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna forge out on my own here. You want to come with?" And the Gramps is like, "Yeah, sure." I told you not to cry, didn't I, Rex? <laughs> Rex. <laughs> Rex. Rex! This is just that don't turn me to a marketable plushie meme. Yeah. What? Is that Gramps? Yeah. Yep. That? It can't be. He's adorable! Don't you recognize me? Um, well, not really, no. I am so confused right now. 
Rex, so don't see, turn me into a marketable plush. Cellular regeneration to retain all vital bodily functions. I seem to have reverted to a larval stage. Well, that's quite. That handy. makes perfect sense. It must be nice to be a titan. This isn't something just any old titan can do. Only one so advanced as myself. Um, Rex, are you angry? <laughs> I'm not. It's more that I didn't want you to see me blubbering like a baby. Oh, it's okay to be angry. So, when will you be back to your old self? Good question. No more than 300 years. Th 300 years? But I'll be long dead by then. Hmm. I suppose that's true. But what about the house? Do I have to live in the streets? Perhaps this is an opportunity to fly the nest. You mean... Pay rent? Oh, miser boots. It's a massive extra expense. Still. Uh huh. Glad you're okay, Grants. Oh shit! Thumbs up. Pikachu. I mean, Grants. Mia. Mia. You mean that driver and her blade from? Stephen, if you're, it, it, yeah. people are asking in chat if you're if you're Can't dying, can you do the same thing? I do hope they're all right. Yeah, I've done it once or twice. Grunts, oh, that's good to know. Do you remember anything? I He's remember pulled a doctor here. crashing through many trees before landing here. They probably fell off then. Hmm. That's not a whole lot to go on. Perhaps we would have some luck following the trail of broken trees. Good thinking, Pyra. Let's go. By the way, Rex. Is that a core crystal I see shining on your chest? Yeah, I died. Just what oh, yeah, I'm a blade now. I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to find Nia. Oh, -ho! now this makes a nice change. Except I can't see anything because your head's in the way. You washed your hair a... lately. You've got a massive head, my boy. Are you going to attempt to finish Xenoblade Chronicles before the third game comes out? Oh, there's no fucking way I'm going to have that <laughs> game done by July or June, whenever it was. We're trying is, to, we're... Is, it take, is it take to have Xenoblade Chronicles 1 done by next Coliseum? Yeah, it's a long game. Let's show him a thing or three. I played, I played the first time. hour. That's it. Well, this puts us at an hour and a half, I believe, now. Wait, oh, <laughs> Wait, so so Rex is a driver. Yes. Yep. But he's also a blade? No, he's not a blade. He died and Pyro was like, hey, guess what? You ain't dying. I'm putting this thing in your chest. You gotta help me get to Elysium. Yes. But you you have to help me get to a mythical heaven up the world tree. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Someone's saying he's essentially Tony Stark now. Yeah, that's the arc reactor. Yeah, you know what? I can see that. What you're looking at right now is a collection point. Click check here to uncover collectible items. You'll find collection points all over Alras, and each area will have its own selection of items to discover. Also, there's some collection points where you can use Blade's field skills to find special collectible items that you couldn't get otherwise. Vehicles that you find are sure to come in handy during your adventure, so if you come across a collection point, be sure to check it out. Warning number two. Come out, come out. You got a UB USB C. I think, uh. So, a lot of people are saying that, like, the voice acting really doesn't match this game. And, like, the biggest reason for that is that in order to make the game come out at the same time, they did all the voice lines at the same time. But the animations were very clearly done for the Japanese voices. Let's show him a thing or three. Yeah, there, there is a part where he was like, Gramps! And, like, it looked like he was screaming. Yeah. That's like sure. that's like the reverse like Ghost of Tsushima problem. When uh, when Mao played through Ghost of Tsushima in huh. November, we really wanted to play it uh, dubbed in Japanese, but all the animations were for the English version, and it was super distracting. So we were like, yeah, I <laughs> okay. guess I guess we'll play it in English. I think they fixed it uh, for the yeah. PS5 version. Oh, you know what? Never mind. The lip flaps don't match the Japanese either. Oh. Okay. I like your attitude. I like your attitude. 
his like voice, your attitude. His voice does not fit Let's his body. A thing or three? Ha! Yeah, a thing or three. Yeah, ha! not two though. Ha! It's one yeah, or three, but not can't be two. Let's keep this up and we'll Y'all, we live sure. in a society I'm where sure. phrases mean things. Ow! Are you sure you about can't, that? You can't just alter phrases. <laughs> five is right out. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, five! Three me lord, three! <laughs> three, sir. What a one of my favorite Monty Python, the Holy, Gra uh, Holy Grail tidbits is uh, the one where there was supposed to be a very long and complicated name for the enchanter, but uh, whoever was playing it forgot his lines. It was just like, some call me Tim. So they just rolled with Tim the enchanter. Yeah, I know you're around here somewhere. But we're running out of time. I can't help but start fights constantly. I should it's warn people who are gonna be are excited for me watching playing Xenoblade. This is how I play RPGs. So if you're not gonna join me starting a fight with everything I see, you're gonna hate me playing Xenoblade. What <laughs> the fact that I'm skipping fights is actually killing me on the inside. The uh, yeah, the the thing with uh, with Xenoblade that there's a lot that's gonna be outside of like your your wheelhouse as you come across it. And arrived. <laughs> oh, I know. Like the game is like, yeah, here's a random enemy that's level a hundred. Like it's a running well, gag. Not, uh, not even that. Like sometimes you'll be uh, in like a little bit of a spoilers for stuff that's coming up. But you'll be in like the the big field, like big sprawling field that's coming up, and there will just be like. Groups of enemies that are just like in the 30s, and it's just part of the natural wildlife there. Okay, time to take you down. Rex, yeah, I know. I remember when we played um, Xenoblade X, and we got like right near like the the main town. There was like a level like 80 enemy or something crazy like that. Yup. I like your attitude. So of course the first thing we did was run over to it. For a second, I thought that said Caterpie. I was very confused. It's a caterpillar. Yeah. What's that sound? I felt a ripple in the ether. It's a guitar solo. It sounds kick ass. Okay. Yeah, fucking rules. Let's go. <laughs> Sweet, is that Pearl Jam? Fucking metal as hell, Rex. Let's go. I'm not just gonna abandon you, Juma. Or saving <laughs> angry cat and not so angry cat. Here's a fireball. What are you doing here? My lady, now is our chance. Let's attack. Oh, it's doing its Hail Marys. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it really did look like it was doing the the cross. War meter bra. Before you help Nia out, let me explain a little about how to fight when you have multiple drivers in your party. The icon is the arrow is pointing to right now in case the enemy's weakness. Since his fire icon is enemies weak against fire, so Pyro's got something of an advantage here. Nice to talk about how to get party members back on their feet. When a driver's HP hits zero, they'll be incapacitated. As long as you have at least one section filled in the party gauge, you can move over to an incapacitated party member and press A to revive them. Even if you're incapacitated yourself, your party members can come and revive you in the same way. You just need enough charge in the party gauge. Can I control other party members? Or am I stuck hoping the AI helps? Um, if, yeah, if you die and you've got a uh, meter in the party gauge, the AI will come over and help you. They're not the best at it, but they will do it. But can I switch to Nia, or am I stuck as only Rex? You're stuck. You're stuck as Rex. You can. Ah, fuck! You can only change I hate that. I hate when RPGs do that. Ugh. Don't worry. In Xenoblade Three, you'll have six party members that you won't be able to switch to. Fantastic. He's trying a blade combo, going from a fire element special to a water element one. First trick of Pyro's level one special. Give the word, and I will unleash my fire. Okay. Gotcha. I thought when he was saying Eagle Eye, he was saying Yeet. Yeet! <laughs> you can play as Nia if you select her outside of battle. You can't switch in battle. Ah, oh, that's garbage. But all right. To link a blade combo, you'll need to use a special one level higher than the previous one. I'll bump Nia's special gauge up to level two, so press ZL to trigger it. 
Yeah, so those, that's, that's your extent of being able to control them, is just being able to use their specials. That's a bummer. It's gonna, it's gonna let you do a level three? Nope. In your ass! Anka Schultz! Truly are those these are truly more than me. It's okay, I'm still getting strong. I got an excellent. You're gonna eat that frog. So why you guys even look at all those coins? I guess that's a stupid question. Indeed. Indeed, it was stupid. Seriously, it's good to see you, and you're all right. Right back at you. Hey, by the way, what happened to the big guy who saved us? The Titan? Are you talking about me? Wait, what? How? That's sort of a long story. Let's get somewhere we can rest. I'll tell you all about it then. That seems prudent. He died and he recreated himself. Sure. Lead the way. It's not really a hard, long s story. But he wants to do it the long way. He wants to make it very complex. Well, nobody ever told him it's the long way. <laughs> Listen, I never thanked you properly. For saving us, I mean. No worries. I just wish you would save me when I got stabbed in the back. Us all the way here. We owe you our lives. Tyson. Save Nia complete. No to thank me. After all... You were the ones who saved Rex. Save Rex complete. Don't mention it. So, you Titans can regenerate. Pretty handy. This isn't something just any old Titan can... You can retire that line now. Excuse me. I'd like less of that attitude. If you had listened to me and declined that reckless job to begin with, we wouldn't be in this mess. Take a nap, you said. Like I was some kind of doddery old man. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm a terrible disappointment. Look how sorry I am. Can you not muster even a shred of sincere remorse? Sorry, but I can't. Hmm. <laughs> if I hadn't taken the job, it'd have got the rounds on Pyra. I wouldn't have been stabbed, and that changed my life. I couldn't Savage let Rex. That happen. Yeah, now you're soul linked with a with a hot dummy mommy here. <laughs> Based on how he's talking, I kind of wish it, it was like Baby Groot, where like I love how Nia actually sleeps like a cat, like completely <laughs> splayed out on her back. Hello there. Still awake, I see. <laughs> I don't know why I his approach was so funny to sleep. me. Because he's just flying, floating over like all casually. It's good to see you. You again. come here often, or mm, hello. Likewise. Though you've changed a lot since last we met, Pyra. I suppose I have. A lot's happened. Yes, it has. I wanted to thank you for saving my dear Rex. And I need to know what you told him. Is that what you really intend? What are your intentions for my grandson? Yes. <laughs> it is my true desire. I know your kind, Pyra. <laughs> I see. You're going to take him away oh, from me. That's good enough. I have no reason to doubt you, Pyra. Except for all the reasons that I do. Said, I do have one other goal now. Murder and Rex. And Melos. I cannot allow them to continue with their current course. The fate of an Aegis never changes. Aegis. Right. And you're going to get Rex mixed up in this? Well, it kind of already happened, so... I'm not blaming you. 
No matter how I just don't want try, you to take my grandson's V card. Boy would find some way. <laughs> Aren't they like <laughs> early <laughs> teens? It's Japan. Hey man, you can. Look, I like Big Titty as much as the next guy, but I, I think she's supposed to be like 15, which that's a no for Wait, me. Wait, Pyra? Yeah. Seems you've taken on quite a burden. Azura. I don't know, like, I don't know what, what her body age is supposed is, to be, but or she's, like, Rex five, is she's like 15. Five, yeah, Rex is 15. Oh. Pyra's 500. Oh, okay. Oh, one of those fucking cases. I thought one of the girls was supposed to be... Is it Mia that's... Like almost the same age? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Pyra's basic of Vieira, don't think too hard about it. Fair right, enough. Then. We should probably try and find a town or something. Does anyone have any idea where we are? This is Gormot, a province of the Adanian Empire. You must have seen the Gormod Titan before. Yeah. Only from a distance, though. We're somewhere around its belly. So, this is Gormod, huh? It's got one big tree. On a second. It's nice. Me, huh? Your ears. Are you Gormod, eh? Well done, Racist. genius. Took you long enough. Gormod is the land of my lady's birth. Wow. Well, that's reassuring. If we want to find a town, the first step is to get out of this forest. Keep heading up, and we'll hit the plain soon. The town's that way. Brilliant. Let's get going. Yeah, there we go. Now we can save. That's why we haven't stopped. We'll... Seven minutes uh, over time just to get to a save. Yup! Uh, there will never be a more egregious... Uh case of character looking way too young but being centuries old than freaking Noe in Fire Emblem Awakening. Ugh. Well, like, a lot of games like that do that. It's just rubs me the wrong way at times. Uh, alrighty then. What was up next on the list? <laughs> All right. It's time for the Netflix instant streaming disc. Christ. Pop her in! Oh, wait, are we allowed to do that? They're cracking down on password sharing. Oh, man. Well, I don't think we're even gonna have to worry about that part. You're being requested to control Nia. Why? Well, it's also too late. I already turned off the game. Next year, chat! We were seven minutes over time, guys! I told, right. I told Emil that we were playing this, and he only responded like a couple minutes ago, and I feel yeah. real bad. Well, don't worry. Again, he gets to see me start Xenoblade Chronicles 1 next week, so... Yeah. Now it's time for the Flix Only podcast! Yeah! Instant stream podcast. Net, net disc only? You had to be really careful back in the day when you were subscribed to Netflix, because if you misspelled one thing, you'd be subscribed to a, a service where they just flick you in the balls. <laughs> ah, good old Nutflix. <laughs> exactly. <thank you. laughs> How do I cancel this subscription? <laughs> <laughs> I assume this is going to be as useless as the Game Boy Player disc only, so I assume this is... I hope, yeah. I hope we at least get to, like, a menu or something, because I don't want it to just be, like, a, a, like a screen popping up where it's like, this, game, this disc cannot be used. <laughs> I didn't realize there's a Netflix and chill category! 
When do they add a Netflix and chill category on Twitch? That's illegal, right? I mean, you can't show that. Show that. Am I allowed to pick that? <laughs> what if it's like you pick it and immediately get banned? Because it just shuts like... the stream down immediately. <laughs> it was a trick. All right, well, I'm glad y'all enjoyed the last stream I've ever done. Because we'll be banned off of Twitch after that, but I've done it. There's a we're, game we're in... called Flicks and Chill. We're now in Netflix and Chill. Netflix. Man, that Netflix logo looks like something you'd more likely to see on like a red box than Netflix nowadays. And I remember junior year, I was part of the um, the mail uh, DVD. Like they would send you send you DVDs. Don't even get a menu. I mean, it's loading. It's trying to, anyways. But it's, but it's trying to connect to the internet, which there is none on the Wii. It's true. Yeah. All right. That's this it. Is the, this is this is yeah. the screen. Well, uh, tr go to enter settings. I just want to see if it takes you to your Wii settings. It's or It's taking it, uh... me to my Wii settings. Okay. So we got thirty minutes of an error message. Yep. Well, I mean, we can just keep it on the on this screen. Settings must be configured in the Wii U. Wii U. Alright, this well. is it. This is, this is where we had to sit. Yep. Netflix. 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 Give us your money. Netflix. And stop sharing your password, damn it. Netflix, you're pre approved. <laughs> you're green lit. Green lit. Is this one of the Wii's that doesn't have a GameCube player in it? Yeah, because this is a, a Wii U. It's a Wii U, yeah. Although, uh... You I'm get sorry, distracted a moment of there? Silence. Yeah, a moment, a moment of silence for the <laughs> elk. Was that Canada Hunt? That yeah, was Canada Hunt, yeah. Uh, but no, but yeah, uh, but no. Um, man, my brain just all sorts, of, <laughs> all, all sorts of goopy right now. Don't worry, you got 28 more minutes to think of what it was you were going to say. But yeah, There's but no. plenty of time, yeah, don't worry. But no, but yeah. Um, so, uh, Netflix. Well... Yeah. Oh yeah, we you uh you can play uh GameCube games on a Wii U, but it takes a lot of uh activities that uh, are in a gray area. Oh, you can run the Homebrew Channel equivalent. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Is next year's incentive to play Xenoblade 2 before Coliseum 2024? I mean, it depends on how the turnout is for Xenoblade Chronicles 1, I guess, and how that it's also, goes. It's also a much longer game than Xeno... I think it's a much longer game than Xenoblade 1. Uh, let's see what How Long to Beat says. Yeah, so the yeah the, the, the Wii U, at least in the Wii section, can read the uh, ISOs for GameCube games, just not the discs. Xenoblade Chronicles yeah. Definitive Edition, according to How Long to Beat. <coughs> main story, 51 and a half hours. Com uh, main and extra, 79. Completionist, 134. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, main story, 64 hours. Main and extra, 107 hours. Completionist, 253 hours. That is not even bringing uh, Torna into the equation. Or Future Connected for either one. But Future Connected, it looks like it's 8 to 13 and a half hours, so... That's so, yeah. like Two's long. a lot of time. It's just a lot of time. It is a lot. Uh, I don't video, dislike video RPGs, should, but man, I don't have the time to put into them, man. Video yeah. games should be like four hours. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It. If it's a tight four hours of just like, if the entire four hours is like great content, fuck yeah. Give me every game is four hours. 
I'm yeah. gonna okay. pay sixty bucks well, for that though. Thing. Yeah, I would. I would absolutely, absolutely pay sixty dollars for a four-hour game that was just mm. every minute was perfect. I. I mean, I get Tom's point. Like, uh, we're adults that have adult schedules, so we can't put in a hundred plus hours to a game. But if I was still in like grade school or high school and I got given Xenoblade Chronicles two, I would eat up those two hundred fifty-three hours. I'd have a great time. So it's just, you know, relative to your age and your busyness and your schedule. Yeah. It's true. There exists video games for every person in every walk of life, which yep. is good. But man, I like playing short games. I like them because it takes an idea or usually like a mechanic mm. and it just it perfects it. Like, this is what we're attempting to do. This is what we're going to do. Bada bing, bada boom. Doesn't mean that a 200 hour game can't be good. This is, I the, mean, point, this is the part of the stream them. where I played I sweat. Skyrim. I played Fallout. I'm going to say this is the part of the, the stream where I sweat nervously and say that I'm playing Oblivion. I mean, I'm playing, I'm playing Elden Ring right now, and that's also like, okay, I'm at 200 plus hours, and we still haven't, we're not close to beating it yet. But that's what you do like, files, so. Like, is Portal a better game than Skyrim? I mean, uh, it's different. It, honestly, that's, that's apples to oranges, I feel like. Yeah. But if you gave me the option between the two, I would absolutely pick Portal. Yeah. And it's, well, the other, it's also, I mean, that, that sort of thing is accessible, too, because it's three hours. I tried playing Skyrim in, uh, in VR, and uh, they try a lot of things to make it, like, smoother an experience if you're not using like the teleportation thing uh but i gotta tell you first off the world is very gray and dingy and not pleasant to look at so i get depressed while playing it like being immersed in this world that's just gotta be like ugh. the second thing is that like even with all the stuff where it's like where like the the it's supposed to like cut down on, like the, the motion sickness I get more sick playing that game than, than I play with a bunch of other VR games that don't have that motion sickness, like, uh, um, like, aid to it. Yeah. But it is fun, though, being able to stab people as fast as you can stab. That is that is incredible. That That's, like, 100%, <laughs> like, the best thing. I could just, like, hold the heaviest weapons in the game in front of me and just flail and things get grinded up. There is no point to magic in Skyrim VR. I feel like there was barely a point to magic in normal Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, that that's true as well. Pretty much like uh, like unless you were going for like a total mage build, magic was pretty much like you were only using like healing and that was it. Unless you got good at alchemy, in which case you weren't even doing that. I am excited about there be so like just so people know that I do like the long games sometimes. I am excited about playing uh, the next Elder Scrolls at some point. When I, you know, whatever year that happens. Someone in the chat makes a good point. You'll only need three spells for the Mage's College. Huh. The one to get in, which is a choice between of, of like one of three spells. The shield spell for the demonstration that happens, and I don't even know what the last one is. I think you have to blast magic at like the at uh, at like a sphere or something. You you need to ward something, I think. I, I don't remember. Um, what was the other thing I was gonna say? Oh, uh, magic and oblivion is incredibly broken. <laughs> oh, you can make your own spells in oblivion. Oh yeah. Um, uh, I mean, there, there's limits to what you can do, and it is heavily dependent on your skills. But I think there's probably ways around that. Uh. But I have um my the character I play as is uh, is is Krug, uh, an orc. Um, he uh, yep. Dan has been editing that series, so he knows more about Krug than anybody. Probably more, more than I do. Um, <laughs> uh, I got it wasn't one of his main skills, but I got Krug into alchemy, and I called it a sandwich making venture. Uh, but yeah, so I've I've mostly been focusing on conjuration and destruction as my major skills. And I'm on the Shivering Isles right now. I think when I'm done with that, I'm going to focus on a lot of my more minor skills. Because at some point, I want to do every quest. And that's going to involve getting all my skills up to a certain level to unlock the Master uh, the master Trainers. Because those are technically quests. 
Anyway, one of the spells I have for him is just one. It's a very short spell. It lasts for three seconds, um, but it's the perfect spell because time stops while you're talking to people. It's called Friendo Krug, and it maxes out their uh, their um, affinity toward you for three seconds. But there's a lot you can do in three seconds when you're talking to an NPC because time freezes. You can yeah. sell shit or yep. persuade people. So Tom isn't done with the Elder Scrolls 4? <laughs> no. I'm still working on... Uh, uh, when, I got to episode, one. when I got to episode 100, uh, I just finished the Dark Brotherhood on top of... Oh boy, what else have I done at this point? I've done barely any of the main quests at this point. I've done the Fighters Guild, the Mages Guild, the Thieves Guild, um, the Dark Brotherhood, uh, and uh, the Knights of the Nine in terms of like group stuff. And I've done a bunch of other quests, not all the uh, all the Daedric ones. Uh, I still have the arena to go. I still have a ton of Daedric quests. I still have a bunch of quests that are just spread around everywhere. Um, and probably gonna try to like in intend to do like other stuff with that. Probably gonna unequip all my heavy armor because I'm already at um, uh, rank ninety on my heavy armor. Uh, and I'm I'm currently in the Shivering Isles. I have like two side quests left, and they are the worst ones to have left. I have to ga gather 100 calipers and tongs for a guy who wants to make a boat out of them. Don't ask. And um, I have to gather the, oh, the oddities. The goddamn oddities are the worst thing ever. There are 11 oddities in the Shivering Isles that you can just find. Uh, you it's know, like a 1%. It's a 1% chance of them spawning in any container. Uh, for and fortunately, I have the unofficial um, Oblivion patch, which only makes one of them easier. And that one is, uh, there is a, a piece of amber that's that's like a special one for the Oddities Museum, and it only spawns in the Audi uh, in the uh, the amber um, what is it? The amber uh, um, uh, deposits. The amber deposits don't respawn. And the, unless you have the unofficial Oblivion patch, there's a chance that you will never find that oddity. I like I like the Skyrim mod where uh, you can yell. One of the shouts is where you just spawn cheese, and it uses the <laughs> clip of Sheagorath. Cheese for everyone. <laughs> That's a really good one. You're just feeding the dragons so they leave everyone alone. It makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I love Sheagorath. I remember um, bringing Oblivion home uh, whenever it it came out. I bought the the limited edition. I think didn't it get? Am I? Was it Oblivion that I'm remembering? It got re-rated to M briefly because like of a mod. So then there was like I think that was I think it was Morrowind because I think Oblivion was always rated M. That's sounds... I think Oblivion's, Oblivion's rated T. Isn't it? Uh, let's see. Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. Uh, oh, oh, no, you are right. ESRB changes rating of Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion to teen, from teen to mature. Yeah. Uh, let's see. They put, like, a sticker on it, and then I think they had to, they had to like, fix something and then it went back to t I don't know what it was anyway I'm trying to see the reasoning they did that God, I, re I remember when we had to put stickers the adults only stickers on San Andreas because of the hot coffee uh, content yeah I remember we they mm -hmm. sent us specific stickers we had to cover up the games with it was so weird that seems that seems tame by today's standards yeah so I, I remember getting oblivion when it came out and uh it was right around my birthday and um I had had a like a big land party birthday thing, and we all played Halo. And then, this is the best. after like everyone had gone to sleep, it was like me and another guy. I was like, "Hey, you want to see Oblivion? Like, I haven't had a chance to play it yet." And he's like, "Yeah." So we popped it in, and it was like mind blowing. I was like, "Look at these graphics! This is <laughs> this is amazing! Look at the rats! Is that Patrick they're Stewart? Jumping, they're jumping out of the the screen, man!" And, like, when you first exit the sewer and you see everything for the first time outside, it's like, oh, my God, it's beautiful. Do you still have that sticker stuck to your door? Yeah, so uh, I took the, the thing off the Xbox, whatever, 
that was like, hey, oh wait, no, that was that was for uh, that was for Halo Two, but I have an Oblivion poster on my door from before the game came out. I put it on my bedroom door at my parents' house, and I've never taken it down. So there's still an Oblivion poster on my bedroom door. Yeah. And it's been there for, like, two decades. In, and that's uh, fine. Everyone here has played one Elder Scrolls game, right? Nope. You've never played one? No. Oh. I uh, One of my exes played through uh, Skyrim. So I watched a fair amount of Skyrim. But uh, never actually played any of them. It's fine. Yeah, like uh it's the guy who 100%ed it. Yeah, like, I, I like, feel like I feel like he has the most like weight with his words because of that. I mean, yeah. so like I've played uh I've put hundreds of hours of my life into Bethesda games, right? Like I've played a lot of Skyrim, I've played a lot of Fallout. Um and like the 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 the, the Elder Scrolls games are legitimately fun, but they're not polished in a way that some other games are, but they're a little more freeform in a, in a way that some other games aren't. And you have to, like... I don't know. You, It's a very specific experience, and you have to... It has to jive with you. If it jives with you, I think you can really enjoy it. If it doesn't, you should be playing something like The Witcher or whatever, because it is not the most polished experience. I mean, the glitches in that game are kind of part of the fun see the problem is if i ever played through skyrim even though i have like the console versions i would want to play with like all the mods you see like i want i want the macho man randy savage dragons i want the uh the body mods. Big titty. I want okay then, sure then then do that then like experience what? the game that way i i would honest to god i would <laughs> recommend doing it i'm sorry the way you said that was just it was like sound like fine experience the game that way <laughs> <laughs> i mean like so like the video games should be uh enjoyed the way that you want you know if, you, if you're going to if you're going to take the opportunity to play it on pc where you can do anything you want then you should and if that's the way that you want to experience a the game then do it you know because you are going so one of the things that's so exciting about the Elder Scrolls is that you create a character and it is your experience. Your playthrough is going to be different than everyone else's. Why the hell shouldn't your playthrough have Macho Man Randy Savage as a as you know a dragon? Like that makes it even more unique. I say go for it. If I had one mod to recommend, John, uh, mm -hmm. it would have to be that one of my mods uh, altered the unrelenting force shout to be the Quagsire scream. <laughs> nice. There was a while oh. where I, I I wanted to figure out how to make mods and make a um, a pit boy for uh, Fallout Four, uh, like a Steven plays themed, just so you know. But and then it was too complicated. I was like, ah, no. <laughs> if I, if I had to recommend a uh, a mod at least for the start of the game, like switch to Randy Savage afterwards, but. The opening to Skyrim with the Thomas the Tank Engine mod is so goddamn funny. It does actually play the theme too, right? Well, I mean, like that—that's part of it. But better than that is that when you first hear that that first dragon roar, it's a train whistle, really far away. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best. I don't think I could do that because, like, that's my wake-up sound. Is that? And I think it would just mess with me. Oh. Uh, The Macho Man one's good, too, because it's a Macho Man quote from really far away. Whenever um, whenever I played through Skyrim, um, I, I, I had one specific character that I played throughout the entire game, and there's, there's certain parts in Skyrim where you have to make a choice uh, how you're going to, you know, handle a quest, like you have option A or B or whatever. And you get locked out of a few, not very many, but a few quests as a result. So in, in my playthrough, um, I then went back and did the other side of it in like this dream sequence. And uh, I played as my follower who I had had as like the, like the entire game. I had the same follower for like the entire game. And Fandle. then I, Fandel, yeah. Oh, right. And um, uh, my buddy Chaz made a mod where the character I had been using for the entire game, my protagonist, became my follower for that dream sequence. 
It was real fun because I got to experience all the stuff that I hadn't done in the game, but from the eyes of my follower. And there was like a bunch of like custom stuff that we tied it into like the lore of the story. It was really fun. And that sort of thing, that like those sorts of experiences, like that makes Skyrim enjoyable because it is your your story. It is the things that you're going to do and the characters that you're you're going to make. But it's, you know, it is buggy and um and honestly, sometimes it's like not very fair or make much sense. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. Yeah. I've had to use the uh, I've had to use no clip a few times in Oblivion to get myself out of sticky situations. Yeah, yeah, I've got a counter. <laughs> Fortunately, we're still in the single digits on that. I think. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, save uh, save six, often. Six times. Okay, is that including the ones you recently edited for me? Uh, the first two. Okay, yeah. there's, I think there's one more coming up then. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Oh, boy. And will you join us for a bonus stream from our charity marathon? We're currently uh, playing the Netflix instant streaming disc for the Wii. As you can see. It's what are we watching? Netflix logo. Yeah, this is it. We tried loading this it up. It. it threw us an error. Can't believe it. I can't believe the Wii version of Netflix still doesn't work. <laughs> How dare it? I know. I try to give, uh... I try to give Krug some, like, character every now and again in the, the, uh, Oblivion series. But he just, like, every time there's, like, an option that comes up, uh, like, I'll say it in the voice I gave him. Which, uh... Yeah, but basically, I make him sound like the, uh, the, the uh, workers from Warcraft 3. He's a Zug Zug. Yeah. Uh, me, Krug. I make sand... Krug makes sandwiches, and Krug speak in the third person. Um... But, what, what was it? Uh... You know, for, like, the 100th episode, after I did all, like, the Dark Brotherhood stuff, like, Krug, Krug came into the world of Oblivion with, like, with noble intentions, and he did, like, the Thieves' Guild and the, um, uh, the Dark Brotherhood back-to-back, -back. And then at the end of that was like the 99th episode. So he's like, I, I think Krug needs to take a step back from all these things. And uh, and uh, he's got to, he must explore the uh, the Shivering Isles to find himself. And then that was the beginning of that that segment is now I'm in the Shivering Isles trying to find, with Krug trying to find himself. I'm nice. Path to craziness. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's true. Especially with the, Dan, you haven't gotten to it yet, but the when I, when I actively start doing the calipers and tongs thing, um... Yeah, we kind of lose we kind of lose a, a little bit of the sanity <laughs> on that one. Okay. Okay, the person tells. Man, you know I'm missing one Wii game. What game is it? Veg Veggy World. V e g y. V e g g y. Veggie. Well, Veggie? if they if they wanted it. To be it, would, it would be IE if it was veggie. Then they could have spelled it veggie. So I'm pronouncing it veggie. Veggie world we. <laughs> I, I I searched veggie world we, and one of the things people also ask, what is the hardest game on the Wii? <laughs> it I've seen some gameplay of it, and it looks like a flash game. And I'm like, oh, okay. Also 400 bucks, good lord. Yeah, I'm I'm hoping to find it for not that. And it's not I'm not like in a rush to find it. But yeah, all of the all of the the ones that I've seen come from Canada and I feel like it may have been regionally exclusive to Canada. Uh... And I talked to John about it and John said that he found his at his local game store some time ago and there was like three copies or whatever, and I was like, "Okay, well, I've never seen this game." <laughs> there were there were some regional games because there was a few games that like only came out in Mexico on the Wii. Huh. But uh, but does, does, does those start still count towards like the collection that you're going for because of the North American? Yeah, it still counts. Okay. So Canadian and North American and uh, Mexican games do count towards North American games. 
Yeah, average so, price on a uh, price charting for Veggie World is uh is three hundred bucks. Yeah. So like I don't know. I'm hoping to find it cheaper. But we'll we'll see. I've got I've got time. I'm hoping to have the library just complete complete by Extra Life in whenever that is, October. And I'm hope I'm I'd like to also have Wii U finished, but I don't know, we'll see. Oh, what I miss. See we're talking about game collecting now? Yes. We were talking about Veggie World. Oh, you still haven't found that, huh? That's the last game I need. Ah, crap. I feel bad because uh, I got that back when it was like mm, eighty-five bucks here. Yeah, so, it's fine. I I think it's I think it is a uh, regional exclusive to Canada because every time I see it pop up online for sale, it's people in Canada. So I think that's why I've never found it. That might when, be uh, I went to a uh, to a game convention like a few years ago when I first moved to Austin. And I saw a copy of Pokemon Box there, for a completed box for four hundred and twenty dollars, and it now goes for over fifteen hundred. Oh, dude, yeah. no! Uh, there was a booth at PAX East this year, apparently selling just the the normal, not the non-box version, just like the proper case, two thousand, and it Jesus. sold. Yeah. And it sold. Man, I went. I, I went to a uh, a game store a few a few weeks ago. And um, this wasn't our local game store. This was a, another one in, up in North Carolina. And uh, the owner was in there, and I was talking to the owner a little bit because I was picking up some Wii U stuff. And he goes, hey, you, you finishing up Wii U? And I was like, yeah, I'm trying. I was like, we, we basically have Wii done. And, uh, you know, we're, we're just trying to work on Wii U a little bit. And he goes, man. He's like, there's crazy people coming in trying to finish GameCube. And I was like, yeah. He's like, you should have finished GameCube, like, Five years ago, man. And I was like, yeah. I was like, yeah. We we already finished GameCube. He's like, these people are crazy. He's like, do you see how much GameCube games are? I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm I'm glad we're done with it. He's like, man. Anyway, good luck with Wii U. <laughs> I was like, thanks. Yeah, man. Like, if if you, if there is a collection you want to finish now that's affordable, it's like 360. 360 PS3 is the era that you want to hit now because it's gonna start. PS3 is already starting to inch up. It's gonna start spiking. I'm glad I finished. Uh, I'm glad I finished Wii U when I did because I'm pretty sure that's gonna start spiking up in the next decade or so. I'm finishing off SNES right now, and I'm lucky that the majority of the expensive ones I have, because some of them are disgusting, dude. Yeah, my advice. Uh, is and has always been and more than ever continues to be to uh, not collect video games. Yeah, no, mine. that's mine yeah. too. Don't get into collecting. If um, you do, like, just, here's the thing. Everyone don't. says, I'm only going to grab the games I want. I want a specific version of that. Sure, but that's not how collecting works. You get the things you want, and then you're like, well, I mean, this is kind of cheap, I, and it comes with the box. I guess I'll grab that. Oh, well, now I got this, and I guess, you know what? I'm going to finish this series because I like this series. Well, now I guess I've got like a hundred of the games for this. I guess I might as well just work on, like, you know, getting the rest. There's only three hundred more to go, and then I have them all. It's just it just spirals like that. Yeah, <laughs> that is called addiction. I, I'm also I, one glad of the I finished N64 as well. One of the recommendations I would make for folks, especially if like if you want to collect GameCube, like if you're really serious about like, oh, I want to collect gamecube games i mean for one if you can limit yourself to just games that you're genuinely interested in like do that but also uh you can cut down a huge chunk of the library by collecting like the player's choice titles just tell yourself you're only going to collect like the yellow label things because yeah, that's a lot of the good games they're generally cheaper and then that's you completed something because i mean it's true that game that game store owner was right like the the time to get into collecting gamecube was a while ago before the pandemic brought the prices into oh the pandemic made range. collecting awful yes. the pandemic spiked everything yeah a lot of us thought it was gonna have the opposite effect where it's like oh no one's going to con so like everyone's gonna be sitting on products so like it'll be the people will be forced to like lower their prices opposite happened opposite happened yeah anyway just you know play the play the games you want to play don't collect do not just, collect. You know. just don't. Save yourself the grief. If you're like, man, there's this physical version of this game that I really want from this old system that they haven't sold in forever. I don't know. Maybe there's like some other way. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about it. I'm no expert. But, you know, just you'll play it. Find a way. Play it.
Would we want to play the everything? I mean, I mean, there's most stuff can be emulated nowadays. It's the PS3 stuff onwards that kind of can't at the moment. Yeah, and that's where like the best your best bet is. Yeah, and that's why it's still affordable. Yeah, I'm done after Wii U. I'm not collecting Switch. It's crazy. I mean, we Dude, have a lot of Switch is games. insane. So here's the thing: like Limited Run and all those companies have basically made yep. Switch collecting a nightmare. As much as I love the fact that they are making physical copies of games that might never get them, they've glutted the market. There's so many collector's editions, so many different versions for these games now. So if you wanted an actual complete physical collection of Switch games, it's nearly impossible. Yeah, but but also that is, like at its core, that is exclusively like a weird collector's problem. Yeah. So like the general public, it's a good thing. And yeah. like Limited Run, like these companies, or most of the companies now, they're not making a limited amount it's just for a limited time so like if if you are on their mailing list and they send you an email and they're like hey we're making a physical version of this game and you're a fan of that game pick it up spend 30 dollars yep. or whatever and get the game because they're not doing like oh there's only 1200 like they they make them for like a month or whatever and i think that's great for most people it is bad for people like john and i who have um these brain diseases yeah. uh, but <laughs> for everyone else it like it's actually you know it's a good thing yeah, like that, here, yeah. let me let me put this into perspective for Switch. Uh, my physical Switch collection right now is 325, and that is probably not even like would you say like a quarter of them of the games oh, out there for Switch for physical? Absolutely, because it there's there because it's not just limited run. It's it's limited run and it's strictly super rare. Limited, super rare. Strictly limited. There's so many of these companies that can do this and have gotten the permissions or the licensing or whatever to do it and they have done it and limited run makes them for a certain amount of time other companies do only make certain numbers so like there are so few of these games that and the the prices for them are crazy out of the gate so as soon as these things are done selling they're worth insane amounts of money yep and the thing that sucks is i've been into a lot of game store i've traveled around and seen in game stores the game stores are stocked with them. Like they're buying them and they're putting them in the stores and they're super expensive. And presumably people are buying them. <laughs> yeah. No, like my local shop has a shit ton of like limited run stuff. Yeah. And they tend to go for high prices and they do decently tend to sell. Although uh they overbought on some stuff that came late and I don't think that's been moving as fast, but yeah. Like limited run, I I love the concept behind them, but they have glutted the market. So from a collector's aspect, it kind of sucks. Yeah, get on the get on the the newsletter for these sites if you're interested in owning like a specific physical game, and that's how I've been doing it. It's like I don't try to collect Switch, but if something comes across my inbox and it's like, oh no, they that would be really cool to own, I get it. I bought a. I'm trying to think when they when they announced that I bought the collector's edition to um, Nice Deal Republic. Yeah, like that. That see, that's cool. I, I can't remember what exactly it comes with, but like when I saw it, I was like, I have to get this. I'm also really excited about the uh, the KOTOR remake that's coming out. Yeah. Is that KOTOR 2 or 1? One. 1. Oh, wow. I wouldn't mind KOTOR 2 either because that's kind of a lost, lost gem. And the initial run of KOTOR 2 shipped incomplete. So it'd be nice to see a completed version of KOTOR 2. Although, it's kind of worrying when their advertising for KOTOR 2, when it first came out, was the sequel to this award-winning game. That was a fast 30 minutes. Yep. Yeah, yeah, Talked a lot about the Elder Scrolls and game collecting. Tom, are you going to replay Durindo Tachyon again? For KOTOR 2? I think it's a different character in that game. No, 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 I mean for the remake. Oh, the remake? Uh, I might make a different character. We'll see how the character creation is. If I can make a really stupid-looking character, then yes. Yeah. Uh, if, if it's presets like before, then I probably will remake Rindo Tachyon. Well, hey, at least KOTOR 2 is widescreen. <laughs> there is that. I fa actually, uh... I got into the modding scene for KOTOR 1, there was a widescreen mod that I probably could have done the whole time. <laughs> I know, I saw I saw it whenever, like, I think you did, like, a stream on it I was streaming something. the dark side run of it, yeah. I was a little upset, but it's... <laughs> okay. Alright. 
This is Shadow Showdown, I believe. Still got them amiibo. Speaking of which, I think uh, the Min Min Smash Amiibo went on sale. Or not on sale, but up for pre-order. Oh, this is the Fairly Odd Parents. Yeah. Tom, Man, are you, I have uh... vague, vague, vague memories of this show. I remember this show pretty well. It was enjoyable. But, like, I only watched, like, the first couple seasons, so I didn't see when that's, they had a kid. That, and and that's all, all, that, that is all you need, my friend. Fairly Odd Parents! Very good, parents! Timmy was an average kid. And he's no walking to school understand. one day. <laughs> and then he fell into a magic puddle and something and then an average. Look man. at Buff Cosmo! And we got, he we gotta got play Buff Cosmo difficulty. There's no way around it. And em he got struck by lightning. Emergency! It's dark! Is this Game Boy Color? Is yeah, Game Boy Dance. Gems are gone! TV! Poof! Poof! Go that way! Yeah, I knew! You go that way. This is this is a fever dream. With wow, the, that with was the... it. That was the story. There was no text on screen at all. I'm gonna be honest, I feel maybe a little lost. You go that way. Game. I'll go home. Here you go, here's password. LZ9X0B. That's an eight. That's an eight? Is that an eight? I think it's an eight. I think oh, that's shit. two Bs. You're right. That might. You're right. That is probably an eight and not a zero. <laughs> My name is Zachary with a B, and I'm afraid of insects. Wait, where is it? Where's what? The B. There's a B. No. Oh. I want the damn. I want the gem. You're gonna die. Killing enemies plays the Fairly Odd Parents theme song. Nope, I died. Two tries left. Game over! Here comes the Crimson Chin! Oh my god. He gets winded if you run. He literally as has to stop. Any, as, as would any eight-year-old. Yeah, no, he, he runs and then he literally, you can't move. You're stuck in place. So if you miss your jump, you're in trouble. When Israel was in Egypt's land. <laughs> he's carrying that boulder, good lord. Everyone's giving me saying he's 10, so that's why he can't run. It's still a video game. You shouldn't be stuck oh, in place. Oh, oh. He's 10, so he can't run. He must be yeah. one lazy ass kid then. I was going to say, like, have I, you met 10 year olds? They can run a fucking lot. It's a, it's a fun little child fact. Uh, children don't get the ability to run until they're about 12. It's one of those things you lose access to when you grow old. There's really only a two-year window you can run. From 12 to 14, you you can run, and then it just it's all downhill. Speaking of downhill, uh, it's, it's telling me to switch to Cosmo, but Cosmo, I can't. Cosmo, yeah. You have to use your morph ball form. It, it won't let me... It, L is not working. Is my controller broken? You gonna do something, Cosmo? It literally will not switch. Uh, hang on, let me unplug and plug back in my controller. Oh, wonder. Yeah, Wait, L's not doing anything. So, someone says to try to stand on the slope. Further down, maybe. Oh, we'll, I have to. Be, it, I have to move. Apparently. Oh, uh, someone's saying that that you'll change form uh, when he does, because he turned into a soccer ball, like uh, for for a brief moment. Not there, I guess. Inconsistency, <laughs> love it. Scramble Gone. the fairies! Gone!
That was good. Oh, That's a hole. Like that. Oh. Well, goopy man. Maybe playing on buff Cosmo mode was not the best idea. I can't. It's because I don't seem to hold on to my health for very long. And those gems are uh, surprisingly murderous. Very, very aggressive gems. Oh, cool. Well, that made it much better. Thanks. Thanks, Wanda. <laughs> I'll help. Here's a horror beyond your comprehension. That throws garbage at you. Why do they jump sometimes and safe. other times they don't? Oh, they're pretty rounded corners. Pretty inconsistent, boss. I feel like the fairies should move the box for you. You'd think. Yeah. <laughs> Timmy Turner, move the boxes yourself. You are a weak human boy. I almost landed on him. Yeah, I wonder if that would have killed Timmy if oh, you transformed him into an anvil on top of him. Probably would have. And I think I'm almost dead now. Oh, I thought your health was the... Clovers? Clovers. No, that's the magic. Wanda, you want to... Either of you want to help? Either of you want to help? Thank you. Yeah, your health is the Clovers. Yeah, your health is the Clovers. Is it? Yeah. So you got another health bar. Okay, that's good at least. What dictates you jumping? There we go, now you won't for a bit. Frog! <laughs> that face of... Uh... Oh, I think you... Are you invincible while you're the frog? I think I am. Kind of a good thing. <laughs> Come on, Wanda. You I have absolutely no things. idea where I'm going, by the way. You Wanda doesn't me. seem very creative. She's just like, always anvil. Uh, is uh, every just, enemy just turns just into the... a specific thing. Yeah, just the the anti-fairies. I think because the uh, the gems uh, turn into like whatever oh. these globs are. Oh, I, I thought that was insta-death. Me too. But All right, still, sweet. I mean, Man-made horrors behind my beyond my comprehension. God. Looks like you oh. got a ball your way down there. This this is a game. Can we be sure? I'm not. How many levels are there? <laughs> I don't know. I think we're still on stage one, technically. I'm curious what actually got this game on the list. Like, was it just, did they expect this to be the console one? Uh, were they just nostalgic for it as a kid? I'm legit curious. Does this have Game Boy, Game Boy connectivity? Maybe. Big-headed Cosmo! Now big-headed Timmy. I'm a balloon! Oh. Okay, it's saying, it's saying seven hours. Seven hours? Wow. To beat? Yeah. That's very impressive. Nine if you're completionist. I would have guessed two. Oh, boy. I mean, if they thought this was the PS2 version, they didn't check the back loggery. That's also fair. Yeah, just like, I only have the one, right? I want the big star. Give me the big star. Get out of here. Bird. Oh, for fuck's sake. Neither of these are better. This is... <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> 
I don't- the music isn't helping either. I, like, it feels like a fever dream. <laughs> the music at least feels like it's out of the show, though, for the most part. Almost full health. What is- what is the- oh, okay. Damn it! Someone who can't run, he sure can throw. Yeah, build the pyramid, Timmy. <laughs> oh god. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? This is like a significantly worse Kirby game. Six, five, four, three, two. Bonus stage. I guess. Did this area specifically, like right here, reminds me of um parts of uh, Great Cape Offensive. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. All right, Elvis, get out of here. Is that Bob? Yeah, it's supposed to blow these yeah. up. Yeah, wow. Oh, he comes back. Wow. Yeah, because he has he to blow back. this up. Not close enough. There we go. Oh. What was the point of blowing those up? I got stars out of them. That's it. Okay. <laughs> oh, good. Dude, I don't even know like what to say about this. Like, I can't. I, there's nothing I can think of to say about it. It's I, just, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just like, I'm just, I'm, I'm in awe. I'm just uh, in awe by this game. Okay, you got so two hits left. Important conversation. No, I, I got six hits left. What's your favorite melon? Water. Uh, I'm watermelon is pretty good. I also like honeydew. I abstain from this question because everyone knows the answer already. This is not a sexual question. It is about fruit. Are there vegetable melons? No. No, all, all melons are fruit. All melons are fruit. Do, does anyone like cantaloupe? How do you feel about cantaloupe? Cantaloupe's all right. I, no, I, I, I like yeah. watermelons. Legit, if, joking aside, I like watermelons. Nobody likes... Nobody I, that's how I feel about cantaloupe, too. I'm very lukewarm on cantaloupe. I'm like, eh. I don't think anybody actually likes cantaloupe. If it's in a fruit mix, I'll eat it. But I, I'm not going to go out of my way to be like, give me the cantaloupe. Yeah. Dude. Honey, they're also like weirdly hard to like to prepare too. I like watermelon, but also I associate watermelon with with summer and cutting off big slices and walking around in the yard eating watermelon with, with salt. This looks real stupid. Any, anybody who's played this like in the chat, because there's there's at least one person because they they voted for it for this. Is he on the right track with You're this? You're not supposed to do that. Is there a way that the the fairies can carry the maybe bomb? I have, maybe I have to finish all the houses first before that unlocks, maybe? Oh, I'm almost dead. Thank God you're alive. Oh, people are asking what other games. Yeah, so we have uh, this game, and then we have Custom Robo. That's, that's it for the games tonight. Yes. Next yep. time we do one of these, we've got a bunch on the docket. Dan, feel free you to read this out. Want me to read off, John? Go for it. We got Lifeline, which I am excited about immensely. Sexy <laughs> post. Sexy um, <laughs> Dragon Quest Heroes, Rocket Slime. That's uh, a great Sonic, game. Sonic Chronicles: The Dark Brotherhood. Uh, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Uh, which Mario and Rabbids. Play. Rabbids. Oh. Like man, Rabbids. I missed that crossover. <laughs> uh, Yahoo! Now you die. I mean, I'd uh, 
Warhammer, uh, Warhammer 40,000, Space Marine. Uh, Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Monster Hunter Rise, Sonic Mania, and Indivisible. And uh, Ark the Lad. Ark the Lad returns Twilight yet again. Of the... Twilight of the Spirits. Now, we also had a, a little bit of a mix up with the donations as well. We had some come in after the buzzer. Uh, so there were two games that would have actually shifted around because of that. Uh, we had, uh, what were they? Uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever and Yakuza, you know, Yakuza Dead Souls. So we might, as a separate thing, not tied to having everyone else join in and not extending the stream length, might just have it so that I just do those two on like Cookie or something. Oh, what, why what is you... happening? Why did he turn into a Freddy Fish character? I don't know, but it did not accomplish anything. I'm a light girl. Do you have, like, you have like an ability or something? Oh, I can kill. Yeah, I can kill those things now. You're a, you're a light bulb. Oh, I thought it was a light bulb with the head of a chicken. <laughs> no, it's just the uh, the fairly odd parents overbite there. That's just how these games are. Only light can Are remove these... the darkness. <laughs> Timmy has such a huge fucking head. Oh, yeah. Go on up, Elvis. I want that. I want to go to there. Oh. Oh, John. Elvis, why? Ow. Elvis Vibrate killed me. me, Elvis. <laughs> you don't even really die. You just, you just look sad. I'm pretty sure that's a health extension, so I was trying to get it. This is a... Uh, this is one of those games where, like, I think, man, this cannot go on for much longer, and, like, I looked at the clock, and it was, like, five minutes. <laughs> it's 15 yeah, but, minutes now, but the first time it happened was at the very beginning. Yeah, the fact that I went to how long to beat, and it took seven hours, I was like, how? Again, that might have been the PS2 version. We don't know, but... Uh... Do you want me to look up a password for this game so we can see the final boss? That might be interesting. No, John, you have to earn it. <laughs> Seven hours. <laughs> Congratulations. You... Oh, what was it? You not only cheated, you not only cheated at the game, but you cheated yourself. Oh, that was the PS2 version. The seven-hour one is the PS2 one. Yes. Yeah, look up a long play for this one. Oh, then what are the clovers for? Are they just regular health heals then? Yeah, the the the, the pieces of clover are are a, a quarter health heal, and the four leaf ones heal Powerful. you for one for four of those bars. Right, I forgot about the horseshoe was actually What's what got us the health extension. Called? Shadow Showdown, the Fairly Odd Parents. Shadow Is... Showdown GBA long term. Shaolin Showdown. This one's like 46 <laughs> minutes. Uh, long play archive, three and a half hours. Oh, never mind. Wait, that's GameCube. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's less than an hour. Nice. Well, with them not having any dialogue in the cutscenes, I'm not entirely shocked. Like, there's several long plays. This one's 47 minutes, this one's 43 minutes. Yeah, you can- Remember that guy who tried to transform into a bomb in order to get up that area? Yeah. What if he just rid his head up? And like, and jump past the, the, the block? He didn't go high if enough. It'll let you. I actually had to go- I'm already past that area. I had to oh, just go oh, in all, okay. the, all the houses. You know, I feel like it's a waste of magic to go from inside the house to outside the house. You know? No? Okay. Well, I mean, what do you mean? He goes through a door. No, God. no, no. When, whenever you collect all the stars, they teleport you to outside the house. Well, because when, I think when you go in the door, the door, the, ha the door disappears. Unless it's like on the back, on the wall like that we were looking through. Yeah, but God. either way, it's. It seems I can't like... land on these fucking giant diamonds. It's weird. Like my actual hitbox for landing on them is surprisingly tiny. You're 
gonna have nightmares about this bass line. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be revenge for all the times that you uh you uh, woke Dan up with a guitar. I think that happened only twice. Uh, it, was, it was years uh, apart. Uh, uh, a handful of times. Certainly not. Well, okay, so there you had uh, you had one that I remember where the lyric was th 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 by this point it's tradition. So I think it's been at least 3. Yeah. It's possible. He just doesn't want to admit it at this point. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Bold of you to assume that I remember. <laughs> luckily, uh, luckily like Steven, uh, Steven's lack of memory is gaslighting Dan. It's Yeah, it's luckily true. Luckily, none of the places where we like ended up staying at the same place overnight, there was had a guitar. A, so had a guitar. Yeah, uh, like Steam didn't, or didn't, didn't have a guitar you, in the room. Could you imagine that during <laughs> during your trip to Japan? Yeah, I just like, hey, I bought a Japanese guitar. I, I, bu I bought a shamisen. <laughs> I mean, that would be cool. Oh, hey, Dan, we're in New York. I bought a guitar from a guy off the street how would i get a guitar home that would be a wild purchase in a, in a guitar case <laughs> you know what you walked into that one steven i mean that's true i mean like they literally make travel cases for them that's how musicians can do their job well yeah oh, but... heart shells know, how does uh, like... how do, how, do, how do you how do you think jules does it Steven. I I I own several guitars. I'm aware of the concept of a guitar case. Are you are you uh, do you have the concept of, but you don't have the concept of traveling with a guitar? No, absolutely not. Like you'd have to pay. So how do you think Jules That's, does it? See my whole thing is like how do I fit whatever I purchased into my bag so I don't have to pay extra? Oh, well, that's, I mean, oh. that's fair. <laughs> I thought that's, that's how I live my life. How do I fit everything into a bag? Everything's got to fit oh my into God. a bag. Tom, I couldn't hear you for a second, and I thought you said, how do you think Jewel does it? Like, the... The musician the, the Jewel. <laughs> or, the, uh, or the company that makes vapes? No, the... Um, isn't there some artist named Jewel? Yeah, from, like, the 90s. Um, yeah. It's like... The only, like, 90s artist I know that ends with an L is Seal. He's wow, gonna, that's very he, specific. He's going to compare you to a kiss from a rose on the gray. Ooh. The more I get of you, the stranger it feels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah oh, really makes that. <laughs> yeah. Um, we should do karaoke. You became. Oh, uh, like a, a spoken version of that song? Dude, my favorite thing to do back in the day when I used to do character with friends was spoken word, spoken word version of songs. Wait, what? Did you die? No. My neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. Hey, spoken word. That's just. That's just William Shatner. Yeah, you know, that's it. Like we would Shatnerify songs. Yeah. So like we did, we yeah. did like Titanic. Stuff like that. Or my heart will go on rather. I like I like it thinking about that the lyrics are somehow involved Titanic. See the, the lyrics are actually <laughs> about the boat. People just don't know that. That is so annoying. Why is that even like that? Because licensed video game. Okay, oh, I made a poor oh, decision! Last try! It's like a it's like a Sims song. Yeah, kinda. I think I got an extra oh, life. You mean like when you're in the edit mode and you're like building the house? Yeah. 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 I hear it. No, that got, sound is so that. when so the stars fill up the the star meter there, and then when that fills up, I get a bunch of health back. 
Oh. So that's what that jingle is every time you hear it. You know, John, you have a tremendous amount of patience for terrible games. I really do. I don't know why. I, I, I just want to commend <laughs> you for it. Like, I've known that about you, but, like, it really shines here. I just, I assume it's just because as a kid, it was just like, well, I only, I only, I have to, I, I explained this to my, uh, my audience the other day, like, the places I was around to rent games, you only got to rent a game for a day. So, you had to make it fucking count. So there's only been ever in my life one game I ever, like, rented and returned. Every other game I just, I stayed with it the whole time and tried, so. So as a result, I've, I put up with a lot of shit in games. Might be why nowadays I got my patience is so thin for a lot of it, uh, for modern stuff, because it's like, God, this is just annoying in a different way. Timmy I mean, is another thing that everyone can't stand. <laughs> yeah, Mother. The flip side also is that um, the older you get, uh, the more you realize you're going to die. And, uh, <laughs> and you, want, you want your time on this earth to be spent doing something that you truly enjoyed because the moments of happiness uh, truly are fleeting. Nihilist I, Stephen I, I'm, George, I'm ladies glad, and gentlemen. I'm glad Fairly Odd Parents is where this discussion's coming from. <laughs> noted, noted Nihilist Stephen George. <laughs> you know, so like, you have to ask yourself when you boot up uh, this game for Game Boy Advance, you know, is this is this how you wanted to spend 30 minutes of your life? Is this how I want to die? How I want to die, or this is like how I want to die, or how I am going to die. <laughs> I feel, like, I we, I feel like we know the truth to that. Steven, Steven's. Uh, how are you going to die, Steven? You, um, have a, you have a choice here. How are you going to die? I have a choice. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to die. Oh, it's a I boss! Live. Is this oh the end boss? Oh my god, bosses? Oh my god, what the fuck is this? Oh, stay the light bulb because you don't seem to take damage for some reason. Do you need to use Wanda to transform those balls? Well, I can only do that as as Timmy. That was it. That was the boss. You gra and uh, you only grabbed the yellow gem. Ah! Monkey amok! Monkey. Well, we're here now. <laughs> oh, okay. For some reason, we decided to go and go to Chester's house. Monkey, you're in my new platform. Oh no, you're you're holding onto my head. Okay. Oh, he's uh, he's smitten. I know he's spitting. Spitting mad rhymes. All right, do we want to? Well, we're running low on time here. Do we want to try the final boss? Sure. Why the fuck not? All right. Our yeah, current if our you, current password if you is beat it. <laughs> JQ5X8L. I almost swear that's the same password. I feel like went back to the title screen and it, uh, title screen and it's like completion one percent. Exclamation. B exclamation. B exclamation. L yeah, B shift then one. B. Oh, good, New York. Wood dam. I don't know what this does. Why I can't does Cosmo jump. Have, why is Cosmo a cat? I, Maybe you. Can what does this power do? Maybe you can just crawl up the wall in front of you. I've tried. Yeah, up. Oh, can you burrow like a cat? <laughs> you know. I common cat technique. I don't can know what to do. The, try, try transforming the anvil and luring it over there. Ooh, that's smart.
Can you turn into Wanda or whatever? Yeah. Have Wanda hit the anvil. Oh, that's probably oh, it's it. I, I turn into a cat and it chases me. Maybe? So you, you turn it go straight to the boss. And then you, you, and then you the turn it back, level. and then you gotta turn it back into the. Except it goes away really fast. Good lord. Yeah. Oh my god. And I also can't use Wanda's abilities when Cosmo has me transformed. A lot of. Lot, I, I mean, I know there's like the rules, but that's a lot of limitations for wish granting fairies. On top of that, it just goes back. Flipsy just acts on his own whims. That seriously was not far enough. Maybe with... Well, hang on. I'm, my running cycles hang on. I Can I not jump and run at the same time, or is it just because there's so much startup? I think that run isn't even doing anything. It's just a sound. Just a That's, little sound that It's plays. making me hit the wall. I think we're at time, by the way. Look, up at the sky, it's Super F. We solved the mystery of the anvil dog. Too bad hey. we're probably not gonna get to the boss. Oh, hi, robot man. Oh, now I'm in a TV. I guess. I my TV. Man, this is a lot. You're in an ant farm. Oh, no, I see the static. Yeah, it's a TV. This is just... Amy, are you okay? All right, well, you know what? I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Yep. Yep. Amy, are you okay? All right, which means time for the last game of the night, Custom Robo. For the GameCube? Yep. That's the one. Jesus. Custom main story is nine hours. Completionist, 19 and a half. Yeah, because there's a lot of parts you can get and you have to do them in specific ways. And I think there's another playthrough you can do. I forget. It has been a while since I have beaten that game. But unfortunately, my save does not persist because the memory card I had it on was lost to time. Oh. Stefan, hey, Stefan, Stefan Gorge and Dan Sitinbrin. What is yeah. your favorite extra life moment? Oh, the moment, um, either cre the creation of Peggy or the creation of, um, Skin Dog. Cindy. Cindy, yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, the creation of Peggy is pretty high up there. I... But also, oh, Steven and I on the babies last year, or two years ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was really good. Imagine party babies. Yeah. 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 Wild. Most recently, I, I enjoyed getting a chance to play Tetris with my feet. Oh, yeah. That was that was interesting to see. And I hope that I never again have to play Tetris with my feet. Oh. Because you've said that, you know it's you know what's going to happen this year for Extra Life. I'd rather not. Oh, I... Star Maybe another Wars. game with my feet. Star Wars was also fun. I oh, became also a car. Cold Stone. Cold Stone Creamery. Oh, oh. and then I got stuck on uh, Final Fantasy for like a uh, full half, half hour. Oh, and, and when um, uh, whatever island, Amazing Island, put a, um, a dick on our creation. Yeah, we didn't even Oh, on, wait, on Skin Dog? Yeah. I, yeah. I almost died. I was laughing so hard. It was hard. great, man. The game generated that creature and was like, What if it had a penis? <laughs> oh, God. The custom Robo. For some reason, I was like, This doesn't look like Chibi Robo. No, 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 no. Custom Chibi Robo. Robo two. Oh, yeah, it was a horn. It horn. It's not a lying test, it's a license uh, test. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't get all this robo-mumbo-jumbo. 
In order to work as a bounty hunter, you need a Class D license. I'm gonna take that test. He's gonna be Boba Fett! It's all crazy talk to me, but it sounds like if you don't pass this test, you won't keep your job? Yeah, that's right. Well, that's terrible. Hurry up and get going. Yeah, uh, where was it again? I think it was some place called the Department of Licensing Test Hall. Let's go to the right when you leave. <laughs> some of the chat says Chibi Robo, but the aliens won. <laughs> Something about this game's look reminds me of uh, Pokemon Coliseum. I was going to say Gale of Darkness, but yeah, same, one of same, the, the two. Same difference, yeah. Like, oh my god, look at Harry's face. Like, so the models... Strange, that's a cute name. Go on, how about it? Tell me your phone number. <laughs> so they were to, you know, happen to you, I can rescue you. I don't even give you a discount. A discount? A Is discount? that supposed to... Oh, that's you... supposed to impress me. Still, you've got kind of a naive charm. See, I'm charming. Yeah, right down here. Oh, I can this... jigger blast you. So I didn't know you were there. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I got you registered. Leave the rest to me and go take your test. All you gotta it do now is... also big, um, fantasy star online vibes, too. Yeah, well, because it's all about, like, holograms and stuff like that, so it makes sense. Yeah. Well, it also kind of reminds me a little bit of, like... I, I'm getting, like, like F-Zero GX vibes from this, too. Well, I mean, this Pretty much every game, era. every GameCube game that takes place in the future, I'm getting the vibes of. Will you start the test? And oh, just wait, a wait. hint, uh, just a hint of Cubics robots for everyone. I, I'm really curious if this font is used in these other games too, because the font is throwing me a little bit. One, th one thing I noticed uh, between Harvest Moon and Tulip is that Natsume uses a very distinct font. I know nothing about Cubics except for the f theme song, chat. Cubics powers beyond compare! Nice. Why Why are they Why are they all wearing um, blackjack dealer hats? Uh, because they didn't want to make d distinct characters. And it's the future. In the future, oh, the future not too far away. Yeah, in the future, everyone's a blackjack dealer. <laughs> Robots for everyone! Cubics. Instead of rock, paper, scissors, you play blackjack. Because, Daniel, welcome to the future! The future. The future. The future. Nice. Wow! Are you going to take a driver's test? Yep. Yeah. Well, this is yeah. my bounty hunting test. First test is knowledge. Please select the right answer. What is the name of a person who controls a custom robo? A driver. Uh, I think it's commander. What is it called when a person and his robo become one? It's a dive. Uh, what the hell is alive? What is it called when your robo is in its easy to carry form? Robo Q. Uh, Briefcase. I like Robo Dude, though. That was a great option. What's the custom Robo Research Center also known as? Uh strip club. Lavatory. Lavatory. Le Which license class do you need to join the police guy? Oh, thank god I asked that. What is the name of the no arena money, where custom robos do... fight? Uh, Coliseum? Oh, actually shit. Gotta do research. It's actually Holocene. Shadow of the Holossus. PRG Coliseum. What is the name of the machine that transfers custom robo data? How do you know Sperm all this? extraction device. Parts generator? Pe Thank God. Peanut. Which of the following Give is an actual custom this? robo pod? Pod. Pork. The proper name John, of this testing hall is, is called the brain? custom robo uh, department of licensing. Department of Fish and Game. What question department. number are we on? Oh, fuck off, 10th. End of questions. Knowledge test complete. Please wait for your results. John, how... In God's name, <laughs> do you just know these things? Let's fucking go. You passed the knowledge test. John, how, what is happening? John. Yeah, I haven't played this in years, but John, I genuinely remembered a lot of that. And to be fair, a couple of those questions, we literally just walked up to people and they told us. That's why I paused before I, I did the test and talked to the NPCs. I'm like, wait a minute. Something's not right here. So it's a good thing I did that. Hey, Jimmy, before you take your driver's test, just casual talk. Did you know you have to stop if there's a school bus without a median? I mean, that's pretty much what John, just happened. You know yeah. Steven, I bet you could recite like a vast majority of the Earthbound script. 
Um, I mean, I don't. I have yeah. not played this game as much as he's played Earthbound, though. Yeah, that's my that's my take on this. I don't think this is John's Earthbound. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there is a thing that is my Earthbound. All right, Superman. That's, that's the Robo Bomber. Well, Bomberman. Like that's, that's the same gameplay over multiple games. Oh no, I said Superman. Oh, Superman. Yeah, no, God no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Ninja Gaiden, a lot of people in chat are saying. I mean, that's yeah. a that's a 20 minute game, though. <laughs> you probably still... beaten it as many times as Steve has beaten Earthbound. Again, it's a 20 minute game. Exactly. I don't know if that says more about you or me. Or I think I you think if me. you added to up all the times I've beaten Ninja Gaiden, it doesn't equal the length of one Earthbound playthrough. A lot of GameCube games have like this very specific style to them. I, I can't like put my finger on it. Like, so, it's like futuristic, but I, I could not tell you like what in what regard it, it, the, the futurism is coming from. Oh, this is not what I imagined gameplay to be. Oh no, it, it's a battle arena game. It's actually pretty cool. Like, Custom Row was actually like a super neat series. I just wish we'd gotten more. Over here, because we only got like two games, I think, in the series over here. Custom Robo and Custom Robo Arena. Yep. I imagine like the typical like Gundam game. Where I mean, like... it basically plays like a Gundam game, if we're being but... real. Gundam. Well, well, I, guess I, I guess I just mean like the camera, where it's like always right above. Oh yeah, you expected like a behind the camera action game. <laughs> yeah, thanks yeah, for the yeah. thanks for the poll, by the way. Does that say more about Steven or John? <laughs> and it was very much in Steven's favor. Steven, wait, at 89%. How was it uh, does that say more about Steven or John? But wait, does what say more? Is it. What does it mean? <laughs> the Earthbound versus Ninja Gaiden debate. Not yeah, debate, okay. but comparison. I've played through Earthbound, like, start to finish. Mmm. Like 30 or more times, and I've played the ending of Earthbound a hundred times. Also, I <laughs> I think I was only able to form uh, memories of video games until I was like, eh, like 17. So now when I play video games, I just forget them immediately. That's not true. You go back to play Pokemon, you still remember, like, Greg and Jitters. Uh... You were not 17 when you played those. I mean, I was... Yeah. I was 9 when I played Pokemon. <laughs> not when you played that Let's Play. No, but I remember... I don't... You were 22 when you played Scrum. I, rem I remember those two. <laughs> I don't remember any other ones. <laughs> Damn, we do you not to remember anything you? from Chulip? John, did you name the character question mark, question mark, question mark? Yes. Perfect. I don't remember the actual context <laughs> from when I did it. It was stream-based. I remember that. And I think it was because the game didn't start you with a name on your character, so everyone kept saying question mark to your name. So I was just like, yeah, my name's question mark, question mark, question mark. It reminds me of... Um... Some people in uh when they played Pokemon Gold and Silver, they thought that uh that the rival's name being question mark question mark question mark was like a quiz. And then when you when you got to uh to what was it? When you got back to like the police officer and they asked his name, it's like, okay, I remember this. His name was question mark, question mark, question mark. And that's just like everyone thought that that was it. That that was his uh his actual name. Uh, triple call me triple quest. Huh? Get up! Hurry up and go to work. Go to work, you lazy bum! God, I love the future. Look at those slippers. In the I... future, everyone's feet are huge. Like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Remember when, when the Kingdom Hearts 4 uh, trailer dropped? <laughs> Everyone like saw like Sora's feet and they're like, why does he wear those giant shoes then? They're being awful. 
awfully loud this morning. I think he's compensating for something. No, you're curious. It's not right to go poking around in other people's business. I'll do it later. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, and not, the writing in this game is actually like really tongue in cheek. It's actually really funny. Walton well, Carnaby awfully loud this morning. Yeah, I wonder what's going on. Don't get any ideas or you'll get be late. Sorry, and go to work. I'm I'm very I'm very curmudgeon about the state of Kingdom Hearts, as you all well know. Good morning. I'll play oh, them, I'll enjoy oh, them, yeah. and I will complain about them. Did you back your apartment, huh? There's a married couple fighting over your apartment building, and they're using robos. We got a call from the landlady. She said it's out of her control. She requested you specifically. I thought so. Hey, Harry, go with him. Let him fight. Sounds like a crummy job. Uh, he'd handle it by himself. I'm totally bummed out. I had my chance yesterday, and I blew it. Stop complaining and go! Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll go. Oh, Did Trish. he lose the phone number? Yeah, and that's actually what caused the whole fight. Uh, so, when he ran away last night, the phone number fell out of his pocket and landed in front of the apartment building. And uh, the wife is blaming the husband on cheating because she found the phone number. And that's what we're going to go deal with right now. Are there any custom robo reps in Smash Brothers? There are, I believe, spirits and trophies. Uh, the assist, yeah, assist trophies. That Ray Mark 2 or Mark oh, 3 yeah, was yeah. one in Brawl? Or was it, uh, 4? And that's the, the Mii costumes. I think too. it's an Ultimate. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, I think the, uh, I think Ultimate has that one as well. He's quite a hunk of man. Get me his number, will you? <laughs> that's sweet of you. Can we talk about the job here? What's going on? All oh, right, right. Well, and his white are fighting, and it's gotten crazy. They're using their robos to fight, and their children are crying. I tried to stop them, but I don't know a thing about robos. You know that. I didn't have a clue how to stop them. That's why I called Stolen Horse. I also wanted to see what you're like when you're at work. Uh, uh, thanks. Oh, Raymark Three was only in bra uh, in Brawl. I thought I thought there was another custom robo one in a later Smash game. Mm, no, I, I think if it well, if it was, it would have been the exact same one. Man, this is bad. Let's wrap this up quickly. I'll stop the husband. You go handle his wife. I've turned the safety switch on so that nobody gets hurt. What's a safety switch? It's a switch that decreases your robo's power to prevent you from hurting your opponent. The switch is on the robo cube. If you turn the safety switch on and dive, the safety me mechanism will automatically kick in. It won't look any different, though. Okay, I'll turn on the safety switch. Let's do it. Let's get this over quick. So they fought with the intention of killing each other? Possibly. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> ah, what? You're taking his side. Don't mess with me. I'll beat you to a pulp with my God, metal ape. teeth. It's a metal grappler. Metal grappler? The metal grappler has extremely high defense. It's hard for it to get knocked down, but since it moves slow, I'm having a hard time dodging attacks. I can only do one air dash. I usually focus on attacking rather than worrying about a little damage. Got it? Why are you telling me this? What? You don't like the way I explained my every strategy? Well, I'll just go over it again until you do like it. Got it? <laughs> Got it. Huh? Why am I explaining all this to you? Like I said, very, very tongue in cheek. All right, that's her robo. And we can customize our parts. Um, for the most part, I think our body is... Uh... Oops, I actually went to practice. Retire. So you can pick like the body type you have. We only have somebody unlocked. We have Criminal. Ooh, the smooth Criminal? And obviously Rayo 1. I wish one. I could choose my body path. They have... <laughs> You all right, Dan? Yeah, I'm fine. You sure? <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'm great. All right, we got long thrust legs. Increases your dash distance. Oh, you know it. Am I for standard? That's the long thrust, baby. We have feather. Decreases jump speed. Makes you less vulnerable to attacks when landing. Also helps to make sharp turns on the ground. Use a set of legs when you want to spend a lot of time in the air. 
And use the set of legs to drastically change the ground distance between you and your opponent. Sure, let's go with that. I have a cockroach summon, and I have... Did I never get another bomb? Oh, standard bomb S. What's a cockroach summon? Uh, normally flies slowly, but quickly increases its speed when it spots its target. Can deploy two pods at one time. Okay. Punch! Wait, yeah, I was gonna say, did they say three, two, one punch? Oh shit. That's a lava space. So you've got like, you maybe has got four attacks. You've got like left trigger, right trigger, your gun, and I think, um. It's like a dash move too. I forget if that can do damage. I think it does. So is her is her house getting destroyed by all this? No, because uh, when you start a, a custom robo battle, basically it uh, summons like this little battle arena, the Holosseum, and then that's where we're fighting. Okay, so it's like a it's like Beyblade. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like Beyblade. Oh crap! But instead of a plastic dog bowl, it's uh... yeah. Cool. It's a virtual arena. Oh crap, oh crap. Get up. I wonder if you put like a, like a like something that spins in the center of like a Bla Beyblade arena if you could just keep the tops going. Like Bakugan. Okay. You know, have uh, access to the vertical gun. Why did I get this? It only fires up. Wow, oh, wow, that burns me up. That was a waste of time. Let's head back to the office. Wow, oh, wow, you hurt, dear. Who hurt you? That crudely dressed punk over there. What are you talking about? You're hurt because you got into a stupid fight with your wife. See this giant arrow pointing at me? I'm the jerk. Yeah, apparently. what? I only calmed you down. What? Is that George what? Costanza? How dare you hurt my <laughs> hubby? Get up, dear. We'll defeat these evil villains and show them that our love is strong. That's right. I love you. I love I you love too. You. I love you too. Oh! Whoa there, wait a minute. Why does this have to happen to me? I'm just some guy. Oh wow, hey. this goes the uh this this goes against that Twitter account that they spell whoa right. Uh, you never had a two on two battle before, have you? Alright. I made some mistake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, huh? Listen carefully, I was playing two on two battles. Basic controls are the same as the one-on-one -on -one battles, but there's one difference. The arrow on top of your robo's head locks onto one of your opponents. If you want to change your target, press the Y button. Remember, press the Y button to change your target. Got it? Oh, and your robo will still launch from the red robo cannon. I'll shoot from the blue robo cannon. Our opponents launch from the green and yellow cannons. The colors of the robo cannons indicate the colors of the robo's battling in the match. For example, you're red and I'm blue, and our opponents are green and yellow. Every time you press the Y button, the color change arrow will change to either green or yellow. But not blue? I told you I'm blue! What good does it do to shoot your own partner? Watch out, though, you can't fire your gun when you're changing targets. You done yet? Sorry, there's just a little bit more. Your opponents also have colored arrows over their heads, too. When those arrows turn red, that means they're locked onto you. Got it? By this time, they've gone to the bedroom and come back, and they have a gun. Who cares? Yeah, you're right. Who cares? No! It's important! I'll say it again. Yeah, they're just like, ah, let's just, let's just let them talk. We don't need robos when we have firearms. Oh my god! Have you guys tried this gun? It's incredible! <laughs> you just shoot it and they what? die. What is Yeah, like why robo? why are we spending all these time fighting robots against each other? I can just shoot you! You're trespassing! Look at this the body on this one. <laughs> it kinda of, kinda of reminds me of uh uh, like a very scuffed version of Logon from Gurren Logon. That, that is a funky big head. It is the best model, TV Traveler says. Oh, Ed! Oh, I thought it was going to make you, even though you're playing one player, look at that corner. Yeah, no, that that's just for the start. Okay. Thank God. It's just like, wow, that's kind of brutal. 
They're both aiming. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say they're both aiming at your partner, but they've uh, switched their their stratagems. Why can't it just say like team for like? I'm not gonna lie. I lost you for a moment, and like I was looking at like like the yellow guy being like, "Yeah, go, John." Rebirth. Rebirth. It's a weird way to say revive or like back up, but I mean, whatever How works, I guess. Wouldn't be birthed again. Is there melee or is it just all? Uh, the dash move is your melee. Okay. It's like a teleport dash, but if you hit anyone, anyone during it, it usually knocks them down immediately, too, so it's very helpful in that aspect. Lose! Ha! Take that, your husband's dead! Oh, well, I think K my partner oh! got the other KO. Hey! You win! Oh, wait, I could do that better. What am I saying? Oh. KO! You need, win! You need the oh, that's very Street Fighter 4, nice. I was gonna say you need to put on the echo for it too for the KO, KO, KO. Oh, uh hold like on. A Scott Pilgrim. E echo like this? Yeah, no, the Scott Pilgrim was actually from Street Fighter Alpha 3. It's specifically from that game. Yeah. Echo like that or like this? Or like this. Or like this. Or like this. Like that. Okay. The one you just did. Maybe that. K.O. Oh, you, you win! You win! Yeah, pretty damn close. We've got our safety switches on. They're going at it for real. This ain't a joke. Oh, I forgot about Hatsune Hatsune Miku. Miku. Yeah, I forgot Miku was in this game. You too, okay? <laughs> huh? What are you doing here, Marsha? Chief was worried about you. You said you weren't your. He said you weren't your normal self today. Great, great. Well, if you got perfect timing, it's all over. I see, but how did things turn so ugly so quickly? That's what I'd like to know. Man, what a mess. I was washing my husband's clothes this morning and I found a note in his coat pocket. There was a phone number on it. I didn't know what it was, so I called and the young lady answered. I was certain that my husband was cheating on me. But honey, I told you I just found that note out front this morning. I believe you. You'd never do anything like that. I'm sorry I lost my temper. I'm sure it was only a prank. Really? Who would have planted that thing out there out where you'd find it like that? Prank or no prank, I hope you're sorry. We're bruised up because of your stupid fight. Harry, please stop. There are children here and you're scaring them. Wait, what? What? Oh you my didn't god. You didn't see the kids there? Were they there the whole time? Yes, we talked to them. Oh. I thought my husband might be cheating on me, so I decided that we would be locked in uh, fatal combat. Mortal combat in front of the children. In front of the children. <laughs> here, we found it in the front of our doorstep. Thank you very much. It looks like it was written by a girl. She has cute handwriting. I'm cute. Let me see. Wow! <laughs> I'll take this as evidence. Yeah, give me that, Marsha. Harry? It's nothing. Just can't let a helpless girl carry around a heavy load, you know? It's just a piece of paper. It's great. Everything worked out. Don't they look good together and they live happily ever after? Harry, are, are you all right? Harry, uh, run! What do you mean? Just a second ago, you were furious, but now... Uh, furious? Who? Me? I'm made of love, hey? Huh? You need to lighten up. Married couples have their reasons for things. You gotta give them slack. Uh, got it? Were you scared? Your parents are fine now. Everything's all right. Listen to me when I'm talking. Come on, let's go play over there. Marsha. So you both want to be commanders when you grow up? How about a custom robo game? They look Sheesh. so much like their parents. I'm surprised the little boy isn't balding. <laughs> I really I didn't expect the robot game to cover domestic violence, but you know, here we surprise. Are. <laughs> brother and sister probably remind of her own childhood. You see, Marsha's parents passed away a few years ago. It was just her and her big brother. Her brother was an elite member of the police squad. Marsha got along with her brother real well. Her brother took good care of her. But one day, Marsha's brother up and quit the police squad without a word. And then he just disappeared. No one's seen him since. Oh, Dad. so it's done bad in Fiora. Not only did Marsha lose her parents, she also lost her older brother? And now she's alone? Yeah, that sort of sums it up. I'm so sorry. I feel the same way. For a long time, Marsha's been gifted with a strange power. Because of that, she's always been the quiet type. She used to be a lot happier. And now she's lost her parents and her big brother. Shut up from the world and unable to reach out to anyone. She's gotten a lot better, though. 
The reason Marsha wants a Class A license is because she wants to join the police squad. In color. You can't join the police squad unless you got a Class A license. She probably wants to track down some clues on her brother herself. And maybe start a singing career. We're not sure on that one. Why would they remind you that you need a Class A license to join the military? Question. After that's a question on the test. Don't know. In case you forgot. Okay. Hold on. It's the phone. Hello, Chief. Phone. Yes, Harry and huh? Took care of it. Hurry on, head over to Bo Bogey's Cafe. Marv's there. <laughs> the one with the reward on his head? If we catch that Marv, we should get a big reward. If the police squad gets there before you, the reward's gone. Hurry up. Yes, Wait I'm a minute. Harry? Marv? I know. Yep. I know. The character yeah. portraits in this game are wild. They look like they were not all done by the same person. Yeah. Kind of, like, unless, yeah. uh, unless you're like a main character or a cute girl, like you're going to be ugly as sin in this game. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the other thing is that like the level of detail is very different. I've had a lot of coffee. My eyeballs were twitching and I was busy. By the time I realized it was him, it was too late. Uh, I see. Hey, the chief says Ernest he saw him. goes to camp. Yeah. So what was Ernest doing hanging around the cafe while we were working our butts off here? <laughs> I'll ask. Chief. Someone in the chat says the Harry looks like an NFT. <laughs> Chief, what are you doing at bogeys? Aren't you supposed to be working? I like my coffee. Now get over there. He hung up and he yelled at me for no reason at all. We've been working hard all day and that good for nothing's been hanging out at the cafe. Let's just go to bogeys and fast. We have to catch that Marv. Okay, once we catch Marv and have the reward, I'll force Ernest to give us a bonus. Uh, yes, I'd like my bored Harry NFT, please. <laughs> Hang on, we gotta slowly walk over to Bogey's Cafe, because we never would have found it otherwise. Boom, 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 Bogey's Cafe. Evil! Huh? Harry and Marsha, what's going on? Oh, great, not him. Harry, 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 still have uh, the manners of a kindergartner, eh? I assume you're here for the notorious outlaw Marv. I'm sorry, but you're too late. Dark Blue, or more specifically, I, Evil, have already captured the rogue. Darn it, Dark Blue got the reward. But how did you know that Marv was here? So, you want to learn my secrets? You hope to benefit from my wisdom, perhaps? Okay, I'll tell you. Bogey here officially requested the services of my little mercenary crew, Dark Blue, to the rescue. Why does what? he look familiar? Yeah, he does, kind of. I'm trying to place it, too. Tell us you always go to steal hearts when you've got trouble. Well, your boss has been here all day, sucking down coffee, and, and what? He was sitting in a dark corner all by himself, writing poetry and occasionally weeping. How I got I tiny eyeballs. How can I rely on you, I, you guys when your boss is such a space cadet? <laughs> I got uh, tiny eyeballs. I'd be worried, too. <laughs> Young Ernest is a poet and you didn't even know it? Oh, this is too delicious. Mm? Well, now, aren't you the kid who came in looking for a job with Dark Blue not too long ago? Of course, that's right. Your name's, huh? You, you applied dark blue too? Hey, I needed a job. You were that desperate, huh? It's a good thing they didn't hire you. Imagine being pushed around by an egotistical toad all day. Plus, you never had a chance to work with someone with my amazing skills. Oh, what is it with you ceaseless, your ceaseless blathering? Harry, are you saying you know, huh, too? Wait up! Don't tell me, did Steelhearts hire this amateur? Oh, that is rich, ha 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 ha! <laughs> oh, excellent! Shut your face! <laughs> There's tons of talent! Someday you'll be an excellent commander. At least that's what Linda says. Really? I don't know what gives you that impression, but I look forward to seeing if you're right. Ah, I've got an idea. I got a nice reward for that catching face. that. That face! That face right there looks familiar, and I don't know why. Ooh, it kind of does. I mean, it's Joker. It's a Joker face, basically. That's true, yeah. I got a nice reward for catching that Marv Chump. How about I get you a nice latte or something? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot when you steel hearts drink coffee, you start to wax poetic. I'm no art critic, but I think I know uh, I know what I don't like, and I don't like poems. Not by any two-bit bounty hunters. But haikus, I'm like, hell yeah, my Hell yeah, haikus. Oh, yeah, well, I've got a few verses for you right here. 
Oh, very witty, Harry. Have you ever considered a change of career, perhaps as a clown? Enough chit-chat. We're leaving now. Huh? If you do turn out to be a worthy commander, we'll make you an offer. Man, I hate that guy. <laughs> He's a very much of a monkey laugh. Well, time to walk slowly back to our base. Oh, I like how there was a time in video games where everybody's feet were too big, and then they went like really heavily back on that, but making everyone's feet too small. All right, uh, we are at time on everything, so we are done. So it's 3 a.m., Stephen and Dan. How do you feel? I'm amazed you two are still here. If I'm being perfectly honest, I feel great. Yeah, I mean. I, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I would not expect... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I hit the buttons, it just screamed. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't expect me to make it, like, for the entirety of, of all future streams, but I, I did it for this one. I'm a trooper. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I also woke up at, like, 12.30, so... Yeah, I woke up... I woke up for a breakfast stream. Okay. Oh, shit, hang on. Hello. Oh, yeah. We are all robots. All robots. Hello. Yeah, that should be fixed now. I'm sorry. I am oh, a sorry. robot. Sorry, it's a custom robo. The humans are veins. dead. The humans are dead. I the am Captain Planet. Yeah, yeah I took a, like a my battery today for a little bit. I'm a cat driving a car. Is that Toonces? What? Toonces. Yeah, I believe that's Toonces on the screen, yeah. It's a good sketch. Wait, which one is that one? Is that with a cat? Yeah. It's the, yeah, that's the cat's name. Toonces. I do like the heavy just decking Isabelle for like no reason. Alright. Well, again, for those who don't know, on Saturday is another bonus stream. There's no fortune cookie on Saturday. Instead, it is Paper Mario Sticker Star with Chugga Conroy, part three. We'll see how far we get there. And, uh, yeah, there's also no stream Wednesday because we did this today, so I'm off for a couple days here. Next week, next Saturday, that is, uh, Saturday, May 7th, will we also be the start of the Xenoblade Chronicles 1 playthrough. So I have to beat that game before Coliseum comes around next year, or I have to do a Punishment cosplay from one of the characters of, from the series. So we'll see how that goes. How far into March um, should we expect another power trip? Uh, well, you got a year. Uh, I know you meant May. Uh, more than likely, I'm trying to think now. Next Wednesday is already planned. The 11th, I think, yeah. was gonna be. Um, guess we're doing that on the seventh. We're doing that on the fourth, right? Uh, Did we lock down? Was it the fourth yeah. or eleventh? We're doing the, yeah. the mini golf stream. Uh, the fourth. Okay. Yeah, so the fourth is already planned. Uh, it was going to be Cookie Jar, but it's now become uh, Mini Golf with myself, Popsky, Dan, and Tom, I believe, as well as joining us. <laughs> Some four player VR Mini Golf. Yeah. Uh, the week after that, the 11th, will be uh, Cookie Jar, where we start going through the viewer choices we have for cookie suggestions. And then we'll probably do Power Trip on the 18th, unless something else comes up. We do not have the next bonus stream for Chaos Cookie planned yet. It's just going to depend on when everyone's free. So we'll start figuring that out later. We are still doing disc only next Tuesday as well, I believe, on the 3rd. Have we yes. you said yes, we're doing that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. I'll have to double check with our guests to make sure they're ready. Yeah, double check with them to make sure. Someone do that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm the producer. I got it. Okay. Um, yeah, and, uh, just chat, uh, it's somebody new, so, look forward 
Didn't we? Did we not say out loud who it was? I thought we did. Um. Let's just <laughs> not, and then. Okay, just in case something happens and they can't make it. Or, or just people like surprises. Well, I mean, like, like we can say it like the day of. Okay. Actually, do whatever you want. I'm just the. <laughs> I, I, I like intrigue. I like. All right, um, so in the interest of the others, because I know they want to sleep because it's 3 o'clock their time zone, um, we're not going to do art block tonight, but it is pretty small. I did actually want to show one specific picture, though, to Steven and Dan so they could see it. And it's this one here from King Curon. Because it's a fusion of myself and Steven. <laughs> that haircut oh egg mashup was so good. Have a mashup of Steven and John at a haircut rave, I guess. There you go, Steve. Well, I thought it was a. Where, I thought he had a Wii remote in one of his hands, and I was wondering about the scissors. Scissors, glow stick, glow stick, a polo shirt, essentially of the Rosa John design, and uh, Steven, is your eye color brown? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So that, I guess there's my light blue. So there we go. And we got a toucan with the with the plus symbol on it. Nice touch. I like it. Stop. We could, we, we could make this happen. I mean, we couldn't like actually make it happen because we no. have to like. So ourselves together, okay. which seems hard. So next year for Coliseum, we need to find somebody who looks like a cross between the two of you. Oh, Jesus. And have them on for a bumper. That seems like a lot of effort. <laughs> There's a bunch of good pictures fly, on here from the booth. Fly them oh, out God. there. All right, so heads up for artists as well. Um, no art block on Saturday as well. Unless at the very end if a meal bounces early, simply because don't want to keep him there for too long. But uh, we'll get caught up on eventually, don't worry. And I'll make sure that the guys see a couple of the ones that we uh, did not show tonight, like the uh, all the Netflix disc ones we got. And of course, Steven's dinner of apple juice. What? Oh, that's what that was! Alright, maybe I am loading it up. There's no message on this one, but... It, that one's on Twitter as well. Yeah. Yeah. Your delicious dinner of apple juice. <laughs> I was well, like, I, why so is he I eating also, a juice box with a spoon and knife? I had actually also had um, chicken broth. And in my brain, I was like, ooh, that's my dinner, it's chicken broth. And then <laughs> I actually looked, and chicken broth has, like, no calories in it. It's like 15 calories per it's half awesome. a Mouse says I made him a burrito bowl. That was tonight. Yeah, you didn't make me a burrito bowl the night that I had colonoscopy prep. The doctor would have killed you. <laughs> <laughs> I am well, Triple I, diarrhea. I am, I am under normal circumstances, well-fed and taken care of in my home. Um, but when I have to do a lot of pooping, um, it's apple juice. Hey, see, you're finally making chicken broth right, Steven. Because as we all know, in college, you used to like chicken bullying cubes. Oh, I stand Jesus. by that. I, I, I stand by that. There's no part of me... Listen, there's a lot of things that people could be doing. They could, they could be out doing God knows what, committing a crime. Instead, I say to the kids, why not just lick the bullying cube? <laughs> Keep them off cool. the street. That is still my favorite thing said in any vlog, just because of the delivery from it, because you were on anesthesia at the time. It's, you know, it's... Wait, what? <laughs> that was during the anesthesia vlog, when you had your uh, appendix out. <laughs> at one point you were like, like, they gave you a soup or something, and at one point you were like, When I was in college, I used to lick chicken bullion cubes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, it... Listen, everyone's got to have a thing. All right, so it's 3 a.m., and I'm going to go Lick some away. chicken bullion cubes, we know. I don't own any, but... <laughs> Time to buy some. some. <laughs> Mal, we're going to Costco! <laughs> Costco famously open at 3 a.m. <laughs> it has been a wonderful evening, John. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for being on, and being on for the whole thing, too. I appreciate it. Hell yeah. Ooh, I knew yeah. I had one in me. Oh, oh, don't. <laughs> what? 
why I say it like that? <laughs> because I, as I understand, there's another one of these, and I'm setting the expectation now that he, I he's giving himself an out thing. is what he's doing. <laughs> I'm like, man, it sure was good to be here for the full one thing of this one time. That Excellent. I only have to do once. In that me. we only have to do once. Uh, what, what kind of barnacle head would like a chicken bullying cube at 3, a, 3 in the morning? No Steven, boy. oh boy, 3 a.m. Also, just so, so there's some like level of clarification for the type of person I am, uh, when I'm done with the, the pretzels, I eat the pretzel salt at the bottom of the bag. The, the pretzel residue. The devil's I mean, dust is what we call have it. You, <laughs> have so, you never gotten into, like, antiflectic shock or, like... Not yet. <laughs> this is just going to be super dehydrated. <laughs> I'm just, I'm like just saying... like a sponge. It, once you know that about a person, like, licking a bowling cube ain't that weird. <laughs> Why the? <laughs> All right, bye. Why the hell is my blood pressure so high? <laughs> he left. <laughs> my God. All right. Oh well, my God. Thank you, John, for, for having me. Thank you. It's fun. Thanks for being on, Dan. Appreciate it. And I'll hey, see. no cloaca talk. So that's one for me. <laughs> Proud of you. Proud of you, buddy. It took six and a half hours. <laughs> but we made it. Six hours with no cloacas. Good job, Dan. Yeah, all right. Night, everybody. Night, Dan. Bye, Dan. I'm just shaking my head. <sighs> I like this how that's, is a night. that's the thing he's getting known for now. <laughs> is that of all things? Yeah. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm the cloaca guy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, let's drop eggs, and then I guess let's uh, let's head out. Garrett Arcane with a gift sub bomb. Mr. Game Boy gifting a sub to Mal. Shenny Nerd for 51. Novi Arts with the, for a new one. Welcome to the stream. Master Time Thief for 70. King Mani with a gift sub bomb. The Leaf 473 for 51. Sketches a day for 37. Uh, yeah, it's P A U C H K. It's Pouch Key, isn't it? Pouch Key for 48. Uh, Sleepy FLCN for 7. Plasma Phoenix 12 for 51. Doombringer 0 for 94. Blau Majir for 93. Commander 13 for 69. Nice. Baku Craft for 34. Sammy is uncomfy for 41. The Chris Master 4 for 16. And Shadow Hal 69 for 22. Thanks for 7, folks. Is there anything in the carton? Or are we going to the randomizer again? Randomizer. You will give me boom Quick reading of alerts. Dragonlord354 says, This is mostly because there's no way Twitch would show you my raid, but I wanted to say thank you. You're one of the major reasons I started streaming, and so far I'm enjoying every stream. Oh, hell yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying doing streaming. Hopefully you keep at it and enjoy it even more. Oh, 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 my dude says, Netflix used to come in the mail. That's great, Grandma. It's time to take you back to the home now. <laughs> Sly Guy says he's hoping for a good one for the Wario Roulette. Soul Flare, no message on that one. Linebeck says, so Rex's accent in Xenoblade 2 is a Northern English accent, which is often viewed negatively as being from, like, farmers or workers due to classism. Americans thought his accent was fake, though they tend to say that about a lot of accents, I've noticed. I don't think it's fake, I just think his actual voice makes him sound like he's in his 30s. It's, yeah. Uh, let me see who played Rex. Rex, Xenoblade 2. Oh my, it was played by uh, Al Weaver. Al Weaver is 41. Yeah, so that checks. He would have been in his 30s when he recorded it. Trismon55555 says, It's unfortunate that a lot of... Uh, loved or great game mechanics subseries, and in general, beloved games pretty much went to die on the GameCube. Yeah, that's... Yeah, they they kind of got gun shy about experimenting because they were losing the console wars. So... And then they just went and did their own thing, and then they made bank. Alright. Well, that's gonna do it for everything, folks. And, uh, I assume... I assume we're just gonna wrap up. Yeah. What's our raid message? 
me see what pops up in the chat before I make suggestions. I knew that was coming. I, I was waiting for it. I saw the Devil's Dust first, but then I saw the one that I knew people were going to latch on to. Seeing a lot of Devil's Dust. Which one? Oh, well, Devil's Dust was the... The, the pretzel thing. pretzels, yeah. Yeah, eating the bottom of the pretzels. Or eating the bottle of, bottom of the pretzel container, not just the bottoms of pretzels. Alright. Let's go raid my buddy Mr. Scoot. He took a break for a little bit, but he's back and he's playing. It looks like 007 Agent Under Fire. Ooh! Oh, I remember that one. That was like that was my first introduction to gra to grappling hooks in video games. Oh yeah, he's using it right now. Cause in I think in the single player it needs to be on a. Uh... How did they see me? What are you talking about? No, I jumped the wrong way. <laughs> Fuck off. It's okay. We can get back up here. It's all right. It's all good. Everything's fine, right? For the love of dick. Oh, are we getting the proton raid? Holy shit! It's been a minute. Oh, it's been a minute. I feel like I'm in the Twilight Zone. The Devil's Dust. Oh, the John Raid. I didn't realize I am going late. I didn't even know. I didn't even know. Oh, he's like, been live for six hours. He's been live almost as long as we have. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go give Scoot some love. He's a good Hello, dude. Everyone. Love him to pieces. And I'll see you guys Hi, on Saturday. Hey, plays countermeasures. Here's a video of things you're about to expect in this stream. I apologize for nothing. You're welcome, and I'm sorry. Here we go. <laughs> Is he always oh, playing his intro? Okay. <laughs> All right. As as the VHS loads, go give him some love, and I'll catch you guys. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on Saturday. Progress. What the fucking? <laughs> I, it, if you if you listen to the music in the background, got, uh, got you can like hear like Jubby Home Shopping Network Keep style music too. Jubby's it's great. Jubby's out. Song of words is in there. I, w I was not prepared for the now our featured presentation <laughs> thing. Rangers, all the teenagers with attitude. Bury me with my money. He's he's a trip, dude. I love him. Go hang out with him. I'll catch y'all uh, on Saturday. Night, everybody. Thanks for the last second raid, Maniacal. Sorry, but we're leaving. Goodbye.